I'll just put one out, mate. Yeah, Here, come, let's go and have a cup of tea. Hey, Stan. Look, they've opened the nursery for the Clippy's kids. Ah, it's a daft idea that is having babies in the depot. No, it's not. That's so that the young married Clippers can come back to work. Well, our Clippers, oh, you must be joking. Lazy lot. Most of them got in the pudding club so they wouldn't have to work. <laughs> <laughs> and which way's the nursery? Oh, it's through that door, love, and along the corridor. Corridor? Oh, dear, I'm going to be late on duty. Oh, don't worry, Doc. We'll give you a hand. Come on, oh. then. Oh, he's heavy, isn't he? <laughs> hey, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Funny little is he yours? Yeah, lovely. Hello, darling. <laughs> Beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Look, this is it. Oh. I, hope, I hope the nurse is nice. Nurse? Oh, blimey, some of them nurses are hot stuff, mate. I used to go out with one once. Oh, they know everything. Do they? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, if this one knows everything, she's been keeping it a secret. <laughs> hey, uh, we brought this, this baby in, nurse. Oh, not another one. Yeah. Well, all right, you better bring him in. Yeah, all right. Put him on here with the others. Yeah, he's a gorgeous one. <laughs> Hello. I'm a stash. I'm due out. I'll put his feeding chart in the cot. Bye, darling. <laughs> Morning, sister. <laughs> <laughs> what you two layabouts doing in here? They help me bring baby up, Inspector, cos I'm going on duty. Oh, well, you better hurry along then, lovey. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> It's working, and I see, sister, eh? More and more of the Clippers are bringing their babies up here. It's all my idea, you know, yeah. all this. I see you brought your two with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take half of their father, don't they? No, not quite. Blakey hasn't got a tail. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one, but he keeps it tucked in. <laughs> you two shut up and get out of the way. I've been getting some stuff for the sister here. Did you bring, the, ba did you bring the baby oil? Yes, I didn't forget it, sister. There you are. I told you to bring a big bottle. That's useless. No. Oh, well, I'd better check this uh, late arrival in. Now, let's see. Arrived at depot, 12.25. I mean, it's a baby, not a bus. They all have to be checked. There's no difference. Yes, well, you see, he's very thorough, you see, Jack, yes. We should stick to regulations, mate. I'll just check to see if that one up the end wants some air and water. <laughs> <coughs> I think he's got a bit too much air pressure. <laughs> this one here's got a radiator leak. <laughs> <laughs> Will you two shut up? <laughs> you stupid man, you've woken the baby. Oh, um, it's not my fault, sister. <laughs> Perhaps it needs feeding or something. Inspector, you look after your buses and I look after the babies. I'll feed it when I've got time. I can't manage everything. And where's that helper? I told you that I wanted a helper. Now, where is uh, she? Yes, well, it's a little difficult, you see, about this, sister, because uh, we can't get the right type of girl, you see. Uh, they don't want to do the job, actually. <laughs> anyway, I'll put a notice up about it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, mate. Here, here, Jack, you know what I've been thinking? That job would suit Olive. Well, your sister? Oh, she knows nothing about babies. I mean, she can't do anything properly. No, you're right. No, cos if she did, she'd had kid herself, wouldn't she? Yeah, mind you. <laughs> Perhaps she could learn. Don't be daft, she's been married nine years. No, you Bert, learn to look after babies. Tell her what your mother could tell her what to do. Nah, it's okay, That's bro. ten quid a week part-time. Yeah, why not? Oh, no, Stan. I don't think I could manage it. What do you think, Arthur? Ridiculous. I've always maintained you're quite incapable of looking after the children. Well, please yourself. Good, I thought you'd be grateful. I mean, let's face it, she's getting ten quid a week. Eh? <laughs> oh. Oh, well, on second thoughts, you may as well give it a try. I mean, after all, modern babies are very tough, aren't they? Of course they are. They're as tough as nails, aren't they, Mum? Yes. Do you remember when you let me hold Olive when she was a baby? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped her on her head. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was awful. It's a wonder she's grown up into such a lovely, healthy girl. <laughs> I mean, it might have affected her in all sorts of ways. How bright you are. <laughs> what would I have to do, Stan? Well, nothing much. You sort of look after the babies in general and sort of uh, change their nappies. Change their nappies? Oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, that's a trouble with you modern girls. None of you want to have anything to do with babies. You're too busy sitting around the house looking sexy and glamorous. <laughs> well, it's not my fault. How 
can I know about babies when I've never had one? Well, that's what I mean. In the old days, they believed in big families. Here, Arthur, do you know what? Her granny had 16 children. Really? Yes. They tried to have one at least once a year. Didn't they? Yes. That's about what Arthur does. <laughs> Will you shut up? I've never handled a baby before. I wouldn't know what to do. Well, never mind, love. I tell you what, I'll give you a few lessons after supper. Here, loves. Look what I've found. Oh, it's my old dolly. Yes, I found it in the cupboard. Here, I thought it'd do for Olive to practice putting a nappy on a baby. What a smashing idea. I used to love my dolly. Ah, yes. Do you remember, Stan? She used to sleep with that doll every night till she married Arthur. <laughs> I bet she found more life in the doll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little tired of your offensive remarks. Oh, no, no, he was only joking. <laughs> if I press the dolly in the right place, I can get the squeaker to work. <laughs> I told you I had more light than you. <laughs> now, look, mate. Oh, so well, we... now, now. Right. Here, Olive, I tell you what, pretend this is a nappy and practice in putting it on the baby. Oh, all right. Now, look, what you do, love, here, you get this a three corner piece like that, see? There. Now, lay the baby on it. That's it. <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed to be putting it on his bum, not his head. <laughs> Give us a chance. Oh. doing? You're supposed to be putting a nappy on it, not teaching it judo. Well, it's not easy, cos the ends don't meet. Uh, that's it, isn't it? You can't do that to a kid. Give it in here. I mean, even a baby can't get in that position. <laughs> Why not? Arthur can. <laughs> You're married like I thought, mate. <laughs> it just so happens that I was practicing my yoga. Oh, that rubbish. <laughs> oh, there, that's it, isn't it? No, love, no, that's not it. Look, you've forgotten to put the oil on. Hey? Look, before you put a nappy on, you've got to rub baby oil in all the little creases. What creases? <laughs> when all babies have creases, love, then you grow up and fill out and the creases go away. Olives didn't. <laughs> now, well, she filled out and got another lot, see? I have not. Anyway, I'm not taking the nappy off now to put the baby oil on. Well, you don't have to with that one, do you? Eh? Hey? Well, you just pour it through the hole in the middle of his back here. <laughs> then instead of the oil being on the outside working its way in, it'll be on the inside working its way out, eh? Oh, <laughs> You know what I've been thinking? Well, it's a pity we're not all made like that. Oh, how revolting. No, it's not. No, if we all had a hole in the middle of our back, anything that went wrong with us, all we'd have to do is to take off that inspection plate and have a shifty inside to see what's wrong. Oh. What a ghastly thought. It's not a ghastly thought, mate. If you had a hole in the middle of your back, you wouldn't have needed your operation. <laughs> I don't see what my operation has to do with this. So the doctor could have peered inside and see if he was functioning properly. I was functioning perfectly all right. No, you weren't. I remember the first year we were married. Will you shut up about you? <laughs> I have a pair of you. I'm trying to teach Ollie how to look after babies. Look, she's got a fair idea how to put a nappy on. That's all she'll need to know. Well, no, it isn't, love. She's got to learn how to bring the wind up after it's had a feed. How do I do that? God, everybody knows that. Look, Olive, all you have to do, you take hold of the baby, put it over your shoulder like that, and just tap it gently on his back. There, you see? Ah, oh, my little Olive. Used to be something awful with the wind. A little stomach would all fill up and she'd go all red in the face. She hadn't changed much. <laughs> Don't be such a pig. Now, look, 
take the baby, put it over your shoulder and pat it gently. And don't take no notice of him. Oh, well, he shouldn't be so rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, never mind, love. That won't happen with a real baby. With her in charge, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Blackie. I see you've bashed that bollard in the high street again. More complaints from the council, eh? <laughs> look at that, look. You must have bashed that blooming bollard right over this time. Yeah, well, not to worry. Come over here. See that? <laughs> I bashed it straight on the way back. <laughs> Typical, isn't it, eh? No regard for the buses at all, have you? Well, if you put it in maintenance, they'll soon fix it, you know. Duh. By the way, Blakey, how's my sister getting on in the nursery? Well, I only hope to God she's looking after them babies a bit better than you are the buses, mate. Well, there you are again. If she happens to drop one, never into maintenance, having the bumps knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Here, come on, let's go and see how she's getting on, Jack. Yeah, right, Here, if you're going up there, you can take that cot up there for me. What, you're going to Betty Bye Byes, are you? Twit. I'm collecting all that stuff up for the nursery, ain't I? In the last two weeks, I've had to go up that baby shop up the road and get six cots. God, they must think you're a hell of a goer. <laughs> get that cot up there, all right, go on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Honest. What do you two want? Uh, the inspector told us to bring this cot in here. Well, I can't put it up. You'd better do it. Well, we can't do it. We're going to have our lunch. Put it in that corner and don't argue. Yeah, OK. Oh, oh Olive. How are you getting on, love? Oh, all right. I changed all their nappies like I did on my dolly, yeah. and I've made them bring up wind. Have you? Well, I better seem they've still got their heads on. <laughs> <laughs> They're all right, love. Don't worry. Who's so still here? Well, those men are putting the cot up for me. I can't do it. It's not my job. Oh, very well, then. Well, hurry up about it, will you? Yeah, well, yeah, mate. How's it go? Oh, look at that. Bless him, look. Oh, ain't he lovely? <laughs> He's a lovely little fella, isn't he, eh? Hey. <laughs> What's up with him, then? You were making faces at him. I was only smiling at him. What are you talking about? Leave that baby alone. Yeah. Yeah, I'll play with my pencil, eh? Hey. Hey. Take <laughs> your <laughs> hand away. Right. I'm responsible for that child's health. Anything he touches should be sterilised. Ah, he's all right there. He qualifies for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sister, I won't touch him, then. Very well. And don't lean too close over the cot. I don't want you breathing germs all over him. Oh, for goodness sake, sister, I'm not doing any harm. Ridiculous, I wasn't breathing over him at all. I was just leaning over him like that. Yeah, but let's face it, Blake, there's a lot of funny things fall out of your moustache. <laughs> Will you two shut up and get out? It's a quarter to one. Come on. Quarter to one? Yeah. Oh, that's my lunch hour. Well, you're not going to lunch and leaving the babies, are you, sister? Certainly I am. I have to eat, you know. I've shown my assistant what to do. Olive, uh, the feeds are all ready, and I'll be back at two o'clock. And, uh, also, dear, I think number six wants changing. Would you see to that at once? Yes. Will you men get out of here as soon as you've finished? Yeah, well, right. Yeah. Well, I think I'd better go and check the passes then. Ah. How much longer are you two going to be? Ah, uh, we nearly finished yeah. it now, Blake. Well, hurry up and get on with it, then. Go on, then. That's it, lovely. Firm as a rock. Come on, let's get our lunch. Tara right. Olive, see you later, love. Oh, you little devil! What's about? He took my glasses. I think he put them on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, hello. Down there. Where? Just in front of you, then. <laughs> you stupid great nit, you. You've been a trot on them, look. Well, I couldn't see them without my glasses. Can I wear them? Well, you can wear them, but I don't know what they're going to do for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a thing. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I'll have to manage. I'll just try and do this little Mart Snappy first. Where are you going? Where are you going? Not that one, not that one. You, that's, that's where you were, on that one, there. There. Oh, you are wet, you naughty little girl. <laughs> girl? <laughs> Can't you see anything? That's a boy. 
Is it? Oh, it's just a blur to me. That's the first time I've ever heard it called that. <laughs> and it Marla says, you're blind as a bat without her glasses. Yeah, I only take them off when I go to bed at night. You want to keep them on, love, my dear, you're a bit of good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jack, hang on, hang on. We can't leave her here in charge without her glasses. Ah, well, we'll tell Blake it's his pitch, isn't it? Oh, oh no, it. don't do that. Please, Stan, please. Don't tell Blake you need to Please, Stan. I'm Jack. <laughs> <laughs> No, she's right, though. No, if you tell Blake, you're not ears. You only give her the push one. You're not ears. Yes, and I'm quite capable of looking after babies. Yeah, provided you can find them. <laughs> yeah, haven't you got a spare pair? Yeah, I've got a pair at home. I could dash home and get them. Just look after the babies for me, please. Eh? Oh, Stan, please. Arthur will kill me if I lose this job. Of course he won't. I don't know. You're getting ten quid, aren't you? Maybe you're right. All right, go on, nip my phone. Well, hang on. Hey, hang about. What about my lunch? I'm hungry. I'll be as quick as I can. Come on, then. Oh, oh, what about the baby snappy? Well, give us it. I'll better do it then for you. Hurry up and don't be long. Oh, blimey, how much longer is Olive going to be? She'll be gone 20 minutes. Well, give her a chance. She'll be another 10 minutes at least. Well, it will be due out. Anyway, I'm famished. I want me lunch. I'm going up the canteen. No, Jack, no, Jack. Don't leave him with this lot. I... Well, God, me, I'm starving. Well, I'm starving and all, but I... Hey, there's plenty of grub here, look. What, baby food? <laughs> what do you mean, here? It's smashing stuff. It's great. Besides, uh, it's free, isn't it? We're well, the management of pint for this, aren't they? You've got a point there, mate. Let's have a look. Minced homogenised beef, mixed vegetable, gravy added, vitamins. Well, it doesn't sound bad. Let's... Yeah? What's it like? Yeah, that is handsome, mate. That is, is handsome. It? I'll yeah. try this one. Mmm. <laughs> So it's this, mate. What you got? This is uh, liver, chicken, a spinach and bone broth. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is great Here, stuff. Here, you've got another spoon there, have you? Mm. No, you can have the pusher. Oh, do turn it up a little. <laughs> oh, damn it. This is very good stuff, you know, this. Yeah, it's much too good for babies. Mm. This is good, isn't it? You want to go mm. careful with that one, though. Why's that? See what it says here. Mm. It's full of vitamins, this is. It's make your teeth grow. Well? <laughs> You must have had a hell of a lot when you was a kid. <laughs> oh, shut up. Anyway, what's wrong with my teeth? Nothing. It's just that every time you smile, it reminds me of that piano down the pub. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, hey, it? Very good. Very good indeed, I must say. Handsome. Blimey, I mean, don't be a pig. Save... All right, all right. It's plenty there, isn't Save it? Save something for me. Uh, what's this one? Let's go this one. It's all right. It's nice. It's sweet, it? this one. Hmm? Sweet. Beautiful afters, lovely afters. What is it? I don't know. Uh, stewed rhubarb, uh, essence of figs, and prune juice. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be breaking all records bringing the bus back to the depot today. <laughs> Got a point there, mate. All right, makes you a bit thirsty, though, isn't it? Mm. Have you got anything to drink here? Yeah, oh, that's ready. Have some of that. <laughs> you can't drink out of a baby's bottle. Yeah, hey, I'll shove it in a cup then. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about that then, Jack? Look at that. It's just like milking a cow, isn't it? It's better. You can see how much you've got left. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? They ought to breed cows with plastic watches, didn't they? <laughs> You're going to be all day filling that cup up, mate. Don't be saying it again. It's nothing in there, oddly. Uh, how are you going to get it out, then? Hey, all I'll do, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll mm. do it like the Spaniards do when they're drinking their wine. Yeah? Yeah, squirt it straight into your mouth. Well, I see them do it in Majorca last year. Go on. Watch it, straight off. Right, here we go. Uh. <laughs> oh, very good, oh. brother. Only, only. <laughs> it goes right down your gullet that way. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a go. Arms length. You've got to be careful with this one, cos if you miss, it goes down your neck, runs down here, down your leg. I suppose that's why all them Spanish dancers go about wriggling and stamping their feet, though. <laughs> here we go. Arms length, mate. Mm. Oh, lovely. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Ah, I like oh, that, very, eh? good. very good. Yeah, I like that. But when you get expert at it, do you know what you do? No. Nah. They squirt it on their forehead, then it runs down their nose into their mouth. Oh, blimey, I better not try that. With my nose, by the time it gets down to my mouth, the milk will turn sour. 
Yeah, yeah, shove it there. Let's have a go at it. Don't give me a go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what. It don't work. I... It's all going in your ears, mate. No, no, no. What you do with that baby's bottle? Um, what, what do you spray in his face with milk for? Well, he's having trouble with his complexion. <laughs> Well, I always knew he was raving mad, but no. I mean, this is... Well, Blake, you see, I was, uh, I was just drinking a drop. Well, from a baby's bottle? Here. What's all these empty jars here? Uh, You've been licking the baby's grub, haven't you? No, wait a minute, no. Four new peas each, them jars, you yeah. know that. Yeah. You've you, been pinching, haven't you? I've no, caught you. No, no. I've caught the pair up. I'm having you, too, no, no, I'll tell no, you that. No, wait a minute, Blake, don't be stupid. This is... No, no, honest, honest, yeah. honest, Blakey. There's a simple explanation why we was eating yeah. this. I suppose the little toothy pegs are coming through, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making out a complete report about this, mate. I'll have you. Here, where's that half daft sister of yours who's supposed to be left in charge here? She nipped off home. What, and left all the babies? Look, she trod on her glass and smashed them. She's as blind as a bat without them, right? Oh. She's just gone back to get another pair. She now, won't be long. You ought to be very grateful to us for looking after these nippers. Looking after them? have been pinching all their grub. <laughs> and I'll make sure you pay for it and all, mate. Don't worry about that. So what? They're not complaining. Not one of them said a word. <laughs> Twit. You shouldn't have been left in charge of them. You, you can't be responsible for them babies. Well, I don't know. I've had my moments. <laughs> <laughs> Will you two shut up and get out of here right away and get in that bus? Come on. Oh, it's all right. We can go in here. Oh, she is. Well, I got back as quick as I could. Yeah. Did you find your glasses? Well, when I got home, I couldn't find them. So I sat down on the sofa to think, and they were underneath the cushion. <laughs> oh, no. I'll dash off to the opticians and see if I can get another pair. Aye, aye. What about the babies here? Yeah, well, the nurse will be back in half an hour. Oh, oh, good. Oh, what's the matter with that one now? Oh, look. It's wet, isn't it? Needs changing. Yeah, well, Stan, you heard the inspector. We've yeah. got to get that bus out. Yeah. Oh, no, no, hang about here. Yeah, don't leave me like this. Look, come on, chaps. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Blake. Yeah, I mean, we've got we've to got get the bus out, haven't we? That's what you I said. I mean, the buses have got to run yeah, out. Yeah, it's all right, haven't we? Nothing to do with us. It's nothing to do with us whatsoever. Right, you told us to get the bus out there. You see, what's happened now? That one started a lot. Yeah, I'm afraid they all need changing. Yeah. Yeah, Blake, tell you what, take the nurse's rubber apron and you can get on with it, right? I can't change a baby's nappy. I've never changed one in my life before. Oh, my God. Oh, it's just my luck. Well, you see, it's because you're an inspector, isn't it? I mean, the babies are just like the buses. As soon as you walked in, they all started running early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you, butler. I hate you. I hate a pair of you. On the buses, number two, part one, production number 0754, date recorded the 13th of the 7th, 71, take one.
Make it short term, take your coat off now. Right. Oh dear. <coughs> Alright, okay. Sit down. Yeah, sit down there, sit down there. That's the idea. You haven't brought me back here just to sit in the kitchen, I hope. <laughs> no, no, of course not. No. Uh, the family are not here, they must be in the front room, you know, they're watching the telly. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's just gone 11, they uh, be going up to bed shortly. <laughs> Then we can have the sofa to ourselves. <laughs> it's more like it. <laughs> um, what time does the uh, epilogue start? I don't know. Is that what they're watching? No, it's when they switch off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we wondered who it was that coming. Oh, oh, Arthur, uh, Arthur. Oh, Doreen, uh, this is my brother-in-law, Arthur. <laughs> How'd you do? How'd you do? <laughs> 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 oh well. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. You were uh, all off up to bed now then? <laughs> no, we're watching the film. Uh, oh yeah, of course, yes. Yeah, Soon be over, won't it? Matter of fact, it's only just started. <laughs> only just started? Well, what time's it finished then? Two hours. <laughs> Two hours? Why's that? It's a midnight movie. <laughs> oh, come on, you're missing it all! Excuse me? We can't go in the front room with your lot in there. I'm going. No, 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 listen, listen, no, don't go, Dorian. Look, look, if we can't go in there, we'll have to stay in here, won't we? Well, look, once they get stuck into that picture, they won't disturb us. Oh, very romantic, I must say. I should have gone straight home from the pub. Well, I don't see what's wrong with it in here. It's quite cosy, isn't it? It's a nice soft armchair. Oh, look, darling, let's have a little bit of fun, eh, Yes, I? I'll do the washing up and you can clean the gas cooker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'll do, look. I'll clear all these dirty crocks off the table. And what do you think I'm going to do on the kitchen table? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, I prefer the sofa. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I mean, tidy the place up a bit. Oh, forget it. Look no, 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 I'll tell you what I'll... Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. Well. I'll turn the lights out. Well, all places look alike in the dark, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll do. <laughs> Come on, Doreen. Will you hear what he said? They'll be in there for the next two hours. Oh, come on. Hey, come on. Persistent, aren't you? Well, of course not. You know me. <laughs> 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 you are a devil. <laughs> you know what I'm like after a couple of vodkas. <laughs> That's why I gave you six. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <right. clears throat> Thought he's watching a film. It's time for the commercial break. <laughs> oh, 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 mum. Oh, oh, mum. This is Doreen. Doreen, this is my mum. And uh, <clears throat> that's my sister Olive. <laughs> oh, you two should have been in the front room watching. Oh, it's marvellous. Full of action. Quite a lot of action going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, I must go to what's it. Have I got time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it doesn't start. <laughs> oh, are you sure you wouldn't like a cup of cocoa? No, thanks, really. <laughs> Stan, you mm. can't invite a girl to the house without offering her at least something. <laughs> no. Ma! It's started! Oh! I'll do it later. Hey, I've got a quarter for now. <laughs> While the commercial goes. Stan! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Where is everybody? They're in the front room watching a film. Well, I was in the loo. Nobody told me. <laughs> I'd better get back, otherwise I won't know who did it. The way you lot are carrying on, it won't be me. <laughs> get out. <laughs> you said your family would be watching TV. Well, they are. They're spending more time watching us. <laughs> You're right now. <clears throat> Oh, I'm so sorry. The film has broken down. Thomas 
service will be resumed as soon as possible. I can make the cocoa. I want it a shame. I will say it's never as nice when it keeps stopping and starting. You can say that again. Mum, Arthur, it started again. Oh, I'll make it later. Let's hope I do. <laughs> Oh, I'm going home. Fed up with this. No, no, don't go, don't go, don't. Dorian, don't go. Well, he's so please. Haven't you got a room of your own? Well, of course I have. Oh, let's go there. <laughs> what? You... Hey? Oh, no. Well, why not? Well, it's upstairs, isn't it? Bedrooms usually are. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's, it's not as nice as the sofa in the front room, is it? No, it's a darn sight less crowded. <laughs> Look, are we going up or are you taking me home? <clears throat> hey? Yeah, well, all right, then, yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Honey, just a minute. Be quiet, won't you? Well, it's not me, it's not me. It's the old lady, she's a bit old-fashioned that way, you know. Well, I'm not. Yes, Mum? <clears throat> uh, just taking Dorian home. Oh. Goodbye, love. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> well, take, take your shoes off. What? Take your shoes off. Oh, might as well. I'm going to take them off later in any case, aren't I? <laughs> creak, they creak, they creak. Which ones? Don't Oh! Oh, God, oh. <laughs> I thought you'd gone. <laughs> oh, no, honey, Mum, no. Uh, why aren't you watching the film? I just remembered I've seen it. Oh. Here, where are you going? Uh, um, I'm just going to show uh, Doreen where to watch it is. Oh. Does she usually remove her shoes before going to the lavatory? Oh, for sake, we were only going up to his room. She oh, did. I see. I didn't realise you were that sort of a girl. Look here, don't you start preaching at me, you silly... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> There'll be no goings-on in my house. You're darn right there won't be. I'm going. No, I've had enough no, of no. you and your family. <laughs> fed up with it all. Absolutely fed up. <laughs> That's it, you're done? What do you want to go and talk to her like that for? Don't raise your voice to me. There'll be no carryings on here. What do you mean carryings on? Don't be silly carryings on. Just because somebody takes somebody up to their bedroom it doesn't mean to say there's carryings on. Ha oh, ha. Oh. <laughs> well, it certainly doesn't in your case, does it? <laughs> but why couldn't you stay in the kitchen? We wouldn't have interrupted you. Oh, I see. It's all right in the kitchen, but it's not allowed in the bedroom. You know very well what I mean. If you're going to live here, you've got to abide by the rules of the house. Oh, have I? Right, well, if that's the case, I'm not going to live here. Hey? First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to find myself a room. Oh, no, 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 don't be silly. That girl's got your work up. No, I know she has, but I'll tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to be packing for the rest of the night, I'll tell you that. Oh, no, you don't be silly. What she wants a good night's sleep. A good night's sleep? I mean, that's the last thing I need. <laughs> Arthur! It's all right, mother-in-law. He won't go. Oh! Here, Jack! Jack! <laughs> oh! Mate! Oh. oh! I've been trampsing all over the place. Didn't you find anywhere, then? One. Yeah. Twelve nickel they wanted. Ooh. I can't afford that. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have quarrelled with your mummy, should you? <laughs> Listen, why don't you put him up? You've got a room you let off sometimes. Then I suffer enough in the daytime with him. Oh. Oh, come on, Blake. You've only been for a couple of days. Not likely, mate, no. Well, yeah. right. Listen, my money's as good as anyone else's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, Butler. You can have a room in my house, yeah. Hey, I told you, Jack, he's human after all. <laughs> Eight pounds a week. <laughs> hey, quid. What, well, only wanted to buy a fiver? Take it or leave it, boy. Oh, well, uh, yeah, it's all right. It's only been for a couple of days, see? Yeah, uh, I always <laughs> insist on two weeks in advance, actually. <laughs> oh, blimey, you've had that. I'm not paying that. No fear. No, I've had it. Have you found anywhere yet, now? Well, I thought I had just a minute oh, ago. I thought but... we were going out for some drinks. Yeah, well, we will, love. I but... can't hang around all night. No, you it's know not. What I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Blakey. Uh, here, I'll pay you that. Yeah. Here. Here, 16. I'll, I'll have a couple back out. I think you'll find that's right. Here, just 15 there, one there, yeah. right? Can we go there straight away? Yeah, sure. Right. I'll get my things. Yeah, all right. I think I might make it clear. 
I don't have any noise after 11 o'clock at night. No coming in late. I expect to keep the place tidy. And there'll be no alcoholic liquor brought in the house either. Oh, darling, all that for eight quid, you want your pound of flesh, don't you? <laughs> Talking about flesh, butler. <laughs> there'll be none of that brought in the house either. It's a long way from the bus stop, isn't it? Yes, yeah, well, I only got to go up the stairs now. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, Let me give you a hand. Oh, thanks very much. Right. <laughs> Here we are, then. Come on, Butler, what are you hanging about for? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've had it. Oh, you didn't tell me it was three floors up. <laughs> You're out of condition, mate. <laughs> well, at least I won't have to worry about you bringing women up here, will I? <laughs> In time you get them up them stairs, mate, you won't be good for much, will you? <laughs> well, you can take it or leave it. You don't have to stay. No, I'll try. I'll have it. I'll take it, I'll take it, mate. All right. Here, Blakey, you... Have you got a front door key for me? Yeah, see you are. <laughs> yeah, look after it. OK, yeah. I'll, uh, I shan't uh, uh, unpack my cages now, cos uh, I've got to put my suit on. I've got to nip down the pub, see? Oh. What? Oh, I see. You've got a date with that clip, haven't you? Well... Okay. <laughs> well, I'll give you a fair word of warning now, Butler. Don't try bringing her up here, will you? No, I'm not having it, I'll tell you that. I'll probably be in bed when you get up here. But I'm telling you this, mate. I'll hear every squeak on them stairs. <laughs> every mortal noise, I'm telling you. Right. Yes. And I won't be going to sleep before you get in, mate. Why, you want a good night kiss? Place, is it? Yeah, yeah. Is it all right? Hey, hey. Oh. Hey, hey, you can't go upstairs, you know. Why not? I thought that was the old idea. Well, don't be daft. If the inspector sees us, he'll only stop us. The inspector? Yeah. What's he gonna do? Ask to see our tickets? <laughs> <laughs> What it was, you see, he told me before I went out, he, said, he can hear every creak on the stairs. Hey? Yeah. Well, if we both go up there, you know, there's more than two pairs of feet, won't he? Oh, yeah. You know how we can get round that? What? Well, what? you get out of my. <laughs> Yes. Yes, you've got everything you want, have you? Yes. Don't get up, will you? No. It's very late, you know. I hope you're going straight to bed. Yes, I am. <laughs> I will. <laughs>
I'll give you the kiss of love. <laughs> I remember that you're on the early shift, and I didn't want to get up early just to get you up, so I brought me old alarm clock for you. Oh. Oh, Joe. So, oh, thanks, then. Right, well, open up, door. No, no, no. I've got nothing on. <laughs> I don't think the sight of your naked body's going to get me going, mate. <laughs> Uh, put, just, just put the clock outside. No, don't be ridiculous. Open the door. Come on. All right, just a little bit then. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you go raving mad, have you? <laughs> well, I told you I've got nothing on. Who wants to look at your naked body, mate? I've seen better things hanging in a butcher's top window. <laughs> Good night. Yes, good night. Yeah. Oh, I don't need a thing on it. You keep quiet. Right, come away with me. No, no, Stanley. What's the matter? I want to go to the loo. <laughs> you can't. He's, he's hardly downstairs. You have to wait till he's gone to sleep. I can't wait. You, you, well, you've got to wait. I must go now, Stan. <laughs> Tip top, tip top. He's from underneath there, you know. Stop it. He's on the landing down there. Yeah. Now, if he comes out, go back in the loo and wait till he's gone. <laughs> Don't make a noise. Shh. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm coming, I'm good. What is it now? No, no, no. He's my brother in law here. Yes, what is it? What do you want? He's here. Oh. Oh, my God, not the old family. <laughs> You start on me, mate. Your ma's had me running half way round the town looking for you. Oh, oh, Stan, Stan, are you all right, love? Well, of course I am. Well, you might have let us know. I've been running sick. Now, look, I told you I don't allow visiting this time of the night. Now, keep your voices down. We don't oh, want to try and get the sleep out of How could you have left your beautiful home for this terrible room? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this room? Well, it's musty and it wants air in. Oh, you shouldn't have done it, love. I've been worried sick. You know, he just grabbed his things and went. Do you mind? His things? Those happen to be my pyjamas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, send so your pyjamas. We'll take them and go with a lot of All your right, then. Oh. Oh. Evening. <laughs> oh. Well, of course, you... You all know Doreen, don't you? Yes. I am not spending all night in the loo waiting for your precious family to go. Now, where's my bag? Cos I'm going. What's she doing here? Oh, don't say! Don't say you don't know who she is! I know who she is, all right. She's Doreen Smith off the number 14 route. I want to know what she's doing up here. Well, I'm sure she didn't come up to collect tickets. <laughs> Stan, where's my bag? Yeah, all right. Oh. You eat it. A right coward you are. Scared of mummy. Don't you talk to my son like that. You can keep your precious son. <laughs> You're satisfied, are you? I wanted to go the lot of you. Go and clear out. All right, all right. Olive, my pyjamas, please. Yes. <laughs> Aren't you coming back? No. No, it's no good, Mum. No, I've got to have a place of my own. Yes, well... All right, son, and good night. Yeah, good night. Uh, you will come and see me, won't you? Oh, of course I will. Don't be silly. Yes. Good night, then. Well, ta-ra. ta, -ra. ta -ra. <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake letting you have my room tonight, eh? Hey? I didn't know the family were going to come. <laughs> I'm not talking about your family. What about that woman? 
Anko, what the name is going to say here? Oh. <laughs> it's turning his ass into a bawdy ass for Bassman, isn't you? <laughs> of course I'm not. Mind you, when I come to think of it, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> what I can't understand is how she got up here. I was listening down there. All I heard was one pair of feet coming up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I had her on my back. Oh. Well, I'll stop your gallop, mate. What? I'll see that don't happen again. Give me that key back. Come on. Go on. Right. From now onwards, mate, I'm clocking you in. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, 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 oh. That's Mum. She's hurt herself. What's happening? Oh, come here. Oh, 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 what's happened? Oh, oh, oh. It's all your fault, mate. She slipped on the stairs. I think I broke my ankle. Well, don't stand there, mate. Go and get a cab. All right, all right. Come on, Lonnie. Go on, go on. Oh, I'll be all right, love. Don't worry about me. I will... Oh, 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 oh. No, no, one minute. Come on, oh, my old darling. No, you can't go home like that. Oh, oh. All right, I'll see you home. Come on, then. Oh, yeah. I thought you would. <laughs> Hey, hey, old bump. Here's your tea. Oh, ta, love. You are a good right. boy. Right, we'd better be off. Film starts at 7.30. Oh, well, you need an hurry back. Now Stan's home to look after me. Well, come on, sunshine. Bye, Mum. Have a nice time. Yeah. Uh, oh. well, how's the old leg, then? Oh, it's a bit umpty, love. Is it? Yes. Hang on, hang on a minute. I've got some, just a thing, just a thing for you. Oh. Uh, uh. Help to take the pain away ah, and forget it. Ah, hey, little drop of brandy in the old yeah, tea there, love. Ah, you are a good boy. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't think I'll be about again for about a week. Oh, won't you? No. Oh. Yeah, could you nip upstairs and get the paper for me, love? Yeah, all right then, love. Yeah, hang on. I won't be long. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thanks, love. Have you still blown you up? Is it a bit? Oh, yes. It's well, very nasty. easy come, easy go. Come oh, on. Oh, love. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> well, you got everything you want? Yes, love. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's no need for you to stay with me, you know. Oh, no. Oh, good. No. You can get on with the washing up. <laughs> On the bus S program three, production number zero seven five five, recording date twenty seven seven one, take one.
Good job they're getting married tomorrow. They're planning their honeymoon. Planning it? Long looks out they're having it. <laughs> ah, it's a brave bloke, you know, marrying the inspector's niece. Yeah. Talk about the inspector's niece. Here comes Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I want a word with you about that. Oh, Uncle Cyril wants a word with you. <laughs> Shut that up right away, I'll tell you. Shut up. I'm up to here as it is, I'll tell you. I certainly made a mistake letting my niece work in a bus depot. I ought to know it had ended disaster. Oh, what's your matter? She's marrying a busman, that's what's wrong, mate. What's your matter with that? He's dim. All busmen are dim, and he's about the dimmest one out of the lot of them. <laughs> Bill, he's not dim. He must be dim. Look what he's done. He's made you his best man. You? Why are you? You must be mad. <laughs> you ever been a best man before, ever? No. Oh, go your father will make a mess up of it, ain't you? How could you do the job properly? Don't worry about me doing a job properly, mate. You want to worry about him? Well, he's never been married before. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let's face it, he's got one over on you. I bet he's had a few rehearsals. <laughs> what are you insinuating here? All oh, right, send me down. We're only joking. I'll tell you what, Blake, you've got nothing to worry about. 10.30 tomorrow morning, I'll have him at St Michael's Church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do that, won't you, Butler? Yes, I will. Yeah, you twig. They're getting married at St Barnabas's. <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. Now, you watch it tomorrow morning, Butler. I'm, I'm going to be at that church, you know. I'm giving the bride away. Yeah, you ought to be good at that, Blackie. I mean, you've shopped enough of us blokes in your time. <laughs> Go on, have a good laugh, go on. <laughs> you know your duties, don't you? Duties? No. You're, you're going to be the best man tomorrow, getting married tomorrow morning. Oh. Yeah, you better study this list I've got here, look. look. You're responsible for arranging for the flowers, yeah. transportation for the guests, uh, making a speech, uh, proposing the toast, reading the telegrams, carrying the luggage and organising the photo. Now, you better study that. All this lot? Yes. I mean, no wonder the bridegroom has to have the best man. God, if he had to do this lot himself, he'd be too tight to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> now, you just get to that list now. Isn't it exciting, Uncle? No? We won't be seeing one another again till we meet at the church. Yeah. <laughs> hey, got me things for the night, Dan. Yeah. Ten out. Ta Ciao, Bill. Ciao. Yeah. 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 See you later. What's he got his things for the night for? <laughs> well, he's coming home with me, hasn't he? Me and Jack and a few of the other drivers, we're taking him out on his last night bachelor party. Mm. Oh, my God. Yes, we're going down to the red line, but uh, I promise you, Blakey, we'll have him out of there before 9 o'clock. Right, Jack? Oh, yes, we'll have to be, because at 9.15 we're meeting the maintenance lads at the three horseshoes. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, 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 Blakey, we'll only be there half hour. Yeah, because at 10 o'clock we're meeting the darts team down at the Green Man. <laughs> You'll be paralytic, won't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the church tomorrow, mate. You won't get him anywhere. I'll see what'll happen. My poor niece will be spending a wedding night on her own, won't she? Oh, no, no, Blakey. I mean, that's up to you, isn't it? Rule 66. If the right man doesn't turn up, it's up to you to provide a relief substitute on the job. <laughs> <laughs> Himself, it? Yeah, it's a good night, though, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> hey, Bill, son. Yeah. You home a bit. Well, is he all right, do you think? No, uh, we better sober him up a bit. Yeah, that's it. That's what we've got to up. do. Mind your feet, Bill. Mm. What, what, what are we going to do, then? Uh, tell you what, what, a couple of raw eggs. Raw eggs? Eggs, raw eggs, raw eggs. Okay, now. Here, up here. Up here. In on the top. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it, Roy. 
Rorex, hang on. Listen, hang on. You, you, you mean to say that they uh, the government? This thing for a man who's had too much to drink, right? Uh, oh, I don't believe it, you know. Rorex. I don't believe listen, it. Listen, listen. No. Have you ever seen a chicken walking about sloshed? <laughs> Put it in, something. Put it in, something. You're funny, Jack. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Hey? Put it in, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll put it in there. No, it's full of milk. You can't put it in there. Wait. Listen, dear. It's all right, right then. Tell you what. Uh, <clears throat> put him in there. You might have saved your drop. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, crack it again, then. Oh, I crack right in there. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you, Sloss? You've got to do with me, mate. It's one of them soft shillings, wasn't it? <laughs> I'll do, I'll do it properly this time. It's just yeah. this thing, you gently, know. Gently, gently, gently does it. Crack it yeah. like that. And you go. <laughs> 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 Put it in the milk. That's no good. That's no good. Oh. I'll do it. 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 i you see, you take the egg, knob it up my sleeve, uh. and you take... <laughs> that's good, that's, that's good. That's, that's a good trick. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 no properly, properly. Get him out of the way, chuck him out of the way. Right, now, gently, gently does it. Now, what, now, that's beautiful, isn't it? And I never, never broke this out, the egg, did I? Wait a minute, you've got a bit of shell in there. That's nothing, that's nothing. Get that out, easy, yeah, see. <laughs> no, they're blunt. <laughs> to the top and as those bits come past, I can get hold of them, see? Right. <laughs> well, I've got the shell out. <laughs> well, now get the egg back in the glass. Wait a minute, wait, I've got a better idea. What? Let's get him over here and make him lick it up. <laughs> You're funny when you've had a few, you know, Jack. I, I haven't had it. Yeah. No, no. I'll, I'll get it. I'll, I'll put it back. Don't worry. Get some, no, no. Listen, I'll, I'll get one of them scrapers. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got one? Yeah, I've got, got this. Got, I'll, <laughs> never mind, I'll get it out. Well, I'll put that back later, see? Now, get it out. Hold it. Get it out. Right. Yeah. Put it out there. Yeah. You see, Jack, this is what's called giving me a hand. Yeah, put it in so it's coming out there. No. Okay. Put now I'll put all this lot out to get don't and put keep it, it still, don't yeah. move it. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do that for? Show you a little consideration. Oh, there are you, people uh, trying to sleep in here. Sorry, Art, but sorry, yeah. And what's wrong with him? Whoa. What's wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what's this? <laughs> what's this muck I'm trotting? <laughs> It's roaring! <laughs> hey, yeah! Well, give me a cloth! Give me something to clean it off with! No! No! No, no, no don't wipe it off! Why? <laughs> then tomorrow morning, you can go to work on an egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you shouldn't have come down without your slippers. I'm well aware of that. Oh, what happened? They've been throwing eggs about. <laughs> no, we haven't. No. See, oh, we was we were trying to make a sort of hangover cure. Did it work? Not when you're treading it. <laughs> <laughs> Will you shut up? You're supposed to be the best man. I mean, look at him. Look at the bridegroom. He's supposed to be getting married in the morning. Oh, dear. Will he be all right? Of course he will. Of course he won't. You filled him full of drink, haven't you? No, well, I haven't at all, no. I don't know why, I don't know why he's like that. Arthur, Arthur, listen, I gave him about half a dozen scotches. Scotches? Yeah. yeah. I was buying him gins. <laughs> <laughs> Sally. <laughs> <laughs> here, here. He thinks 
Prince Olive's his bride. <laughs> <laughs> I know about drunk, you must have the DTs. <laughs> Don't be so rude. I'm going up to bed. You know I look terrible in the morning when I'm woken up in the middle of the night. You look terrible every morning. <laughs> <laughs> she must be working up every night. <laughs> It must be more like when you are an awful. <laughs> I think we could all do without your offensive remarks, thank you. Olive, <laughs> up to bed. Uh, <laughs> 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 Did it hurt? <laughs> when do you get your drunken friend out of here? Yeah, what's this guy, man? I'll oh, 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 one on him. No, uh, Jay, no, he always turns a bit snotty when he's, uh, you know. <laughs> but come on, let's get him in the front room. I'll give you a hand. But we'll put him go on the couch. Go on, it. Go on, Jay. Come 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 on, Jay. Come
I'm going to have a shower, all right. Let, Mum, listen to this, listen to this. Oh, uh, Arthur, stop stuffing your face. Listen, listen. <laughs> See what you think of it. Right. And Bill. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. That's nice. It's <laughs> not, Jack. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, before I propose the health of the lucky couple, as Bill's friend and best man, I must say how lucky Sally is to have found herself such a fine, upstanding... <laughs> as you see, they are a very well-matched couple. Why, well, is the bride going to be plastered and all? <laughs> <laughs> Will you belt up? <clears throat> um, and I'm sure all the girls here are envying Sally I'm wondering how she managed to meet Bill. Probably tripped over him in the gutter. No, 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 that's not very nice. Now, go on, love, come on. Um... Shut up, you. <laughs> I know, I know, you will want to join me in wishing them many, many years of happiness and good luck in the long, uncertain journey that lies ahead of them. Oh! <laughs> They're going to use one of your buses, are they? <laughs> 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 oh, that's not what it does. No, come on, no, no, no. You must, you must, look, you must wish them good health. Well, it doesn't do any good. They wished Arthur and me good health on our wedding day, and then he had to have his operation. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why you have to keep bringing that up. Well, it was awful. It was months before you were right. The hospital was full up. I was kept waiting eight months. You weren't the only one. <laughs> oh, yes. Better stay easy, and these brides are going to be waiting eight months at all. <laughs> oh, stand for the time. We'll be late to the wedding. All right. Here, get him up. Come on. Come on. Come on, 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 Where's the bridegroom? <laughs> <laughs> You've left him behind, didn't you? <laughs> I might have known you'd forget something. What you done to him? God, God. I knew I should never have allowed you to be the best man. What's the matter with me? He's all right? All right? Look at the style of him. Look, I can't allow my niece to be led down the aisle to him looking like that. No, what does he look like? Well, compared to this morning, he's a great improvement. Oh, <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, no. Oh, oh, uh, forgive me, Reverend. I, I didn't realise you were standing behind me then. Obviously. I... Well, has the bridegroom arrived? Uh, yes, he's here, Bill. Yes, <laughs> the vicar's here. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. Well, we can't wait any longer. I've got another wedding in half an hour. Well, we're not all that late. <laughs> late? Late? The organist has played your music three times. <laughs> now, will you all come this way, please? Right. <laughs> Are you the best man? Yeah, why? Well, please, have the ring ready. Oh, yes. Now, okay. come along, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the ring. You've lost it, haven't you? No, I it? haven't lost it. I put it on my little finger last night so I wouldn't yeah. forget it. Uh. Well, thank God that you managed to do one thing properly then. Now, come on, let's get out and round our front there. Right, we can all go now. Yeah, come on. No, we can't. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> What's that matter? I can't get it off. <laughs> it's funny. It went on easy enough last night, Arthur. It is a well-known fact that one's joints swell up in the morning, especially after... A Excessive drinking. How oh, shut up. It keeps digging into me. Well, come on, hurry up. The vicar's waiting out there. I know he is, but he's stuck, in it? Oh, my God, that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> eh? My knees is waiting cold off just cos your little finger gets swollen up. <laughs> come here, let me have a go. Well, oh, okay. Be careful, eh? Cos... Be, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, put my finger off. No, he's a good mate. At least I'll get the ring off, won't oh. I? It needs lubricating. Lick it. Oh, I'm not licking these fingers. No, you, you're holding. <laughs> oh, look what you've done. You've made it swell up even more now. Are you coming or aren't you? Yes, we're coming, Vic. Yes, we're coming. Come on, do something, butler. My niece can't get married without a wedding ring. 
I'll never forgive you for this. I won't, honestly. Hey, I won't. I just remember. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it, Blakey. Mum, Mum, lend us yours. Oh, here, I can't. I haven't had my wedding ring on for 25 years. Here, but Ollie can get hers off. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, I don't know. Come on. 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 Come on.
Where'd you work? Yeah. No, I've got a couple of minutes to go, mate. Here, look at Blanky. <laughs> What's he doing back here? I don't know. Here. I thought you was going away for the weekend. I am. I've just come in to check on you two, mate. Oh. You know, I'm going off to Brighton for three days. Oh. We're catching the 2.30. We? Oh, blimey, he's going on a dirty weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Hey, you made it at last. Hey, is it one of the clippers? How <laughs> oh, dare you? I'm taking me old mother. <laughs> 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 Your mother? What, to Brighton? <laughs> Booking two single rooms. Yeah, we've all done that, mate. I always book two single rooms and say it's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll never get away with it, pretending it's your mother. Oh, I don't know, though, Jack. I mean, any bird that'll go away with him must look like his mother. Let us lay about you. Is that all you can think about? Yeah. yeah. I'm taking me old mum for the rest, and then I'm going to get a bit of fishing in. Fishing? Oh, blimey, what a drag. Oh, you wouldn't appreciate the pleasures of it, man. What do you know about the thrill of having the bite? What are you talking about? <laughs> I took Randy Rita out last night. Look what she did to me, mate. <laughs> I'm wasting my time talking to you, so I take my fishing seriously. I do. I won prizes for it. Go on, I'll bet. Oh, I have you, know. Here. Here, hold that a minute. What's this here? That's me worms. <laughs> I dug them up special, I did. It took me two days to do that. Yeah. That's the secret of it, mate. Here, here. Oh, look at that. Here. That's me at Folkestone holding the catch. See that? God blimey, Jack, he's caught a kipper. <laughs> kipper, that's yeah, a that. soul. Hey? A soul. How can it be a soul? It's all yellow. That's because it's faded. He's been in my wallet for three years. Oh, hold on a bit. Hello, Inspector Blake here. Oh. Oh, hello, Mum. Yes, dear. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Have you tried anyone else? Oh, good. Oh, never mind, Mum. Oh, it can't be old okay. Nuts. Oh, bear up, dear. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. What's up? There's a neighbour been taken ill, now we can't go. Why not? Uh, well, she was going to look after me mum's little dog, you see. Well, she can't leave it, can she? We won't, they won't have it in the guest house, and she's tied all over the... Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, well. Now I suppose I'll have to stay on duty. Well, get that bus out then, come on! <laughs> Don't shout at us, it's not our fault. Oh. Hey, oh, it's your worms then. Oh, look at that, look. I dug them up special, I did. Took me three days, that did. Look, oh, I don't know, wasted now. What are you talking about wasted? All you've got to do is dig some more little holes and put them all back in again. <laughs> get out! Get out! All right! Why didn't you stop when it happened? What? And get me number taken? You must be an idiot. Oh, blimey, that's the fifth time you've hit that bollard. This is a bus, mate, not a dodgem car. It's all right for you, mate. You can't drive it, do you? It's very tight round that island. Oh, don't give me that. You was looking at that bird with the see-through bras. Oh, so I was. All right, well, I hope you had a good look, cos now you've got a bus with a see-through side. <laughs> oh, belt up. <laughs> Hello. What have you been doing? Stock car racing? No, oh, blimey, don't you start. It was that blasted bollard in the high street again. Oh, not that one again. It's a proper menace, that is. Listen, you wait till Blakey sees that. He'll go mad. You're telling me, isn't he? And he's lost his weekend. I'll probably get suspended. Suspended, mate. You'll get sacked. Will I? Ah, oh, it's a pity he didn't go. You know, I, I'm in charge when he goes off. Well, now, if he had, I could have been uh, looking the other way whilst the boys in maintenance fix that up for you. Blakey need never an arrow. Would you do that? Of course I would. You'd square it for us, Annie. Yeah. Right, simple. All you got to do is go to Blakey, say you'll look after his little dog, he'll go away on holiday, and Alec can square the bus. Right. What a smashing idea. Right, now, mate. wait a minute. His train go to, go to 2.30. It's not quite 12 yet. It's worth a try, isn't it? He's in his office. Yeah, come on, shift this Quick. note. Right, OK. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. 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 Hurry
<laughs> Come in. <coughs> oh, uh, hello, Blakey. Oh, uh, future. Just what wondering, uh, have you found anybody to look after your little dog? No, nah, of course not. Oh, haven't you? Right, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll look after it for you. You? Yeah, well, you know, we, we, me and Jack, we're all shut. You deserve a break, right, Jack? Oh, yes, you yeah. do, yes. Yeah. You look after my mum's little dog. <laughs> Where's the catch? <laughs> no, 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 there's no catch, is there, Jack? No. Honestly, believe me, Blakey, I'll look after it for you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I do. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm quite overcome. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Blakey, you haven't got much time, you know, got to catch that train, you've got to take that little dog round the stand's house, haven't you? Right, there yeah, we go. Yeah. I'll tell you what, now, look, yeah. uh, I'll be off duty by then, you see, yeah. and so you can bring your dog straight round to me as you're on your way to the station. Yeah. Right? Oh, hey, hang about. Yeah. I'll hand the movements over to Harry, yeah. and I'll come and check your bus. That's right? the yeah. idea, yeah. No! No! Right. No, don't worry about the bus. No, we'll uh, we, we'll see the bus. Yeah, yeah see, otherwise you're going to miss your train, yeah. see? Don't want to miss that's your train, Blakey. Yeah, there you go. Right, that's that's your, that isn't, it, isn't it marvellous, eh? Yeah. Hey? After all these years, to receive a bit of kindness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always say, it's always there if you scratch deep enough. <laughs> yeah, well, in his case, he's a bit deeper than the scratch. <laughs> <laughs> right, get off home, bring your little dog round to me, and don't worry, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. What? I don't know how to thank you for this butler, you know. My old mum would be quite overcome when I tell her. Yeah, I bet she will. Get home to your old mum then. Yeah. Where you go? Right. Where you go, Blake? Have a nice time, Blake. Thank you, boys. Yeah. 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 Decent, I'll be happy, Blake. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Oh. Hang about. Hang about. What? What? Yeah. 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 In the excitement, I forgot me worms. Oh! <laughs> I still don't see why I should have my weekend ruined by some snivelling dog just because you drive your bus into a bollard. Oh, why don't you dry up? You're a menace on the roads, mate. Oh, no, he's not. Was only a little accident. What are you talking about? That might have been me standing there instead of the bollard. I wish it had been you. I wouldn't have such a big dent in the side of my bus. Oh, now, now. <laughs> what time is the inspector bringing the dog round? Well, any minute now. He's on his way to the station. Oh, here. He's bound to come in. Look at the state of the place. Oh, come on, Olive. You're supposed to be helping me put away these dirties. She's still putting away her lunch. <laughs> right, nearly two o'clock. Time for me football. That's him, that's oh, Blakey. No, that's him, no, that's him, that's him. Is yeah, oh, right, get good, right. Oh, wait a minute. Here. Well, put your shoes on again. What are you talking about? I'm watching the football, not playing it. Yes, <laughs> but he looks so slovenly. Eagerly looking for it. Oh, he'll turn this thing off, Dick. What do you think you're doing? Will is so rude when people come calling. Look, I'm a little tired of this inspector and his stinking dog already. Now, don't you say it's the only inspector Blake is here. Oh, hello, <laughs> inspector. And we were just saying how nice it'll be to look after your little dog yeah, here. Well, it was very nice of you to offer, Mrs. <laughs> Butler, I must say. Now, Butler, you will take care of my little Mitzi, won't you? Oh, don't worry about yeah. that, Inspector. We'll look after her for you because, especially our Olive, she loves little doggies, yeah. don't you, Olive? Look at that, oh. yeah. There you are. Yeah, and uh, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll take it for walks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, butler, butler. Now, that's a very valuable pedigree dog. Now, yeah, yeah, now, look, yeah. We, we're hoping to breed puppies off it, you oh, see, yeah. Yeah. butler, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you do take it out, now, you've got to be very careful, you know. You must take it on a leash, you see, because uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a gold dog, you see. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't want any, uh, you know... You know, <laughs> what you mean is uh, yeah. you don't want it carrying on like one of our clippers. That's <laughs> 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 I wouldn't have exactly said that myself, Hello? Mrs. Butler, but that's, uh, you got the point. Yes, I do. Oh, What's that? Hello? Oh, come in here, will you? Yes, it's my driver, it's taxi hey? driver. Yeah, the come taxi in here, please. What? Oh, yeah. where do I put this in? Put it on the oh. table, please. Just yeah. a minute, just a minute. Uh, what's this, then? Uh, it's me aquarium. <laughs> aquarium? Yeah, me, me mum's tropical fish. Oh. What? Yeah, you see, uh, I knew you wouldn't mind having a Mrs. Butler as you was having the dog as well, like, you know, and, uh, you know, you don't, it's all right, isn't it? You yes. know, because my mum worries so much, you see. Yeah. Right. 
I should shut the door, mate, in case he brings in his mother's pet monkey. <laughs> you're too late, mate. He's already here. <laughs> right, if you're all excused, me, I'll switch on the football. Now, look, but, look about yeah. these fish, look, yeah, yeah. look they're, they've got to be kept at a certain temperature. You do understand that, don't you? That's why I put the blanket round them and wrap them up and keep them warm, you see. Oh, see. Now, if the power should go off at all while there was a load in yeah. the house, they could all die, you understand? Oh, yeah. they're lovely. Yes, and they're very valuable, Mrs Butler. They're very priceless. Oh, I know. I mean, the price of fish today. Is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, can we plug it in right away, but I'll put it in this plug over here, you see. Right. Right. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Two players. Kitchen arrow. Here! What do you think you're doing? Shut up, shut up. You better hurry up if you want to catch that back that train, Governor. All right, thanks very much. Hey, listen, uh, Butler, I've left the list of instructions here just in case. Understand? Yes, Look, yes. here's the food and the tablets in there. Now, be very careful, won't you? Thank you, Blakey. Yeah. Yes. Right, thanks. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Matt, Mrs. Butler. I, I don't know how to sell you this, but you know. It's marvellous for me, you know. Ah. I'll be there on the end of that pier there, hour after hour after hour, not a single bus in sight. <laughs> no need to go that far, just stake at one of your requests stop in the ice street, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I shall be up then, bye bye. Have a lovely weekend. Right, I'm going to plug that television Don't in now. Don't you dare! What are you talking about? Well, if, if that heat goes off and those fishes die, my, my life won't be worth living. Look, mate, now there's one socket in this room, I want to watch my football. What? It's hard luck, mate, isn't it? You can't watch the football. Come and watch the fishes instead. Yes. Ah, oh, look. Oh, oh, it's great, really. It is. I'm not joking. Oh, this is better than watching football. Oh, hey, some here, they've got, they've got pyjamas on. <laughs> now, come and have a look, Arthur. I do not wish to come and have a look. Oh, be quiet. You heard the dog there. Oh, charming. This is going to be a marvellous weekend, isn't it? I better have a look at the directions. Oh, Arthur, is that you? No, it's me, Stan. God, blimey, what a shift! God, you drive a bus in the pouring rain. Oh, by the way, where is Arthur? We thought you were him. He went out to get the classified results, and he's been gone three hours. <laughs> Find no image down the boozer. Where's the dog? He's the out dog. with Arthur. Don't tell me he's roaming the streets. Oh, no, love, it's all right. Oh. She's on a lead. Well, if anything happens to him, I'll kill Arthur. Uh, by the way... What's wrong with the fish? What's wrong with the fish? Nothing, nothing. Only the inspector's instructions say we should put one of these tablets in oh. when necessary. Oh, yeah. Do you think we should? Let's have a look. Uh, uh, to clear the fish's water of impurities and keep it crystal clear, place one tablet in it every other day. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a bit murky, isn't it? Yeah, yeah all right, Olive, put one in there. Let's get these wet clothes off. Ah, there's Arthur. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> my goodness, what a terrible night. We both got very wet, didn't we, my dear? Look at that coat, it's sopping wet, take it off at once. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit chilly. Not you, the dog. Eh? <laughs> oh, we're not the dog to get pneumonia, do we? Oh, just a matter about me, then. No. I'll do it. Oh, yeah. thank you, Sunshine. Take a little doggy. Yeah. Here, I'll just kiss you. Oh. <laughs> oh, blimey, he has been drinking. Oh, yes. I have had one half pint. Half a pint? You can't make half a pint last three hours. He can when it's his round to come round. <laughs> As there is no television available in this house, I've been down to the Red Lion to watch it. Oh, have you? Wait a minute. The Red Lion? They don't, they don't allow dogs in the Red Lion. He was quite safe. He's been in the yard, haven't you, dog? What? <laughs> he was very happy he was playing with the pub dog. <laughs> <laughs> Not with that big Dalmatian. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, that Dalmatian is sex mad, mate. <laughs> it's had more bugs of cold water chucked over it and you've had hot dinners. <laughs> well, never mind. Little Mitzi didn't seem very worried. She looks very content. Don't you? That's what I'm worried about. Oh, what's wrong? 
What do you mean, what's wrong? What about in a couple of months' time when, when, when Mitzi here presents uh, uh, Blakey with a litter of black and white duck sounds? <laughs> so what? It's a pedigree dog. It's supposed to have pedigree pups. Not a lot of spotted dicks. Yes, <laughs> You don't think that the pub dog admits... Yes, yes, pedigree. of course, if I know that dog. Oh, and I was worried in case she caught a cold. <laughs> Fancy letting her carry on like that. Oh. Well, thanks to you, I'll be worried for the next few months. Well, now you know how them clippy's mothers feel when you take them out. Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh love you, I'm all shivery. Now, mind, love, I'll get your dinner for you. <laughs> Oh, love, you better have an aspirin. Thank you, my darling. I'll go and get a glass of water. The poor little Mitzi, she's all cold and wet. Don't you worry about your poor little Mitzi, you worry about your poor little hubby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take an aspirin out the bottle. No, I took the one you very kindly left out on the plate, sunshine. I didn't. I... <laughs> You've taken a tablet that should have been meant for the fishy's water. <laughs> you stupid great nit! I might be poisoned! I didn't do it on purpose, Arthur! Well, well what am I going to do? Look, it's not, it's not... Don't harm the fish. It's not likely to harm you, is it? What's going to happen to me? Oh, stop worrying, Arthur. Don't worry. Look, we've got plenty of tablets here with the fishes. I'm not worried about the fishes. I'm worried about me. Here, love. It may be poisonous to humans. It's yeah. not. It says here it's not poisonous to humans. Mind you, I don't know if that includes him. <laughs> Look, will you shut up? This isn't funny. Oh, listen. Oh, don't carry on, mate. Look, these tablets are for purifying the water. <laughs> I do not happen to need my water purified. <laughs> well, hard luck. It's a pity you didn't keep that dog pure. Oh, well, come on, love, eat up your supper, and that'll settle your stomach. Oh, jolly well hope so. Oh, well, as you've taken that tablet, Olive, you'd better put another one in the fish's water, then. Oh, all right. And mind that wire. What wire? That wire. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid great nip! Well, you pulled the wire out. That's the one that, that keeps the water up. The fishes. Oh, wait, wait, I've got to get. Look at it. Look, look. Oh, I'll have to get this thing out so I can plug it back in again. Well, I can't. It's rusted. It's rusted. Give that knife. Give that knife. Give that knife. Good. Blimey. What's the matter there? I've cracked the glass. Oh, what are you talking about? I can't see any crack. No, it's cracked here. I mean, when it fits into the metal there, you idiot. Oh, the water's what? coming out. Look. Yeah, yeah, I'll put the kettle on, get some warm water, keep it at the right temperature. Yeah, yeah, all right. God blimey, you can't get them out with a spoon, they keep slipping off. Yeah, I'll tell you what, try spearing them with me fork. Mind you, Kim, mind you, Kim. Let's find something else. Yeah, in there. Here, I shouldn't let Olive do that, you know, she likes sardines, she'll probably eat one of them. <laughs> here, I've got the chip pan here. I'll try and get them out with this. Uh, here we are. Uh, 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 Hey, well, that's it. Oh, I've got some here, that's it. Come on, come on. Good to Oh, I've got a lovely load here. Here, 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 stay, stay. Leave them in there, get Mum to fry them up for your supper. <laughs> your sense of humour is rapidly losing its magic for me, mate. There's another one, hold it there. I've got a lot there, see if you can get some out, Olive. Here you are, love. Look, here, the water's warm now. This will keep them at the right temperature. Ah, that's the idea, that's the idea. I've got one, I've got quick, one. Quick, quick, Olive, I'll put it in the bowl, I'll put it in the bowl, I'll put it in the Well, I'll make sure it gets some then. Careful, careful. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that marvellous? One thing after another, now you ruin my supper. Oh, stop moaning. The fish is all right, anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right then. Never mind, mate. I'm sorry about that. Hey, I'll have some of your dinner back here. <laughs> I'll go and get the rest of the fish. Come out of it. Right. Here, yeah, you little darlings. Come on, here we go. Now, Jack, they've done it. 
Hey, they just finished fixing the, bash the bus I bashed, and now I do this. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're just about in time. It's gone, Nan. Blake, you'll be back any minute. Yeah, sure. Anyway, anyway I'll tell you what, they made a good job in the maintenance with this. Yeah. They won't break that in, hurry. Why not? Let her carve up one of our windscreen to do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I mean, mate, they'll never get away with that. Yeah, they're going to blame it on the hooligans on a Saturday night, see? Oh, crafty. <laughs> if you've got the warm water. Yeah, here we are. Give us a hand, will you? Tick yeah, that, right. tip that in. Right. Lovely. That's the job. There we go. Got the fish. Yeah, what with it? Get all that in there. Go on, I'll put it in it. Me, mate. Oh, they're lovely and cozy in here. <laughs> lovely and warm. Yeah, we are. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. And that's just no, not that one, you boot. That's me cocoa. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're smashing. Look at they're them. Good yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Uh, heads up. Here comes a complete angle. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Blakey. Did you have a nice weekend? Oh, lovely very much, thanks. <laughs> You didn't have to bring me tank in butter. I could have called round and collected it. Eh? Oh, it's oh, all right. We didn't want to put you to the trouble, see? Oh, they look nice and frisky, don't they, eh? Yeah. yeah. Here. You've changed the water and all. Look. Oh, yeah. you didn't have to do all that, boy. Ah, oh, it's no trouble, you know. We like to do things properly. <laughs> you've, you've cleaned the glass and all. Look. Look. <laughs> He looks brand new. You, you didn't have to go to all that trouble, you know. Well, it's no trouble. Isn't it amazing, eh? We never really know anyone, do we? Yep. You know. I had you all wrong, you know, that butler. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> hey, darling, your little, oh, little, little Mitzi. Mitzi. Ah, oh, there she is, little oh, 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 lovely little girl. Oh, you look well, don't you? You've had a good time, have you? Yeah, here. I hope she didn't. Uh, I hope she didn't make any mistakes in your house, Ed. No, no, not in the house. <laughs> I tell you what, though, Butler, you've been overfeeding her a bit, haven't you, eh? Her tummy's fatter. Yeah. A couple of months' time, she'll be a lot fatter. <laughs> I can't tell you how grateful I am for this, Butler. You know that. Oh. I brought something back for you. Oh, yeah. thanks, Blakey. Yes, I had a little nibble while I was at Brighton, <laughs> and uh, I've. Uh, Brought the best one for you. Oh, boy. lovely! Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's—I uh, well, know it's small, but uh, you'll find it very tasty. Yes, sir. thank you. Yes, sir. yes. I'm afraid it wasn't a very good weekend for fish. Yeah. I appreciate how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, come on, mate. Let's have a cup of. Yeah, it's all right then. Uh, well, thanks again, Blakey, and uh, I'll look after your pets another time. <laughs> oh yeah. What would that be? Next time I'll bash the bollard in the ice street. <laughs> Flu epidemic's getting a bit much, mate, isn't it? It says here it has been identified as Hong Kong flu. Hong Kong flu? How did it get here? Empire preference, mate. Gets in duty free. <laughs> <laughs> it says here that Hong Kong flu only lasts for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I can believe that. Just like that Hong Kong transistor set I bought. <laughs> Morning, Stan. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> mm. 
It says here, at the first sign, you have to go straight to bed. Well, that suits me. <laughs> the trouble is, she hasn't given me the sign yet. What are you talking about? Sandra here. Oh, oh she's a cracker, isn't she, eh? <laughs> Boy, I don't know how fancy her. Yeah, well, you're wasting your time, mate. Forget about it. She only fancies him. Do you know, he spends every penny he's got on her. Yeah. I can believe that. He don't spend it on her, cut. <laughs> God, I still fancy her though, don't you? Oh, marvellous. You know, cos she's my type, see? Yeah, well, he's just her type. Nah, forget it, mate. You don't stand a cat's open hell. Nah, I suppose. But he's very lucky, though, isn't he? Cos he's got her as clippy on his bus, you see? Ah, oh, so you're fed up with me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was the same in it ten years with me, now you want someone younger. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. No, look, look. Here, you never give me a bit of chocky like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not likely. With choppers like that, mate, you'd have my fingers off. <laughs> here, talking a bite, and here comes Dracula. <laughs> What's all that about, Blakey? Thanks for the very serious emergency. Oh, yeah? What emergency is that? He's just come out of his office. <laughs> <laughs> Will you used to shut up? We're getting so short of bus crews, the management's decided to do something about it. All bus crews are going to be examined. All those who are found to be fit are going to get injections and other treatment. All those found to be unfit are going to be sent home out of it. Is that a fact? Oh. Oh, come over. I don't feel well, Jack. I don't feel well at all, mate. Look, I don't look good, do I? No, you look horrible. No, no. Ex <laughs> no, Blake, you do us a favour. Examine me, mate, will you? Examine you? <laughs> Not without a pair of rubber gloves, mate. <laughs> I wouldn't come anywhere near your horrible body. Right. All you's on the first shift, then. Come on. As soon as you sign on, the nurse will give you an injection. Right. Well, just a minute. How do Who's we know that's safe? the first safe? volunteer, then? How do we know it's safe, then, no, Don't talk, stupid. Look, as shop steward, I'm here to tell you the inspector should be the first volunteer. Yes. I'm with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quite agree. Now, look, Quite I'll agree. have mine later. Now, you're on the first shift. Come on. Inspector, I do think you should set an example. Yeah, Chris, yeah, right. right. Come on, then. Right. Hey. Oh, very well, then. Come on, that's it. All right, then. Take your jacket off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in me, uh... Put it in my forearm, will you? No, no, it's got to go in the fleshy part. Eh? Oh, well, uh, look, do it over there then, nurse, look. No, no, it's got to go in the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I caught that. He's really got a tattoo on his arm, look. Yeah, it's all right, I'll leave it alone. Nurse, uh, uh, hurry up, will you? I've got to open the vaccine. Yeah, love, he's got a bleed nose. <laughs> will you leave all? No, no, turn it in, it's very artistic. Yeah, yeah let's have a look. look. <laughs> Cyril loves Elsie. <laughs> like you, we never knew. <laughs> it was all a mistake. It could have been worse. It could have been Cyril loves Ernie. <laughs> Sweet, now will you let go? No, no, you seriously, what's all that 1941 then? What happened then? Oh, I was a foolish young soldier and sailing to the Far East. Five years in Burma. I left her behind on the quayside at Liverpool. She said she'd wait for me. She didn't. Well, blimey, five years is a long time to wait on the Liverpool quayside, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Moron. The thing I gave five years of my life to make Britain a better place to live in, I don't end up with used to. If I'd have known then what I know now, I'd have gone over the other side, I'll tell you. That's all right, nurse. Go on, stick it straight through his heart. Yeah, just like I do directly. <laughs> Will you two shut up? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, you're next, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't have to go through all that performance just because the management want to keep us working. Right, suit yourself, mate. Well, I'll tell you this. The way things are going, them that stay fit will be getting all the overtime they can do. That's it, right. <laughs> and for a few bob, mate. I don't mind that at all, no. Right. There you are, just a minute, nurse. I'll oh, do the button the shirt here. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. It breaks my heart, do you know that? Just so you can get a lot of overtime, nurses come here at the company's expense to inject your feeble, unhealthy bodies with that valuable vaccine free of charge. Yeah, well, it may be free, mate, but I tell you what, if I know this company, when this epidemic's over, this nurse will be back to suck it all back out again. I'm not having it done, mate. Now, I'll just a minute, do you mind? This means a lot of overtime to me, and I don't you lot giving me the flu. All I say is you ought to go and have your injections. Oh, no, I'm not having an injection. Not after the one I had last year. Oh, no, she had a terrible time. It was when that doctor gave her the penicillin. He put the syringe so hard in there that he nearly lost the needle. Oh, blimey, the way you're built, I'm surprised you didn't lose the syringe. <laughs> it's not funny. I was so sore I had to sleep on my left side, and I couldn't turn over for weeks, could I, Arthur? No. <laughs> all I'm saying is you all ought to have jabs. Don't talk stupid. 
They have not been proved to have any effect whatsoever. What are you talking about? Look, mate, the only way to avoid flu is to have a healthy body. Oh, yeah. Well, in that case, you're going to get it next. <laughs> you may scoff, mate, but I believe in keeping myself healthy. For what? <laughs> so that I am fit to resist any infection. Here, Stan. Perhaps he's right. Well, every morning, I bend over and touch my toes 50 times. Me, really? Now I know why all the air fell out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh got it. Look, dear. Look, go on, it marvels. Everything she's going, she gets. Oh, no, don't be silly. She's all right, ain't you, love? Come on. Have a second help in a trifle. Oh, no, thanks, Mum. I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no second help in? Oh, blimey, she must be ill. Oh, no, she's all right, love. She's very healthy. She's just got a little chill on her chest. If she's got anything on her chest, it's not little. <laughs> Don't be such a pig. <coughs> there, there, I told you. She's oh, got... are you sure you're all right, love? Here, Stan. Suppose she has got the flu. Well, if she has got the flu, she should go straight up to bed. Oh, I'm all right. Oh, well, God's sake, look, Olive, have you got it or haven't you? Look, mate, there's only one way to find out. That's to take her temperature. Oh, he's right, he's right. I'll get the temperature out. Now, wait a minute, it's here. Hey, I love. Then we'll be sure. Mind you, my little Olive's always had a very hot body. Not been my experience. <laughs> <laughs> Doing? Huh? You're supposed to suck it, not chew it. <laughs> and it marvels everything she puts in her mouth, she eats. Well, don't be daft. I know that. I'm chewing a sweet. Well, keep it still. You'll break it. No, oh, she may well have something. I noticed last night you were very restless. So were you. We was all up and perspiring in bed. <laughs> well, you must have the flu then. <laughs> Why? Well, he must have the flu, otherwise no other other reason why he should be hot and perspiring in bed, is there? I don't think we need any of your offensive remarks, thank you very much. <laughs> Come on, actually, will be all right now, Come on up. Come. Robbie, what are you doing with it? It's all black. <laughs> this is the thermometer, you know, not a dipstick. <laughs> Looks as if she's got sludge in her sump. Oh, don't be so stupid. I've been sucking some licorice because my stomach's a bit squeezy. Oh, love, have you got a tummy upset? Come on, show mum your tongue. Oh. Diamond, she looks as though she needs a decoke. Oh, don't be funny. My throat's hurting as well. Now, oh. yeah, I told you she got it. Look, mate, if she's got the flu, her tonsils will all be swollen up. Come round here, sunshine. Come on. <laughs> Open your mouth. Has anyone got a torch? It's like looking down a Blackwall tunnel. <laughs> Say ah. Ah. Well, I can't see it. Where are her tonsils? Somewhere in the Royal Infirmary. <laughs> well, that's where she had them out. Now, Stan, don't joke. Well, Look, she's not well. Well, if she's not well, all you lot should have those anti flu jabs. Oh, don't talk wet. They're quite ineffectual, mate. It is a medical fact that there are over 2,500 varieties of flu. Oh, blimey, if that's the case, then Olive's got the luck. <coughs> there, what did I tell you? What did oh, I tell you? Damn, my poor little baby. Ah, oh. oh, well, that's it, you know. Definitely, Olive's got it. So mm. I'm going to have my second jab. Oh, yes, you don't want to get it now, mate. You know, I reckon we'll be making about 20 quid overtime this week. Yeah? Mm. Marvellous. <laughs> oh, my God. What's up now? Now the bus crew gone down with the flu. Well, it's not as bad as all that. It is. I was hoping it was going to be used to. Now, I'll have to put you more on more overtime, wouldn't I? Breaking my heart is, honestly. Why? Because you're the laziest, most inefficient, uncooperative pair in the old depot and you're earning more money than I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get old Booster then. Hello. <laughs> right, uh, Next. Ah, oh, Nick, watch out, right, Hello, look, who's here? Well, where's your great big boyfriend then, darling? Oh, him. Not as strong as he looks. We were out together too late last night. He hasn't reported for duty. I can't understand it. Yeah, OK. Well, I feel marvellous this morning. Yeah, the birds always do. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, let me help. Oh, well, uh, thanks, love. Thank you. Do you know what I'm going to do for the next couple of weeks? I'm going to be bored to death. Got any ideas, Stan? Well, I'm, uh, I'm beginning to get some. Yeah. Next. <laughs> yeah, mate, she's available. You know, I reckon if you can keep fit, you'll be all right there. Yeah, you're right, Jack. I'm mm. going to keep fit. I'm going to have every other jab now. What are you doing? You just had one. Ah, yeah. That was to keep fit for overtime. This one's to keep fit for her. <laughs> oh, come on, Stan. 
down alley up, mate. Look, we're due back at the depot. Oh, blimey, I'm doing my best, mate, you know. I've got three invalids up there. They've all gone down with the flu now. Yeah, well, don't worry about that. I've been working it out. With all the blokes off, with all the overtime we're getting, we're going to make about 50 quid a piece this week. Oh, oh. Hang on, I'll just serve this up for... Oh, all right, I'm doing my best! <laughs> Oh, blimey, mate, if he's coming down here, I'm off. Don't worry, I've taken all precautions, mate. I'll make sure they're not going to give me the flu, boy. Don't worry. You look at this lot. <laughs> yes, yes, sir, they're not going to give it to me, mate. No. no. Well, what's that you got there, then? Oh, well, it's a disinfectant. Well, that's not going to kill the flu bugs, is it? It ought to. Kills all the maggots in our dustbin. <laughs> right, hang on to that, mate. Don't come any farther! Stay there! And it over the banisters. My dear good man, we have got the flu, not the bubonic plague. <laughs> Give us it here, come on. Oh. Right. I'll put your dinner on the stairs. Blimey, well, mate, them clocks must be full of germs. Don't worry, mate, I don't touch anything they've had until I've disinfected them. Here, hold that, cop that for me. Yeah, all right. That's your idea. Hold it, will you? Oh, blimey, what, what's that you got there, mate? It smells like sheep dip. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon that's what it is. Where'd you get it from? That's the stuff they clean the floors of our buses with. Yeah, look, mate, I've just about had enough of this. Get out! Get out! Get up here straight away! I had brought down the laundry. My pyjamas are nighty. They've got to go to the laundry. They must be crawling with bugs. Get! Put it on there. That's it. <laughs> Where's it all? How childish can you get? Well, it's a... What are you doing here? Get upstairs, go on. Arthur forgot my vest. Where was it? I was wearing it under my nightie. How well, working class. That's it. Hold it there. That's it. Lovely. Right, now then. I'll take them to the laundry some other time, but now you get up to bed. Go on, Arthur! Mate. I'm in. Where are you? What does your ma want now? Here, there you are. I've been yelling my lungs out for the last ten minutes. You're sounding better, Mrs B. Oh, no, no, I'm not, love. I'm very weak. <coughs> Here. Where's my lunch? Well, there it is. But now that you're all down here, you can get it yourself. Oh. Right, what have you made this? What is this muck? <laughs> oh, you know the doctor said we had to have boiled fish. I have got no time to go out and buy cod, have I? So I boiled up some fish fingers. <laughs> you great lunatic, you can't boil up something that's already half fried. What do you mean, can't? I've done it, haven't I? <laughs> Oh, it looks horrible. Well, at least you can drink the gravy. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> fish finger soup. <laughs> well, anyway, let her manage you on your own. Me and Jack's got to get back to work. Now, don't you move. Don't you move. Don't you move. Oh, 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 oh. Open the door, Jack. Open the door. Right. <laughs> Just get me way bill off, Blanky. Do you know what? It's a pleasure to come to work, Jack, eh? Right. At least everybody is healthy. Yeah. <laughs> healthy? Blimey, you spoke too soon. <laughs> Oh, blimey. Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got the flu, nurse? I'm not sure. I think he's a borderline case. Yeah, well, we've known that for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's all right, except when there's a full moon. <laughs> oh, I heard that, you know. Inspector, you'll need some more hot water in that. I expect it's only a touch of bronchitis, but there's nothing like inhalation for clearing the tubes. <laughs> blimey, clearing the tubes? The smell of this isn't clear the buses at all. <laughs> Will you get that? <laughs> I told him to go home, but he won't go. Oh, oh keeping them buses running, it was the last thing I'd do. Oh, I'm the last inspector left, you know. I know my duty to the public. If I leave this depot, I'll have to be carried out. Yeah, well, that could be easily be arranged. <laughs> Will you get that bus out? Yeah, all right, then. Sign me away, Bill, then. Inspector, mm. now be very careful. It's boiling hot. Oh, thanks very much, nurse. Go on, get out, then. We don't know what bus we're on. Oh, my God. Don't you know nothing at all? Where's my... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I get the bear Hard luck, Blakey. I tell you what, you better put that ointment on yourself. <laughs> get out, will you? Go, go. 
Oh. Hello, darling. Hello. All right for the night? Sure, you all right? Me, I'm as fit as a fiddle, love. Thank goodness there's still some healthy men around. <laughs> you see that, are you? I'm not paying this double time to do that, you know. No, we're doing this for nothing. <laughs> All right, darling, see you at the Rosie yeah, Cow Center Top. Cheers. Hello. Go on, get that bus out. All right, hot pants. So anyway, there's old Blackie sitting at his desk with his clipboard there with a bowl of hot water on it. He picks up his clipboard, bowl of boiling hot water all over him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bet he got a shock. Oh, I'll tell you what, he got a bigger shock when the nurse put the ointment on. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be able to sit down for the fortnight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's have a bite to eat, shall we? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, starving. Yeah. Oh, they do some nice sandwiches here. Sandwiches? Darling, with the overtime we're getting, we are going to have oysters. Oh, oysters, yeah. you too, <laughs> too, we are. <laughs> Blimey, you're a quid a dozen. Oh, it's all right. It's worth every penny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, uh, mate, uh, could we have a dozen oysters each, please, and uh, another round of black velvet? That's better, that's better. Yeah. Uh, Must just go to the loo first. Come in, Ivy. Yeah, right, I see you there. Don't be long, darling, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, get a dozen oysters down there, and what? We'll be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you feeling all right? For me? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. It's, it's uh, just it's a uh, bit hot in here, isn't it? No, it's not. Does you feel hot? No. I do. It's made me go all sort of giddy like, you know. Uh, open the window for us, Jack, will you, mate? Yeah. What's the matter? Got no legs? <laughs> Don't be daft, mate. <laughs> Here. You haven't got the flu, have you? Me? No! Hey, listen, you don't think I'm going to miss this, do you? Here we are, gents. <laughs> oh, that's him, mate. That's him. Stick it down there, that's it. Put the empties on. Lovely, that's the way. Here, I'll take them off. You can take a tray away. All right, that's it. Go on, mate, now do your power of good. Go on, get one of these down here. Look, there's a beauty. Go on. As a matter of fact, Jack, I I don't fancy it right now. I I feel a bit sort of. A bit queasy, you know. What's the matter? <laughs> Cold in here, isn't it? No, it's not. No. It? I'm freezing. I'll be your teeth are chattering. I don't. Hey, look, mate, you better go home. You've got it, haven't you? No, oh, damn be daft. Me? I'll tell you something, mate. I'm not missing this. Oh, right, then. oh here they come. That's it, darling. Oh, all right, then. Oh, it's oh, lovely. Cheers, darling. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, common strap. <laughs> What's that noise? What? Hey? Oh. Open wide. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh it's lovely the way they sit down, isn't it? They're alive when you swallow them, you know. It makes me look funny, doesn't it? Come and stand. Well, well, as a matter of fact. Oh, no. they're very good for you. Oh. Yeah, of course I am. All right, I'll have one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, thanks very much, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, well, here goes everybody. <laughs> Smash it. Great. Ain't that great? Yeah, yeah. great. Give Stan another. Go on. Yeah. Come on, Stan. Uh, well, no, if you don't mind, I... Uh... Oh, they're very good for you, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a big juicy one. Well, mm, that's well, that's one. it. Pick the one out. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, get them down, mate. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. in a minute. I'm going to... Uh, Hey, is that Blakey come in there? Look! Ah, <laughs> oh, they're great. Oh, you must be seeing things, mate. It's nothing like you. No, no. And you know the last time I was in here, the evening was with, with Brian, and I went down with flu. <laughs> oh, it was awful. You know what? When all hot and cold, Did he? his teeth started to change. It went all awfully. See, could I understand? Oh, Fetch oh. <laughs> If I was a pepper on that table stand, we ran out. OK, love you. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, mate. Yeah, I'm all right. <clears throat> I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> oh, bloke, it must be the pepper. <laughs> oh, I Oh, God, well, don't spray us with your germs. Then use your hanky. <laughs> Uh, He's got oysters in his hanky. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll be saving them up for later on. <laughs> uh, just... <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, blimey, you're right, Jack. I've got a right dose of the flu. Oh, God, and I've awful. I'm sorry, darling. I, 
I'll let the Koan oh, sorry. Oh, well that's done, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, look, you're going to be all right on your own, are you? Yeah, I can manage, mate. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's a bit awkward. I can't sort of leave the birds, can I? I mean, no. shame to waste all the oysters, isn't it? Oh, I understand, mate. Go back and enjoy yourself, mate. Oh, look, I can't let you go home on your own. I didn't think you could. You're a pal, mate. No, I'll get you a mini cab. Uh, here, mate. <laughs> Someone can phone for a cab, is it? Oh, I'm afraid they're not answering, sir. All the drivers have got flu. Oh, blimey. Look, I tell you what, it's a number 14 passes the end of the road. Get that to the high street and catch a number 11. Forget it, mate. I tell you what, I'm too ill to wait for one of our buses. <laughs> it's only three miles, so I'll, I'll walk. But... <laughs> hey, you! Bless you. You go and enjoy yourself. Thanks, yeah. mate. Right. Hey, you! <laughs> I might add, I'm, we had... On the bus is number four, part one, production number 0756, state recorded the 27th of the 7th, 1971, take one. <laughs> Stan, let's go see Blackie about this too. You told the inspector we wanted a decent cabaret this year. No, no, that rubbish we had last year, mate. Don't you worry, mate. We're going to have a decent cabaret. I've got the photos here. Yeah, let's see them. Don't worry, Chalky boy. We don't have to handle Blakey. Come on, mate. Right, Just a minute, fellas. <clears throat> Come in. <clears throat> oh, it's you two. Now, what do you want? Uh, we come to see you about the booze up. You mean the dinner dance? I will not allow you to call it a booze-up. Booze-up? Blimey, most of the fellas aren't so polite. All they right. call it a right old. Yes, yeah. all right, all right, we know all about that. But I will not have a repetition of the drunken brawl we had on the premises last year. What are you talking about, drunken brawl? That was only a bit of fun. A bit of fun? Look at all the damage you've only just got cleared up now from last year. Broken windows, broken oh, glasses right, and right, chairs Blakey, and tables. Blakey, all right, Blakey, bus driven from all the back right, Blakey, we've got the message. I tell you what, we promise we'll be good boys this year. Now, listen, the fellas wanted us to have a word with you about the cabaret. Cabaret? Yeah. Well, we always have a conjurer, don't we? Yeah. Well, this year, the lads thought we ought to have a change. Oh. Oh, did they? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we want you to book Sandra. Who? Sandra. We saw her at the Cosmo Club. Uh, show that. <clears throat> that, uh, that's Sandra. <clears throat> <laughs> is, uh, is she a conjurer, is she? <laughs> Uh, well, not exactly, no. I mean, uh, she hasn't got anything up her sleeve, uh, but when she starts, <laughs> things pop out from all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Are you suggesting I book a female stripper? Well, look, that's the whole idea, mate. I mean, while they're looking at her, the fellas won't be getting drunk and smashing the place up. It's exactly, he's right, you know, he's right. I mean, this is it, this is it here, Sandra, the Scandinavian stripper. Yeah, and I'll tell you something, her fee is only £10. 
Is she strips down to this? <laughs> no, no, no. She strips down to this. <laughs> She's completely... Uh... Yeah, 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 but let's face it, only ten pounds. It's disgusting. Oh, no. If you want it disgusting, that's another fiver. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can forget about her cos they're not having that. Listen, Blackie, unless you agree to her, the lads will boycott the dance. Yeah, yeah. No, don't try blackmailing me, mate, I tell you. Come in. Oh, Inspector. Oh. I'm sorry to trouble you, but have you seen my way bill anywhere? Uh, yes, I've got it here. That's somewhere oh, it's OK. Here it is. Oh, no. Oh, Inspector. Oh, <laughs> see, you're one of those. Fancy. <laughs> no, no, that's nothing to do with me. I... Oh, I... no. Well, who is she, then? Ah, uh, it's a new clip he's been interviewing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he stripped her off like that so he can measure her for a new uniform, see? <laughs> <laughs> How oh, dare you? Yeah, he took that photo himself, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, watch it, watch it. And he went stripping you. <laughs> it's nothing to do with me. They brought that in here. Yeah, well, we know what he likes. Go on, take <laughs> it out. <laughs> here, just you wait till I tell the other girls about you. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had about enough of you two bringing this filthy picture in here. Well, take it out of it. Nah, nah, temper, temper. Go on, get out. You're not having that woman, and that's that. I'll keep that dance respectable. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. We'll take it up with the dance committee and put it to the vote. Yes, you do that, mate. I happen to be the chairman of the dance committee. <coughs> oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, well, in that case, uh, here, you better give them that bit just to show them what we're having. I don't want to take it out well, of it. Well, don't mess about, mate. I did give you the best bit. Don't get out <laughs> of it! <laughs> What's that one? Oh, look at this. And it is screaming. Here, have a look at that. Oh, blimey, yeah. <laughs> oh, Charlie, we always have a good do. Yes. Oh, there's Arthur. I'll get his tea. Hey, Mark. Hello, love. Hello, Arthur, love. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> what are you so pleased about? Stan's brought home the tickets for the busman's ball. Oh, thank you, Mark. Yeah. yeah, I've got mine and the old ladies here. I'm treating her. And there's your one. You and Olives. That's four quid you owe me. Yes, well, I don't think we should be going. Oh, Arthur. Why not? You went last year. Exactly. That's probably why we're not going this year. <laughs> We had a lovely time. Lovely time? What are you talking about? The busman's brawl, it should be called. Look, if I want to be pushed around and insulted by a lot of scruffy busmen, mate, I can always get a Fortney bus ride up the high street. <laughs> <laughs> Look, mate, I don't mind you getting at me, but surely you can take her out once a year. Oh, yes, Arthur, we did enjoy ourselves last year. When Stan bought home the tickets, Mum got out the photos they took last year. Look. <laughs> Oh, look at this. This is me doing a knees up. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> I'm hardly likely to forget. It was rather embarrassing. <laughs> well, it's a good job we didn't take it a couple of minutes later. <laughs> Why's that? <laughs> That's when my elastic broke. <laughs> Here's one of us. Look, I was trying to get Arthur to dance the tango. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did you remember that? Oh, no, you've got to go, look. Look at that, you there. I can see that mad, passionate look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I still think that rose in the mouth looks a bit stupid. It was lovely. Oh, look at this one. Here, this is when Stan borrowed all his glasses and pretended he was a girl. What was that? <laughs> that one. Oh, God, yeah. Here, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Arthur, do you remember? In the ladies, excuse me. In the ladies, excuse me. I went up and asked Charlie for a dance. <laughs> My goodness, you must have been slosh making a fool of yourself like that. I wasn't as slosh as Charlie. <laughs> he tried to get me into the car park. <laughs> no, you've got to admit, it was a good do, and, and I, well, this year will be the same. No, I'm sorry, mate, I'm more convinced than ever. You've wasted your four pounds, we're not going. I think you're mean, I was so looking forward to it. Now, see what you've done? You've upset her. Oh, and she's gone off without finishing her tea. Blimey, she must be upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I better go and get her back. Olive! Olive, love, come down. Hello, Mr. B. Evening. Oh, hello, hello love. Here, want a cup of tea? Oh, Charles. One in the pot. Here, I better go and get her down. Well, if she can't finish her food, she'll waste away. <laughs> <laughs> Here, mate, have I got some good news. What? 
But it, we beat Blakey. The dance committee put it to the vote and he lost. We're having Sandra. Oh, we are <laughs> great, Sandra. Yeah, I've been up to her agent. He sent some more photos. Look. What? Hey, oh, look at that, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see old Blakey's face when she comes on. <laughs> I'll tell you something, mate. When she comes on, I won't be looking at Blakey's face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what's all that, then? Oh, uh, that's a stripper we're having for our booze out. Look at that, mate. Not a stitch on, eh? <laughs> 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 I must say, that's very nice. Yeah. She gets like that halfway through her act, then she starts doing her contortions. My goodness. <laughs> what about that bit when she comes off the floor, jumps on your table and does the splits on it? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get an eyeful of that, mate. Oh, you're going to enjoy that. <laughs> he won't. Why? He ain't going. <laughs> you what? Uh, well, I, um, I have been thinking about that. <laughs> And, uh, well, Olive does seem rather upset. I... I don't want to hurt her feelings. <laughs> her feelings? Blob, it's your feelings you're worried about. Not at all. Not at all. No, I just think Olive deserves a treat, that's all. Uh, come on, now, there you are. Now, look. I'll, I'll hot all this up for you. Uh, look here, Olive. Um, I have been thinking. And you seem rather keen. Uh, perhaps we will be going to the busman's do after all. Oh, Arthur, thank you. You are a darling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to go raving mad. I shall have to see about my dress. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't say anything about buying a new dress. Oh, no. Don't worry. I can alter last year's. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're going to the ball, dear. Oh, I always said there's nothing wrong with Arthur's heart. No. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with his eyes, either. Needed adjusting, that's all. Done it, go. Oh, never yeah. mind. I'll put the tools away after I've had some tea. Oh, now the machine's going. I can put my dress on and then I can mark the hem where I want it. Mm -hmm. I must get it ready in time for the ball. <laughs> oh, I, I think I'd better just draw the curtains, love. It's not very nice for anybody passing by outside. Well, it's not exactly a treat for anybody in here. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, put your little hands in. There you are, that's a good girl. Now then, whoops, that's it. Now, can you mark the hem for me? Oh, no, love, I can't bend down. My back's playing me up a bit, love. Here, Arthur, you give it a hand. I... I'm doing me pose, aren't I? Oh, well, uh, <laughs> Stan. What? You give it. Oh, you're all right then, Mum. All right, darling, I'll do it for you. Uh, what do you do? Well, you put a pin in the hem just two inches below my knee. Yeah, all right, <laughs> no, can't you get up a bit higher? It's awkward, dear. Well, stand on something, that'll do. Get your feet off, get your feet right. off. Oh, right. darling. There you are. You stand up there, darling. Right. Now, now let me see. Make sure it's just two inches below my knee. Two inches below your knee. <laughs> well, blimey, I can't find your knee. <laughs> Oh, don't be stupid, it's there. Well, I know it's there, but I can't see where it stops and where the leg starts, that's all. <laughs> oh, I can find a lump here, I've got it, yes. Run it down. Yeah, take those two out there for the start, and I'll know what I'm doing, right? Uh, two inches yeah. below the knee, right? That's better. Uh, hold it now. Huh? Two inches below the knee. I think that's about it there, lovey. That's that one. Yeah. Now, two inches below the knee here. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, it's right there, and it's wrong there. But what do you mean? Well, you must have one kneecap higher than the other. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. Love, I'll split the difference and put it in the middle. How's that? Well, that's all right. Yeah, yeah that, that, that looks about even to me. Right, I'll put it there then. Okay. Right. Okay? Yeah. Now you must put one in the back. Well, Arthur can do that because he's round that bit. Arthur, it's your job. One minute, this one's coming out. Arthur, here. Arthur. Right. Arthur, come on, help out, oh, will all you? Right, all right, all right, all right. Right. Two inches below my knee. What are you talking about? You haven't got knees at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Her knees go all the way round. 
Oh, don't be so rude. Oh, I was only joking. Don't be silly. Look, 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 bend your knee up like that so that he can see the folds. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid great lump! <laughs> Sorry, Arthur. It's worse than trying to shoe an horse. <laughs> all you've got to do is put a pin in the back the same height as the one in the front. What are you talking about? I can't see through there, can I? The material's too thick. Oh. Hey, Arthur. Hey, I've been thick. We, we must be mad, mate. We must be mad. I mean, it's easy, really. It's just like putting a line round a wall, isn't it? I've got just oh. a thing for it. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What? Spirit level here, eh? <laughs> 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 right. Okay. Get it. Get it. Here. What? Is it? Is it level? I can't even see the little bubble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mum, they're mucking about. I'll never get it done. That's stop it. Stop it, the pair of you. Never mind, love. We'll go over to Mrs. Allen and get her dressmaker's dummy. We can go in the morning. Then you can do it yourself. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> Olive, cover it up. Here he Hello, Blackie. Uh, pull up. Come on, step aside. I'm coming aboard. You ain't got 16 in passengers in there. <laughs> oh, well, that's a passenger. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's he said? Come up as he got on, did it? <laughs> uh, I shut the doors a bit too quick. <laughs> Come on, get out of it. Get it off. Get it off. Come on, who's is it? It's ours, Inspector. Oh, my God. I might have known it was your luck. Now, come on, Mrs Butler. I'm not having that on there. That's occupying the space of a fair-paying passenger. Oh, right, I'll give it a ticket. Yeah, here, yeah, Jack. I'll pay for it. Yeah, now, right. don't be ridiculous. That ticket's not valid. Now, get it off. <laughs> oh, all right, Mum. Take the coat off. Oh, right, right, love. Get out, Jack. All right. Look it up. Right, right. Give it out to Olive. She can put that on her lap. Right, is that all right now? Oh, well, I suppose it must be all right, seeing as how you've paid a ticket for right. it. Oh, that reminds me. Jack gets back my fare. Oh, uh, right. What? Well, babes and arms travel free, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> get that cake on. Get that cake on. Get that bus out. Oh, Mum, this dummy's no good. My dress won't hang right on it. I'll never get it right like this. Well, love, it's because the dummy's too small. It wants padding out a bit. Here, boys, go on. Give her a hand, loves. Look, I've got all this ironing to do. Oh, God, I for a bit of peace, and it can't even read a paper here. All right, Olive, take it off. Take it off, love. Well, that's ridiculous for a start, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't look anything like you. That bra needs padding out. Yeah, you're right, Arthur. Yeah. Mum, kiss Anki. Yeah, love. What are you talking about? Give him a tea towel. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> here. All right, huh? All right. Oh, how's that then? Well, that's all lopsided. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not lopsided. <laughs> no. Well, we ain't finished yet, have we? Get another tea towel, Mum. Oh. Here you are, love. Right, talk. Right, now, now measure it up. Oh. All right. Hold it. Yeah, wait a minute. Well, that's still two inches less than me. Yeah, well, that's because the dumb is narrower than you, isn't it? You know, you're wide like that and like that. I'll show you what to do. Give us another towel, Mum. Give us a towel. You are. All right, love. There you yeah, are. This would do. Now, fold it like that. Stuff that down the back like that. Now, right now, measure that there, Olive. There. Yeah. Yes, that's right. There. See? Simple. Just like that, right? Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, mate. What? Well, that's the top half done. Now you come to the difficult bit. What's that? <laughs> the hips, mate, they need padding out, don't they? How can we 
bet the amount, stupid. There's nothing there to pen out. Look at Yeah, you're right. Well. Here, Ma. Have you got one of Ollie's girdles there? Hey. Oh, you can is. put that on, mate, and then stuff stuff into there, can't you? Great idea. Yeah, I love it. Great idea, that. Great idea. Great idea, mate. Yeah, don't put it on like that. Why not? Because you don't. You put it on like this. <laughs> <laughs> and you get into that. Oh, it must be a bit of a struggle. Come on, let's have a go then. <laughs> hey, what? Oh, this is ridiculous, isn't it? No, I mean, this has got three legs, she's only got two. <laughs> here, 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 show a bit of common, mate. That thing comes apart, doesn't it? Well, don't sit there on your. Just give us hands. All right, all right. I'll show you how to do it. Murder. Come here, then. Come in. Right. It comes off like that, mate. Right, right now, shove it in there. Well, wait a shove it in. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right. Mind, mind, it. mind that peg, Goes thing. around the back. Then. Well, get it on the back first. What? Where is it? <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> How did she get this thing on? Well, when, when she puts it on, that bit usually moves up. <laughs> What happens to it? It's an horrible sight, mate. <laughs> it stays in the middle there and wobbles about. Well, you're not exactly pretty when you're standing on one leg trying to get into your wife, France. Olive, that's not nice. You're darn right, it's not. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That it. Look, I'll tell you. Look, I'll tell you what, mate. I'll push look. down and you pull up. Oh, right. Okay, right. One, push. two, three, down. Down, 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 down. down. No, 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 no. Stop, stop it. What's stop the matter? It. I'm blowing. You got to peg down my trousers. <laughs> Here, you hold it. It's all right for you, mate. Makes your eyes you. water. I tell you. <laughs> I'll pull it up. Right, right, right. Pull it. Right now, right. you ready? Right. One, two, three. Right. Right. Hop. One, two, three. Put it in. Blow me my chins underneath. Well, get it out of the way then. Wait a minute. Now, come on. Let's go. Right. Up. You've got. Wait a minute. Make a minute. You've got it up there. You've... I've got to get this side up. Right. That's lovely. That's right. That's it. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's just charming, isn't it? It's about a... oh, Blimey, I've got my hand down there. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've got a splinter in my finger now for that. Well, that'll teach you to be more careful where you put your hand. <laughs> <laughs> right then, there okay. it is. Right, right, to you, mate. Right. I'll put it in nice and neat. Right, okay. Right. There we go. Right. There we are. Wait a minute. There we are. Get it up nice. Right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's it. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, well, let's measure it. That, that looks, looks more like olive. Yeah. Measure it. Measure it. Hold it. Right. Yeah. 41. Yeah. Will that be all right? Yeah. Yes, that looks like you. <laughs> but it's such a horrible shape. I said it looks like you. <laughs> You're not exactly Tom Jones, are you? Oh, I was only joking, you silly thing. Be daft. Look, you fit your dress on there, darling, you'll be the belle of the ball. Thank you very much. Yeah. Up the stairs here. Special ladies' cloakroom on the right. Hello, uh, Blackie. Yeah. I bet you won't be leaving anything in the ladies' cloakroom. <laughs> I still think we should have had the conjurer. Hello, here comes Sandy's mob. Hi, hey, Jack. Hi, Mr. B. Oh, hey. Cool. Oh, Blimey, Olive, that's a bit of a dress you got yourself squeezed into. <laughs> Do you like it? I made it myself. Oh, I'd never have guessed. <laughs> Good evening, Mrs. Butler. Hello. Up the stairs here. Ladies' cloak room on the right. Oh, yes. There's your ticket, Ron. Yes. Oh, thanks. Have a nice time. Come on, love. Hey, uh, Arthur, mate. What do you think of that, eh? <laughs> Worth two quid of your money, hmm? Very nice, I must say. <laughs> I'll tell you something else. We've got a table right in the front. Here, yeah, Stan, I'll what? tell you something you don't know. What's that? Look, when she takes off the last bit, she chucks it to the lads in the audience, see? Now, the bloke who gets it can go round the back afterwards and give it back to her. <laughs> That's a bit saucy, I must say. Martha, <laughs> come along. If you'll excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Arthur. Ah, mm. oh, never mind. Well, Blaggy, you've got to admit, she's a bit of all right, ain't she, eh? Mrs. 
disgusting. Well, I certainly shan't stay to watch her performance, I tell you. That photo's obscene. I had to stick two labels across to her. Yeah, well, everyone's seen them now, so we might as well take them off. Yeah, I'm you away, leave them alone. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Come on, oh, you hold on to me. Oh, 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 for take me home. Oh, my God, what's happened? Oh, it was that terrible stripper girl. Didn't you see it? No, I, I left the room as soon as she started her... Uh... She didn't attack your daughter, did she? No, no, it wasn't Sandra, it was the lads. Eh? Well, you see what happened, Blake, you see? When she took her panties off and chucked them up in the air, they landed in Olive's lap. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> All those men came rushing at me. Yes. <laughs> well, I did warn you about those hooligans, didn't I? I mean, the table was upset. Drinks spilled all over my wife's rather expensive dress. Oh, yes. Oh, it was ten of the boys went mad grabbing that woman's panties. Yeah. And they nearly grabbed olives up and all. <laughs> oh, it was awful. All those men's hands grabbing at me. Yes, well, never mind. I'll take you home now, no, sunshine. No. Come on, mother-in-law. Yes. I did warn you. I did warn you. What a terrible thing to happen to her. Terrible? God, brother, she's had her money's worth. I bet she never gets 40 blokes grabbing her again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, come on, I've got to go back inside now. Right. Hey, you're not going back in here after what's happened to your own sister, are you? Well, you see what happened, Blakey? When they was fighting over Olive, I got the, uh, I got the lucky drawers, you see. <laughs> here! Hey! On the buses, number five, part one, production number 0757, recording date the 5th of the 8th, 71, take one. Love. Uh, that's 15 and 6, 21, 24 and 8, 32. Make it 26. Thanks, love. Hello, Susie, darling. Hello. Uh, steak and kidney, mash and peas. Oh, love. Here, I could do with a bit more steak and kidney. You blokes never have enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. How much is that, love? Uh, well, let's see. Well, forget about the extra steak and kidney. Uh, 25. Call it 20. 20? Oh, blimey, love. I'm a bit skint after all those vodkas I bought you last night. Oh, yeah, all right. Make it 15, then. Yeah, all right. There you go, love. Yeah, I've got a bit extra off reminding her about last night. Yeah, I bet they remind you about last night and all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amongst other things. <laughs> Uh, toad in the hole for me, darling. OK, love. Yeah. Chips, egg? Yes, yes please, yes. Uh, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Here, uh, got any extra bangers, man? I've got some coming up. All right, I can wait, love. I'll keep it hot for you. Hey, I'll bet you sell it to all the lads, eh? Heads <laughs> <laughs> up, heads up. Here comes Dracula, watch it. <laughs> oh, it's cold out in that garage. I'm Hear frozen that. in the marrow. Hear that? Dracula's cold. You want to put hot water bottle in your coffin? More <laughs> <laughs> on you. Hello, first. Toad in the hole and chips, I think, please, love. Yes, Inspector. Oh. Portion of peas. Oh, yes, please. I must have a bit more than it. I'm famished. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look nice, don't I? <laughs> what are you doing, 
did that for him? You said one portion. It was only a couple extra. Look, we call it favouritism just because you're the inspector, you know. That's uh, 15 for the toad, four for the peas, portion of chips, five. F five peas for <laughs> them chips? Well, that can't be right, can it? Let's have a look. No, you've got two too many. <laughs> Six chips to a portion. Yes. That's ridiculous. Who said there's only six chips to a portion, then? The management. Oh. Oh, well, I better own another portion, then, don't I? Oh, sure. That's five pence more, make 29. 29. Hey, Chip, is mine ready yet, darling? I see. <laughs> 29 p's for that lot, look. That girl's very efficient, isn't she? Yeah. Don't give nothing away. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and yet the management lose 50 quid a week on this canteen, do you know that? Mm. Got me, Pete, I tell you. Yeah, I bet it has. I've put on an extra sausage and another egg. Yeah. You've got to keep your strength up, haven't you? <laughs> uh, how much is that, doll? Well, it's 45 there. Make it 24. Oh, that's better. <laughs> hey, hey, look, I think you'll see this about right then, darling. Thanks, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> for his lunch for 24 p's, then. Toad in the hole, poached the chips and an egg. Are you sure? Looks a bit more than that to me. Mm. Yeah, watch it. I think Blake is getting suspicious. Eat up. <laughs> oh, bloody God, it's boiling up. Well, cut it up, camouflage it. Eat the ends off the bangers. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mate, keep your eye on him, keep your eye on him. <laughs> Hodgie. Right there. Yeah? Stop eating a minute, will ya? <laughs> right there. Mm -hmm. You've got more on your plate than you paid for. What do you mean? You paid for one egg, you've got two eggs here, look. There? Yeah. Oh! No! No, that's not two eggs. No, it's only one. No, it's, um... Uh, it's a double yolk, see? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that. I'm not a moron, you know. No, no, no. Stands quite right, Blackie. I mean, can you tell one of them yolks from the other? Well, no, but I mean... There you the... are, identical twins come from the same egg. Now, that is a scientific <laughs> fact. Yeah, yeah, it's quite right, yeah. That is an amazing likeness, no? eh? What are you talking about? Listen, Blackie, I'll bet you that if those two yolks had grown up into chicks, even their own mother couldn't have told them apart. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fool me, mate. You've got a sausage there. You never paid for a sausage, did you? What are you talking about? That's my toad. I just pulled it out of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> that great big sausage never come out of that little hole there. The hole's too small. Well, it, 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 it must have swelled up when I pulled it out. <laughs> like your feet on hot day. Yeah. Hey? Well, you know, you take your shoes off, your feet swell up, you can't get your shoes back on again. <laughs> what are you trying to give me? You must think I'm blooming potty. You've got more on your plate than you paid for, mate. Look. You've got more than one sausage there for a start. I, I've just cut it up, and I? Well, put the eggs together again, then, with some tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put it together, then. Um, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't rush me now. I'll put it together, I'll get it. Now, then. All right. Here you are. Here you are. Now, look at it. Look, look at the length of it. Look, look. <laughs> You've got, almost probably had an extra long sausage. <laughs> You've got more than one sausage. There's two sausages there. <laughs> What are you talking? How can it be two? Look, if it was two sausages there, there'd be four ends, wouldn't there? And there's only two. Yeah, that's proof positive. Only one sausage. <laughs> You've eaten the ends. <laughs> You've eaten the evidence, haven't you? Well, it won't do you no good, but I'll tell you that. You gave 24 piece for a massive great plate full of food there, and I gave 29 piece for a little tiny morsel. I know what's going on in this canteen, all right? There's someone here eating food who ain't paid for it. Yeah, there is someone here who's eating food who won't pay for it. What? Look, your dinner. <laughs> you sure you don't want this supper, love? No, thanks, Mum. No, I couldn't eat a thing. Do you know what? Since we've had this new canteen girl, we can stuff ourselves stupid for next to nothing. Yes, we're not all so lucky. All I've had since breakfast time's a sandwich. Where's my supper, Mark? Oh, here you are, love. 
Not that blasted stew again. <laughs> well, you said it was delicious when you had it at Sunday dinner time. Today happens to be Thursday. <laughs> In any case, I'm not very partial to stewed lamb. Yeah, but it's not lamb any longer, it's now mutton. <laughs> well, it smells like goat. Look, mind you've got something else. I mean, this is why my one meal of the day, I need something nourishing, something with vitamins in it, not a load of second-hand stew. Look, there's good carrots in there and barley to thicken it up. Plenty of vitamins in those. Well, carrots are good for you. Make you see in the dark. Oh, Arthur, that means that when you wake up in the night, you'll be able to see me without putting the light on. <laughs> I'm here, hurry up and eat the barley, mate. <laughs> right. It's full of vitamin B, strengthens your nerves. <laughs> don't be so rude. You don't mind seeing me in the dark, do you, Arthur? I prefer it that way. <laughs> well, what did you say? Well, this stuff's disgusting. I tell you what, mate, you ought to become a busman. I tell you what, this new girl, I mean, we'd get more than we can eat. We're well, love. I wish you could bring a few leftovers home for me. Yeah, I... Hey, I'll tell you what I'll do, Mum. I'll have a word with Susie and see what I can do for you. But in the meantime, eat you still up as a good boy. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm fed up with getting the leftovers in this house. I'm treated like a dustbin. I'll tell you what, let's put him out next Thursday. We might get him collected. <laughs> Oh, shoggy, mate. Hi, oh, mate. Oh, Dad. Oh, yes, love? You left your paper and all your things in the canteen. Oh, thanks, love. Have you got the stuff? Page four. Page four, is it? Love, <laughs> Lovely, love. Here, stand, mate. I wouldn't wear these for driving if I were you. Why not? Well, she stuck sausages up the fingers. <laughs> 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 There's some steak and kidney and grease pudding in your scarf. Steak and kidney puddings in here. Mm. Lovely, lovely. Yes. Well. And there's some cheese in your cap. Oh, you are a crafty one, you are. I've got to be. The inspector's getting suspicious. I thought me being canteen staff, he might have me searched. Good idea. I'll volunteer for the job. <laughs> yeah, me too. Look, I'll tell you what, I'll take this off. You have the other off. No, uh... I'll take the old lot. I know the territory, don't I? Get out of it. Who found up first? Get off. Get up, your hands up. off. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Put that gold down. Now, what do you think you're doing? Now, oh, come on. Get back in the canteen. Just come on. Now, get that butt out, yeah, will yeah, you? Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> get the butt out, mate. <laughs> Butler? <laughs> What's wrong with these acting? I think he needs hair cut. <laughs> Steak and kidney pudding's beautiful. Oh, well, so it should be. Here, yeah, that's real steak and kidney. I could never afford that. Not at the end of the week. Do you, do you mind? I have already told you I'm not eating that. It's stolen. Oh. <laughs> oh, Arthur, it's beautiful. Smell it. I don't want to, thank you. He stole that from the canteen. <laughs> no, don't be dark. These are left the leftover steak and kidney puddings. Hey? Oh. Oh, well, I didn't realise that. I didn't know. You mean you had those in the canteen yesterday? No, they're left over from tomorrow. <laughs> Don't talk wet, mate. How can they be left over from tomorrow? Well, our canteen girl's very good at anticipating, see? Sort of sells it to the future. <laughs> it's thieving, mate. I'm not going to be a party to it. I shall have some bread and cheese. <laughs> oh. Smells a bit funny. Is this flavoured with something? Yeah, hair oil. <laughs> <laughs> How revolting! Does everything we eat in this house have to be stolen? Well, Stan said I'd be thrown away. Here, come on, love. Have a bit of nice steak and kidney. No, no, no. No, thank you. It's against my principles. Your principles, you hypocrite! Here, blimey, what about this butter knife, eh? You knock this off. Station Hotel Grimsby, that's where it's gone. <laughs> oh, that's different. That was a souvenir of our honeymoon. Oh. In any case, it was Olive's idea to take that. <laughs> yes. I remember walking out of the hotel with it when we left. 
My heart was thumping and I was all excited. Yeah, I bet that was the biggest thrill you had all the week. <laughs> I don't think we need that sort of talk, thank you. In any case, that's one small knife. The amount of food you bring home out of the canteen, you might just well help yourselves off the shelf of the supermarket. Oh, no, that would be stealing. Anyway, they've got a detective watching. Here, do you know what? They caught two women last week with chickens stuffed up their coats pretending to be pregnant. <laughs> yes, they are very hot nowadays. Do you know last week they stopped me because they said I had a suspicious bulge under my coat? Yeah, what was it? Her stomach. <laughs> because my coat was too tight. In any case, I don't care what you say. I'm not eating those steak and kidney pies. They've been pinched. Oh, don't make me laugh. You'll be laughing over the other side of your face, mate. Won't you, if the law suddenly arrived at the front door? What are you hey. talking about? To arrest the lot of you. Receiving stolen property, mate. Don't be stupid, mate. The law looked at the door now. It'll take him five seconds to get there into here. And by that time, Oliver would have eaten the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank God it's lunchtime, mate. I'm starving. You eating in the canteen today? Well, I've got no one. It's Thursday. I'm dead skint. Well, I'll say skint. I've got about uh, five new pence left. <laughs> oh, blimey, with Susie, you'll be laughing, mate. But that, you'll get soup, steak and kitty pie, two veg, treacle chocolate, coffee, and you'll still come out with tuppence change. <laughs> That's what I mean. You can't eat, it? Come on, then. <laughs> oh, blimey, heads up. Blake uh, is here. <laughs> Hello, Susie, darling. Two hungry customers out. My name's Gladys. What you want? Uh, Maggots and mash twice, please. Where's Susie? <laughs> She's gone, mate. <laughs> I finished her up this morning. I tumbled what was going on all right. You won't get round this one so easily, I'll tell you. Gordon, who was doing? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that right, Inspector? Yeah, that's right, love, yeah. <laughs> She's just right for this job, she is. Come here with marvellous references, you know. Oh, blimey, where'd you get this one from? A woman's prison. <laughs> <laughs> she was a wardress in Holloway. How do you get hold of her? He must have met her when he went to visit his mum. That would be 22 each. 22? Oh, part, Jack, I'm skinned. Hey, all right. Hey, all right. God, look, this is not much here, mate. It's a fair portion for the money. <laughs> <laughs> you carry on like that, my dear. You'll soon have the canteen back in profits again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's done it for me, mate. How do you mean? Well, I promised Mum I'd bring her home some grub tonight. Well, it might still be all right. With this one here? You must be joking. Listen, everyone's got their price, mate. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll chat her up for you. Chat her up? What are you going to say to that one? You just leave it to me, mate. All right, be good. Uh, Gladys, darling. Yes? Uh, me and my mate was just saying, uh, you look a nice, friendly type. Do I? Yeah, uh, a bit like the last girl we had here. I mean, uh, she was a right cracker and all. Oh. Yeah, well, um... She used to look after us, you know, uh, give us a few bits of grub that was left lying around in the kitchen. Oh. Uh, of course, we'd pay a bit for it, and uh, the lads would see she had a good time. Like what? Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the um, uh, point is, uh, she promised my mate a leg of lamb and some sausages for this evening, but he's a bit too shy to ask. Put him over there. Yeah. All right, mate. Oh! Was that meant for me? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, do you think he fancies me then? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but don't tell him I told you so, will you? No. Well, uh, I can't give him anything now, but tell him to come to the back room at three o'clock. I'll find something for him. Yeah, well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd be OK. Here, you're going to enjoy working here. <laughs> All right, mate, it's fixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get straight up. You've got to go round the back room at three o'clock, pick up the stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. great. <laughs> Marvellous. Of course, uh, she, uh, naturally, she'll, uh, she'll be expecting something. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, well, um, did you fix up what I've got to give her? 
Uh, well, no, not exactly, but uh, I promise you it won't cost you much money. Yes, <laughs> my mate. <laughs> <laughs> Gladys, it's me, Stan. You know, Jack fixed it for me. Gladys, are you there? Oh. Hello. You, you, you were expecting me? Oh, yes, I've been looking forward to it. Oh, good. Well, come on in. Oh, yeah, all right, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see you've got the stuff, then. Oh, yeah, I picked out the best leg and some sausages. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, love. Thanks, love. <laughs> 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 you, you don't have to bolt the door. Oh, we don't want anyone coming in. No, it's all right. No, I stashed your stuff in my overcoat, see? Not because of that. You know. <laughs> oh, the money. The money. Yeah, of course. I forgot that. No, I... Uh, Hey, you naturally, you know, and Gladys, I want you to know this, that I'm very grateful. Show me how grateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, now, now wait a minute. Now, come uh, on, we've got till four o'clock. <laughs> You've only come in here for a leg of lamb. <laughs> Ten years I've worked in that prison with nothing but women. That's why I changed my job. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, <laughs> no, just... Now, come on, you don't have to be shy. Look, darling. Look we're wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend said you fancied me. Hey? And I fancy you. <laughs> Miss? Miss, you there, Missy? I've got a query here about your insurance card. <laughs> Look, Gladys, Gladys, please, please, Gladys, please, but be sensible. Please, please, please. Give, please give us a break. Give us just, just oh. a bit. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, don't take it out of me. Take it out of me. You know, I only come in here for one thing. No, I'm not going to. No, no, you don't know. No, Blake, you don't understand. It's not what you think. No, no, I know what you're going to tell me. Now. She'll attack you, won't she? No, well, You've had it, mate. I'll tell you that. What? You'll get the sack for this. No, Blake, no, 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 it wasn't his fault. I tempted him. I led him on. I <laughs> 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 I always knew you weren't a great successful lover and all that all the time, but... <laughs> no, 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 Blakey, please, do you mind? Uh, uh, Blakey, uh, you, you know, you know, I've got to get a bus out, see? Uh, no. I, I've got to get a bus out. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Been doing your conjuring tricks again, have you? <laughs> what else you got there? Nothing, no, come on. No, I'm... Yeah, look at that, though. No. Uh, <laughs> I gave him that inspector for love. I lured him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, Butler? Well, uh, well, yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him a leg of lamb and a couple of pile of sausages for his body. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't worth a couple of benefit neck and scrag. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Oh, go on, get out of it! No, I don't know. You, you corrupt anyone, you would, but honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'll have to get someone to run this canteen who's completely sexless. Yeah. Why don't you run it yourself? <laughs> oh, dear. Poor old Gladys, she didn't last very long, did she? Ah, uh, what old old Blackie's got in the canteen today, then? Well, whoever it is, she must be an improvement. Yeah, let's go and have a butcher's All then. Right. Okay. <laughs> Well, what's all this, then? The management's decided to do away with female help in the canteen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was all my idea, actually. Yeah. We replaced women with machines. This is absolutely ridiculous. Sure, mate. 
They exert your fatal charms on them, go on. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. I'm wrong, I suppose we'd better, Jack. Go on. Put your money in there, mate. See if you're going to double help with that. Oh, right. <laughs> Funny. Rotten machine. What's the matter with it? It won't take my money. Yeah, got more sense than humans, isn't it? Spot a blade. Yes, yes, yes. I've been sent from the vending machine company. I'm here to check your machines. Is everything all right? Uh, oh, yes, yes, no, it is. Yes, no, it's yes. not, miss. No, it's not, miss. This machine keeps rejecting my money. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Just a minute. Here you are. Hey, Stan. Look. It's going to be very nice having a pretty bird around while we're eating our grub, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I hope the machines go wrong often, darling. <laughs> I'm afraid your coin was a bit bent. It rejects bent coins. Did you want a pie? Uh, yes, please. Yeah, I got well, meat pie, please, love. <coughs> <laughs> meat? Thank you. Here, Thank take you. these with the compliments of the company. <laughs> bent coins. Just you get in touch with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pie for you, oh, there, Jack, yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, mate, when we've eaten these, how about going in a machine shop and start bending some coins? Look after him. date the 5th of the 10th, 71, take one. Hi, darling. Hi, Lossie. Hey, look, we better get Blanky to sign our chitties. We don't want to lose our overtime. No fear, no. We need the extra money. We're dead skint at the time, you know. Yeah? Yeah. You know what Mum's done? She's done the front room up and we're taking in another, another lodger. Go on. Yeah. Hey, have you got anybody yet? No, I told Blakey about it. I hope he finds somebody for me. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, Blanky's not there. Honey? Hey, George, seems seems Blakey, have you? Yeah. He's going up the sick room. Don't tell me he's chatting up that new nurse. Nah. He's got the guts, I <laughs> Oh, poor old Blackie. <laughs> Here, look, we better get him to sign these titties quick before he dies. Oh, yeah, <laughs> mate, let's get in. <laughs> oh, blimey, I might have locked the door. Oh, <laughs> ain't it marvellous, and He's always on it us about with us for the clippers. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have a nice time, won't you? <laughs> you two shut up, you morons. Nurse is examining my stomach. Oh, there you are, Blakey. Sign these and we can push off then, mate. Do you mind waiting until I've finished? <laughs> you going to pay in after you've eaten? Yes, sister, after I've eaten, yes. Is there anything else in particular that brings the pain on? <laughs> whenever, I, whenever I clap my eyes on these two, I get makes an acid, but sister. I see. Well, perhaps you ought to suck something. He does. That's what we call him Dracula. <laughs> I can quite do without your crude comments. 
I think it's just over acidity due to stress and worry. That's, that's what I got, stress and worry. That's what it is. It's too much responsibility here, sister. If I didn't bother about them buses, I don't think they'd ever get out the depot. Well, that should cut your worries in half. Because if they don't go out, they wouldn't be late coming back in. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll get you some stomach ooh. mixture. That'll help you, yeah. uh, Come on, Blackie, sign these, will you? Shove your moniker down there. Yeah, hurry up. That's it. And the other one. Now, if you just Stop, drink mate. this, that'll clear your stomach. Good talk. <laughs> yeah, it might have cleared his stomach if he's clogged up his moustache. Oh, pardon. Yeah, well, a couple more of those would be unclogged. <laughs> Here, by the way, Blakey, have you found anybody to rent our room? No, I haven't, mate. I've got other things to do apart from worrying about finding lodgers from you, mate. Well, I'm looking for somewhere else to stay. Have you got a room to live then? Yeah. Yeah, my mum, she's done the front room up. It's nice, you like it. And I'll tell you something, we don't charge much. Oh, well, perhaps I'll come round later. See if it's suitable. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I pardon me, sister. Well, that's all right. It's good for you. It brings all the wind from your stomach. Mm. Clears the wax out of his ears and all. <laughs> <laughs> Will you get out? All right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, they brought my paint on again, sister. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be very happy and comfortable here, dear. Oh, yes, thank you. The room is very nice. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, cut yourself a bit of cake, love. Oh, oh allow me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a sliver. It's so fattening. Ah, oh, there we are. Thank you. That's beautifully cut. Uh, uh, uh. I'll have another bit. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you have any children? Uh, no, no, not yet. No, well, you see, they've only been married ten years. <laughs> You're a career woman, are you? No. Well, what do you do with yourself all day? You must be wondering what they do with themselves all night. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose working with busmen, you must get used to crude remarks like that. I'm afraid I do, but it's all part of the draw. Oh, bloody, I was only joking. In very bad taste. <laughs> well, I, I suppose you had to work very hard to be a nurse. Oh, yes, I did, but it's very interesting work. Oh, I'm sure it's the sort of thing it's I actually, always... actually, I have always wanted to take up medicine myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, love. Just done a bit of a shock, that's all. <laughs> Actually, you'd have made a very good doctor. You have just the right manner. It's very important. <laughs> nice for you to say, sir. Well, if you'll just excuse me, I think I'll finish unpacking. Oh, allow me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, blimey, I know she only had a little bit of cake, but surely she's got the strength to turn the knob. <laughs> I was merely being polite. It's a nice change to have someone well-bred in the house. You never opened the door for me. Ah, be fair, love. You did once. When was that? When you threatened to leave home. <laughs> don't stand me. It's the truth. Bromie couldn't get the door quick enough to open it for her. Oh, now, don't be nasty, love. You know he didn't mean it. Anyway, I think that young lady's got very nice manners. Did you notice when she took her bit of cake, she cocked her little finger up? That was nice. You think that's nice? Yeah. Well, just because she cocks her little finger up, it doesn't impress me. I think she's a stuck-up bit. Eh? She walks around the depot with her nose crinkled up as though there's a nasty smell in the air. Oh, with you lot there, there very probably is. <laughs> Personally, I found her conversation most stimulating. Stimulating? You made yourself a right net, didn't you? <laughs> well, of course, uh, I always uh, fancy taking up her uh, medicine. I have always wanted to take up medicine. Ah, it would have been nice for my little Olive if Arthur had have been a doctor. Yeah, he might have had his operation done properly. <laughs> Him, he's too mean. If he'd have been a doctor, he'd have done it himself. Yeah. Could he have done it? Well, of course he could. Mind you, that had eyes in the back of his head. <laughs> How very funny. How very funny. Mind you, I don't suppose that young lady will stay here more than the day having to put up with you lot. Oh, well, I bet she will. I'm making her a very nice dinner tonight because it's her first evening here. Good. I just hope you won't all bore her with your rather coarse conversation. Oh, well, I don't expect she found you so blooming dazzling. Oh, he dazzled her all right, that. 
Every time he turned his bonce, his bald head kept shining in her eyes. <laughs> oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Stan, wake up. Stan! Huh? Dinner's oh. ready. Oh, thanks, Ollie. Yeah. Oh, a bit peckish. Well, come on, love. Tidy yourself up. What for? The lodger. <laughs> now, Mum, look, look, let's get this straight, shall we? Let's start as we mean to carry on. I'm not behaving any different just because we've got a snooty lodger in the house. Huh? It's dinner ready. Has <laughs> <laughs> anyone bothered to call Marion? Get him. <laughs> <laughs> what are you tarting up like that for? I thought I may as well change, so I just had a bath. A bath? It's only Wednesday. <laughs> it is permissible to have a bath more than once a week. You've shaved. Yeah, yeah, has he? So, yes. It looks as smooth as a baby's bum. <laughs> yes. Get your head off. You've done it for that woman? Not at all. Well, you never shave for me in the evenings. Hey, he's even put talcum powder on. It might be a good idea if you were a little more particular over your own personal hygiene. Oh, well, if you feel that way, mate, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get a bit of grisette water around my arms, how's that? <laughs> there is no need to be ridiculous. Me ridiculous? Blimey, you're the man that's being ridiculous. Look at you. What's that pink thing in your pocket? Oh, yes, your knickers. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with her drawers in your pocket? They were hanging up in the bathroom. I only got them down just in time before Mary came in for her bath. Oh, hasn't she ever seen knickers before? Or doesn't she wear any? Well, perhaps that's what he's hoping. I don't want them. You can have them back. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. I'm afraid the cat's a little bit stiff. Oh, yes, I think I can see what's the trouble. Hasn't he got a nice, soft, gentle touch? <laughs> no good of asking her, love. She can't remember. <laughs> yeah, come on, loves. All sit down. Have the soup while it's still hot. Come out of it. Come on. Mary, love. Sit there. That's it. Hey, up. Charlie. Good love, <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> come on, Olive, darling. Get stuck in. It's your picture night tonight. You don't want to be late. Otherwise, you'll miss the start of the film. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, and I always go out to the pictures on a Wednesday night. Oh, well, I was thinking of going this evening. Oh, how lovely. Perhaps you could join us. Oh, yes, that would be lovely. I'd, I'd hate to miss the film. Oh, yeah. What is it? What's it called? Oh, it's one of Antonio and his masterpieces. They say it's a spiritual experience. Do they really? We're going to see Dracula meets the ape man. Well, I suppose that's all right for people that want a cheap thrill. Well, it's the only sort of thrill some people get. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, personally, of course, I, I only go to see those sort of films to please Olive. I myself would much prefer something more mentally stimulating. Come off it. Yes. Yes, I think that's a good idea. We'll all go and see that Antigone film. It's lovely. I'll go and get my coat. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm not going to see that film. If you want to see it, you see it with her. Righty ho, I will. Arthur! <laughs> yes? You can't leave Olive. Oh, I suppose you were looking forward to seeing that Dracula thing. You know I was. Uh, Righty ho, sunshine. Here's uh, 50 pence. <laughs> see you at home after the film. <laughs> He won't go, darling. It's all talk. You know him. I tell you what. I bet you five shillings he comes back. Good night, all. <laughs> oh, you a dollar. <laughs> Ah, 
home again. Uh, that's very nice. Well, thank you for a lovely evening. Uh, and thank you for the taxi. Oh, that's nothing. We, uh, we always come home by taxi. <laughs> that's the... The bus service here is so disgusting, you can't even tell if they're going to run. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, sir. We might have been stuck in that shelter together for hours. <laughs> well, that might have been nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did enjoy your company. Your wife's a very lucky woman. Oh, well, I... I do my best to keep her happy. About once a year. <laughs> I thought the film was marvellous. It was typical Antonioni, especially that scene in the park. Oh, my goodness, yes, yes. All that stark realism. <laughs> Sheer power of primitive passion. <laughs> Good, how would he know? Well. Well. <laughs> well, good, good night, then. Good night. Sleep well. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're still up, are you? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All that primitive passion seems to have got you going, doesn't it? Well, you want to forget that because Olive's waiting for you. <laughs> you were spying. <laughs> well, of course we. Uh, we always take a taxi home. Oh, shut up. <laughs> of course, I've got to admit, mate, uh, you can do far more things in the back of a taxi than you can in a bus shelter. I'm not standing there listening to your foul remarks. I'm going to bed. All right, then. Well, good night, Arthur. Huh? Best of luck, mate. Here, step, step. What? Jammed or something? Hey, no, jammed, no, mate. No. Don't jam, no. Hey. She's locked you out. <laughs> she what? She's locked you out! Olive! Don't be so stupid, open the door! You're not coming in? Now even if you get on your bended knees, you treat me like an old frump! Well, that's just about what you want, Ron! <laughs> For sake, don't we be here all night, mate. Humour her, humour her. Olive! Don't be stupid, girl! You know you'll be frightened on your own in the dark there. Blimey, she's more frightened when you were here. <laughs> Shut up! Here. You haven't got a clue, have you? I've got no idea. Come here. She's a woman, isn't she? She's upset. You've got to speak nicely to her. She'll soon melt. You think so? Well, I ought to know, don't I? Besides, she's my sister. I can't take it cool, you know. Put a bit of the old charm on. Oh, right. <coughs> so Sunshine! <laughs> I am very sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I, I'll make it up to you, Olive. I promise. She's coming. Yeah, what I tell it work. About time, <laughs> sir. Here's your pajamas, you pig. You can sleep on the floor. <laughs> well, that was brilliant. Well, let's face it, you wasn't very good at it, was you? You haven't had enough practice being nice to Olive. I'll give her a nice. <laughs> Here. Well, uh, Olive looked him out. I'm not surprised after the way you treated her. Most hurtful. Open that door, Olive! Oh, shut up. You'll never get anywhere like that. My little Olive's a woman. you got to talk nicely to her. <laughs> then she'll melt and open the door. And I'll get my teeth kicked in. <laughs> open that door! Come here! Be quiet, for God's sake. We, we, we've got a lodger in the house. Oh, yes! Here. There's only one thing for it. You'll have to sleep with him. Yeah. Olive! Open the door! Open the door! I'm not having him kick with me, but my bed's only three foot foot wide. We can't get two in now. Well, of course we can. When your dad and me was first married, we slept in a three foot bed. Stan and I don't have to be just married. Oh, shut up. Come on. Olive, love. It's Mum. Open the door. Here's a good girl. Here. And if Arthur don't behave himself and upset you again, you can come and sleep in my room. You can come in. <laughs> but you've got to sleep right on the edge of the bed away from me. That's how I thought they always slept. <laughs> oh, Jack. You should have been in our house last night. There was a right drama there. 
Do you know what? I was up with the old lady for three hours trying to convince her that Arthur wouldn't leave Olive. No, of course he won't. Well, I'll see to that. You know how much he eats. Go on, by me. Cost me a fortune. <laughs> Heads up. Here comes old Rumble Tongue. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Blackie. What's that you got there, then? It's me medicines. What? That new nurse certainly understands my stomach, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all this aggravation causes me to make acid. Yeah, what's all that muck you got in there, then? Well, it's yoghurt. Easily digestible, you yeah. see. What are you talking about? <laughs> It's natural yoghurt, that is. It comes from the milk of wild goats. Oh, yeah, I saw a documentary about that. You know, it appears that all the blokes in Bulgaria who eat that every day all live to be 100. Do they really? That means we've got to put up with him for another five years. <laughs> <laughs> come on, get his butt All right, all right. Hey, Donna, you come in with us. I thought you was off duty. I am. Nurse told me to go and eat me dinner at home. See, so I'm going home now. I must get home and get some peace and quiet when I get it, see? Oh, 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 God. <laughs> Mm. I tell you what, Blakey, it might be better if we took you straight to the cemetery gates. <laughs> <laughs> See your driver out there. Come on, Blakey, let's get this down. Oh, this is really down. Uh, I'd like to have a word with you, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, I can't stop to chat. I'll be late for lunch. I can't stand the canteen. It's so rough and scruffy. Oh, Jack, I can't stand the canteen. It's so rough and scruffy. <laughs> Stuck up a bit. <laughs> if I see Arthur snipping round her again, I'll do him. Yeah, come on, mate, I'll see you. Uh... <laughs> Too, no. Well, what did you slam the brakes on for like that then? Yeah, well, I, well, I was testing them. You always say, make sure your brakes are all right. Well, I can tell you this, they're marvellous. I oh, know that, don't I, you blooming moron? Oh, 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 oh. Got your paint again, have you? Ah, must be something you've eaten. No, I've baked my stomach, that's what I've done. That's all I need. Oh, oh, oh. What's the matter now? <laughs> I've squashed me pills. Have you? Look at that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at that. Look, I'm supposed to take one of them every time I'm upset. No, we don't want to. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Hey, help. Help, Blakey. There's one of your pills here with that white medicine on it. Now you can take the both at once. That's not a pill. That's a blooming fly button. I wonder where that four little holes in it. <laughs> Get up, Blackie, let's see if you're all right. Uh, Come on in. Uh, I'll have to have this bus taken out of commission. That'll all have to be hosed down, it will look. Yeah, uh, well, you better stop here with it then. Why? So that you can hose you down as well, because you're setting the yoghurt. Look. <laughs> oh, 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 this is doing me no good at all. All this, all this aggravation make me make acid, you know. Yeah, that? well, don't worry, Blackie. All that yoghurt will make your bottom nice and smooth. <laughs> Oh, 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 good. Oh, oh. What's the matter now? Uh, uh, <laughs> all the yoghurt soaking through now. <laughs> What's happened to the inspector? Why is he standing like that? Well, uh, he's had a little accident. <laughs> oh. Come on, Blakey, mate, we'll get you cleaned yeah, up. Come on, uh, come on <laughs> Hey, you all right? He just messed his suit up a bit. That's all right. Look, he's, yeah. he's setting the yoghurt, see? Yeah. Come on, then, Blackie. We'll get you scrubbed yeah. down, mate. Is there something I can do? No, no, it's just a minute. Molly, uh, Mary, whatever word were you, uh, love. Uh, look, I saw you with Arthur just now. I thought you was going out with him. Now, come on, love. What, what's going on? Nothing's going on. I asked Arthur to come over here. You did? Well, I've been thinking about it, and I've decided I don't want to get involved with a married man. Ah, oh, now, that's wise. So I'll be leaving, and I'll be collecting my things this evening. Will you? 
Yeah, well, I suppose it's all for the best, yeah. Oh, Blake, it's all right. No bones broken, just a bit of shock, that's all. Oh, I'd better go and have a look, see if he needs any treatment. Yeah, well, don't look for too long or you'll be wanting treatment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you told me that you saw her going off with Arthur. Yeah, I did. He made a right twit of himself, mate. He turned up in his best suit with a big box of chocolates for her. <laughs> and she gave him the brush off. <laughs> oh, poor old Arthur. <laughs> poor old Arthur. He'll be walking around the town in hell of a state now. What, trying to forget her? No, trying to flog the chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, love, how are you? Oh, fine. Here, I'll get you a nice cup of tea. That's your idea, darling. Thank you. Hello, Stan. Hello, what? You look pleased with yourself. Oh, Stan, look what Arthur went and got me. <laughs> a lovely big box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> He went all the way down to the posh shop to get them specially, and they was all done up with the lover's knot. Look. Oh, fancy that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Arthur knows how to get round the girls. Oh, yeah, right off. Mind you, it doesn't always work. <laughs> Does it, mate? <laughs> I must have another one. I'll have a raspberry cream. They're my favourite. Do you want one, Stan? Uh, let's have a look at them, don't Oh, no, no, it's second thoughts. No, I'll wait till I've had my tea. No, I'll have one, sunshine. Oh. You great guts. <laughs> You've only had a five minute and already the top layer's gone. Well, don't be cross, Arthur. I have forgiven you, haven't I, darling? It's all right, all right, all right. Great clumsy in it and they come here in raspberry cream. Here's your tea, love. <laughs> Thanks, darling, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Arthur. Have one from the bottom layer. Right. How disgusting. They've all been bitten. <laughs> I need to find out which was the soft centres. <laughs> It's always the same with you, isn't it? Whenever you get anything to eat, you behave like a great fat pig. Well, you're not perfect. No. Stan? What? Here, Stan, do you think Arthur and Olive's marriage is all right? I'm a bit worried about them. I spent nearly two quid on this box of chocolates. Of course it's all right. Listen to them. You well, anything they're back to normal, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, shut up! <laughs> So much left on the bus. What's that then? Two portions of fish and chips. Ah, well, you've got it in a lost property. Oh, can't do that. Why not? I'm hungry. So am I. Let's get stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector? Yes, madam. I've just left something on one of your buses. 
Oh, well, rest assured, madam, all my crews are fully trained as regards to lost property. I should hope so. Well, if it hasn't already been handed in, it soon will be, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best bit, you know, Jack. This yeah. bit right on the bone here. Oh, blood's crazy, isn't it? Well, you got a hanky, haven't you? Yeah, I ain't going to use that. That's mine. No, I've wiped it on this. It belongs to the company. <laughs> <laughs> Now, she'll need your full name and address and a complete description of the property you lost, right? Two portions of fish and chips. Two portions of... <laughs> <laughs> Two portions of fish and chips? Is that all? Oh, that was my old man's supper, best place on the phone. I want it back. Oh, well, I'll see what I can do for you. What bus were you on, you know? Ah. <laughs> Oh, blimey. That old woman was on our bus. Quick, get rid of the stuff. What's wrong with that, then? Well, it must be her fish and chips. Oh, blimey. Come on, shove it in the used ticket. Right. Oh, uh, butler. Uh, this, this lady here says she's left some fish and chips on your bus. You found it, have you? Well, that's not in my department. You ask him. Oh, no, no, there's nothing on that bus, sir. You can have a look if you like, but I've already checked it. This is the bus. Number 11 from Cemetery Gates. I left it on here when I got off at the High Street. Hang on a minute. This lady couldn't have been in our bus. God, oh, I mean, we, we, we've only just got here. I mean, actually, it'd be the same time as us. Well, she caught the next bus to you. Well, that's what I mean. That's 20 minutes after us. Yes, and it got here five minutes before you. <laughs> You'll be late again, as usual, ain't you? There's a definite smell of fish round here. Oh, yeah, but that's not the fish and chips, madam. Uh, well, we don't like to talk about it here, but... Uh... Oh. Mm. What's you insinuating? <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's that rubber mat he uses, you see. It's like tennis shoes on a hot day, and it's stronger. It's always the same. Whenever you leave anything on a bus, you can never get it back. I shall write to the manager about this. And other things. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you suggest things like that about me to that woman? Well, let's place it, Blakey. Everybody in the depot knows that you do have a personal right. problem, you know. <laughs> Blimey, your best friends wouldn't tell you. Yeah, but we don't mind telling you because we hate your guts. <laughs> hey, hey, do you mind? What? I've got to empty the used ticket box. No, no it's all right. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. You're on a driver. How would you know well, about it? Get on here and clear that out. I want this bus to uh, him, man. No, that's, that's all right. Uh, mind your own business. Let me get on with it. Blimey. Someone's been stuffing fish bones in here. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you, haven't I? I've got you. <laughs> I knew you had that woman's fish. No, no, no. It's not what you think, Blakey. Oh, no, 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 no. I suppose you was taking these bones in to the cemetery gates to bury them, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm having you in the manager's office. Come on. I'm taking this here in evidence, evidence mate. Now, you know you get the sack for this, don't you? Steve, you lost property. Hang about, mate. A shop steward, I'm here to tell you, under section 42, loose wrap food is classed as litter. Yes, but there's nothing in the regulations about eating litter, is there? Anyway, go on, you take us to the office, we don't mind. I'll tell you something, you can't prove nothing. You haven't got a leg to stand on, mate. Oh. All right, then. Well, in future, every bus will have to be checked for lost property as soon as it comes in the depot, right? And you'll have to fill in the form every time and all. Now, you can get the bus out, because you're late. We can't take it out yet. Right? Why not? We ain't had our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't heard the best bit. By the time Blakey and the old girl got over to us, me and old Jack had scoffed a lot. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I don't find that very funny. You're just a common thief. Yeah, me dog, mate, it's left there. It is a criminal offence, mate. Stealing by finding. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was stealing by eating. <laughs> <laughs> You're splitting hairs, aren't you? You've got nothing to split, mate. No, oh, shut up. <laughs> Anything you leave on your buses, you're not likely to get back. It's not true. Oh, well, I don't know about nowadays, but in the old days, people was honest. I remember your dad got his teeth back. <laughs> he got his teeth back? How on earth did he lose his teeth on a bus? Well, he used to keep them in his pocket. He only put them in when he wanted to eat. <laughs> well, if he wanted to smile at anybody? The mind boggles. Well, there wasn't no national health in them days. Anyway, there wasn't a very good fit. They were second-hand. <laughs> you don't mean to tell me he bought someone else's teeth. No, he didn't buy them. He inherited them from Uncle Willie when he died. <laughs> How nauseating. Anyway, the fact still remains he wouldn't have got them back in this day and age. Anything left on your bus gets pilfered by you lot. Oh, don't talk such rubbish, mate. We've got parcels down our depot that haven't been claimed yet. 
Yeah, I left a parcel on a bus once and Arthur wouldn't let me go and claim it. Oh, yeah? What was in it? <laughs> well, it was in the first year of our marriage. I, I, I don't think you need to go into that. <laughs> it was just after Arthur had his operation. It was a special red see-through nighty. No. Arthur bought it for me. Mm. It was all transparent mm. and it had holes in it. Will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you something, love. It's just as well you lost it, because if you'd have worn it, it'd have been in hospital the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've had enough of your crude remarks, mate. You're just a lot of thieves down at your depot. It's about time your company did something about it. As a matter of fact, they are. Old Blakey makes his way after every journey till we've filled in the lost property forms. Good. Bit of discipline wouldn't hurt you. Well, I'll tell you something, mate. It won't last for long. I'm glad to get him browned off. As a matter of fact, they, uh, they got a bit of a surprise for him. <laughs> Hello, mate. Give us the stuff. Well, they're delivering, really. I'm dying to see old Blakey's face. <laughs> so be right. Mate, he has to report every stupid bit of lost property every time he come in. <laughs> Your brother will give him sitting up a base and pull the lamp and turn it in. <laughs> well, that's done, mate. Take it away. Tell it mate. And a half minutes late. Just got time for a cup of tea and out again in five minutes. Hang right. about, we got some uh, lost property here. Oh, no, you would have. Yeah, well, come on then, write it all down. I don't want you accusing us of pinching stuff. All right, all right, I've got the form here. Come on, what's it? Well, you got something here, a woman left on the bus. <coughs> I don't know what it is, feels like a hat. Well, I'll have to describe it, won't I? Oh, yeah, right. trying to give me. Now, come on, Blakey, put it down, describe it properly. Now, who'd bring a thing like that on a bus with them? Well, lots of people. We've got a long journey. Yeah. <laughs> and the way you two dawdle about, mate, you'd need to hand him out with the tickets. Oh, God, <laughs> hold up. Let's see here. Uh, one China receptacle. <laughs> value. I wonder what you value that is, then. Well, it's all the corner how urgently you need it. <laughs> right. Oh, don't tell me you've got something else there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what this is. Let's have a look here. Oh, right. It's a large-sized block of ice cream. Oh, well, we won't bother about that, Lisa. Oh, yes, you will. You put it down. We don't want to be accused of pinching it like we were that lady's fish. Yes, you do, then. All right, that's it. Oh, no, 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 you made the regulations. Everything found on the bus must be brought back well, to the you depot. Got to use your blooming common sense, don't you? Oh, go on, take it <laughs> out. You ain't got anything else. Look at that, all over me, Paul. Yes, yes, I found this under the back seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a chastity belt. It's really to truck. Oh, is it? Well, put it down. Anymore. Things people bring on buses when I'm, I don't know. You ain't got anything else there, have you? Yes, yes, I found this, Blakey. Oh, I see. Uh, one lace handkerchief. Oh, no, wait a minute. I mean, we must make sure... Well, I uh, wouldn't describe that as a lace handkerchief. Would you? <laughs> no, not really. Mind you, some girls do bring them home in their handbags. Lecturers, <laughs> <laughs> spying you. Yeah, go on, go on, yeah. All right, yeah, it's all right, I can see them. Uh, one pair, ladies, undergarment. Yeah, hang about, how do you know they're ladies? Well, he has had his moment. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. The things people bring on buses. I know, all the years I've been here, I've never known stuff like that to be left on a bus before. Oh, yeah. I suppose you've got nothing else here like that, have you? Uh, uh, well, just this uh, tin of toppies, Blakey. <coughs> yeah. No, oh, we won't bother about toppies. Oh, yes, we will. Yes, we will. I want you to check every one of them in there. We don't want to be accused of pinching people's sweeties. Give us it here, then. You know all new about this, didn't you? Hey? You knew about this, didn't you? <laughs> You've done this to make fun of me, haven't you, eh? Hey? Hey? You had all that stuff planted there. It doesn't matter. It's all got to go down. It's got to be reported. <laughs> I've had just about as much as I can take. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Take it easy. I'll have fun. 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 I'll have fun
Fuck off, don't no more. Now, Blakey, Blakey, calm down. You'll strain yourself. Ah, oh, let him, mate. <laughs> you can always wear this. <laughs> Us finish for the night. Come on, let's get down the boozer and get round before they close. Lovely. Hang about. <laughs> nice property, Paul. Oh, will you fill it in? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, go I'm not going to be made a fool of again, mate. You check that bus thoroughly, fill that form in, and hand it on to the security guard tonight, right? Ah, uh, well, there's nothing found on the bus. Well, write down nothing then and sign it. Come on, it's your responsibility from now on. Oh, blimey, old Frankenstein's getting crafty. They must have got his head working properly. Yeah. They must have tightened his bolts up a bit. <laughs> All right. Never mind about going to the pub, mate. You stay and check that bus properly and fill that form in and hand it in. I'm more foam out of it. Oh, blimey, I'm dying for the pint. There's nothing on that bus except a few evening newspapers. Oh, is there? I'll have one of them. Why don't you do that? Nothing found on bus. Yeah. That'll do it. Right, come on, mate. Let's no, get wait, going. wait a minute. I found this envelope under the sheet. Oh, chuck it away, it's only litter. No, you can't. It's sealed up and there's, there's a little hard thing in it. No, I better hand it in the security. Well, I miss our pint. No, chuck it in Joe's <laughs> mid. Nah, no, blimey, I can't do that. No. I tell you what, I'll take it home with me tonight, bring it in first thing in the morning. Great idea. Right. Night, Joe. Night, Joe. Night. <laughs> oh, Stan, love, it's after midnight. Come on, time for bed. Yeah, I'm just having this bit of bread and cheese, Mum. Mm. I've got a bit of package right for having them pints, see? Oh, right, Olaf. The phone. Who? Who can it be at this time of night? It's our fault. Huh? She's gone. <laughs> Go on, where's she going at 12 o'clock at night? <laughs> I feel she's gone. I can oh. feel it. I'm sure of it. Oh, don't, don't be melodramatic. Oh, no. You know what it's like. It's a, it's a wrong number. Oh. Hello? Butler? Is that you? Yeah. Hello, Blackie. What do you want? I've been got out of bed by the general manager. Yes. Yeah. Butler? Yeah. You found an envelope on that last bus, didn't you? And you took it home with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Blakey, I nearly chucked it away. Chucked it away? You chucked it away. No, I didn't nearly <laughs> chuck it away. Butler, it was a diamond in that envelope. What? A diamond worth over £100. It was dropped by a jeweller. Yo, the bloody hell's right to know. Butler. Yeah? If you've lost that, <laughs> you read it, you know that, don't you? <laughs> you know the regulations concerning lost property. You should have handed it in right away. Well, it's all right. I've, I've got it here. I've got it here. You've you got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> here, Butler. Yes. You bring that in first thing in the morning, won't you? Right. <clears throat> yeah, Blakey, I'll tell you, I promise you, I'll bring it in first thing in the morning, Blakey. Blakey. Oi, it's gone. What was it, love? Uh, that's Blakey. Uh, I left an envelope on here, Mum. Eh? Hey? An envelope, Mum. I found it on the bus. God, it's got a diamond in it. What? I left an envelope on here with a newspaper. Oh! Oh, Arthur took the evening paper upstairs to bed with him. And the envelope. What? <laughs> really wanted something to do his pools on. His pools? God, I'll kill him. Why didn't he leave my things alone? <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, let me in! Arthur! Oh, God, what's he have to lock the door for? Well, they are entitled to a little bit of privacy, dear. I know, but I didn't think they bothered. <laughs> Arthur! <laughs> Arthur, let me in! <laughs> what's the matter? Is the house burnt down? No, let me in! Come on, let me in! Olive, <laughs> unlock the door. Why? <laughs> You're be nearer. Because you locked it. Yeah, and that was a waste of time. <laughs> oh! The line was cold! <laughs> Wait a bit, now don't come in, I'm in my nighty. Wait a bit. <laughs> what do you want, Wayne? You're putting your feet. <laughs> You found an envelope on the sideboard. 
My giddy heart. You won't get me up in the middle of the night about some crumpled envelope. I found it on a bus. Yes, and it's got a diamond in it. And it's worth over 100 quid. So why didn't you hand it in? I didn't know it was in there, did I? Oh, now, come on, mate. Don't mess about with the envelope. Oh, I was working out my permutations on it and I fell asleep doing it here somewhere. Good. How can you fall asleep doing your pools? He can fall asleep doing anything. <laughs> Will you shut up? There it is. Right, Tar. It's only half of an envelope, and it's not in there. Oh, God. What's the other half? I'll have used it to make out a shopping list. Blimey, what a marriage. You do your pulls and she makes out a shopping list. <laughs> have you got it? Where is I it? I didn't use it. Oh, good. It's, it's not there. It's, where is it? Don't anybody move. Mum's right. Don't... It might be on the bedspread. Yes, you're right. right. Mum, take it easy yes, now. Yes, you now. Work. Come on, get your end. Got it. Oh, oh, you careful, it. careful, careful, Mum. Yes, careful. Yes, gently does it. To me, shake it a bit. Watch it. Give it a juggle. There's nothing there. Right, yeah, take, it right, take it on. <laughs> well, it's not under me pillows, right? I'll tell you that. It's not right. There's only one thing for it. It must be in the bed. Ah! <laughs> oh, me. I am finding this highly embarrassing. Oh, oh, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, good old Mum. <laughs> Great, she's got... That's not it. Why do you have to cut your toenails in bed? <laughs> That's what I always say. Why don't you make the bed? I've cut them in three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't anybody know. Where are you going? I'm going to get me torch. Right, that's it. <laughs> well, it, uh, me, it must be here somewhere. I suppose I'll better help. No, don't you move. Just keep still. You might knock it anywhere. Here, here, mate, mate, yeah. mate. You are supposed to be looking for a diamond, not giving me a medical. <laughs> Shut up! It ain't there. Olive, lift up. <gasps> Go on, lift up, lift up. <laughs> I've got it! I've got it! Oh, oh. <laughs> Get off! I've got it. Oh, blimey, it's a crumb. Uh, well, I always eat biscuits before I go to sleep. Well, it must be here somewhere. I'm not joking, look at this. This bed's full of crumbs, you know. Don't you ever make it? The amount of food she eats in bed doesn't need making, it needs sweeping. <laughs> There's a big tear in his sheet. Now you know why I told him to cut his toenails. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, I got it. <laughs> oh, blimey, it's one of your rotten pills. It's not my pill. I don't take a pill. Arthur does. <laughs> Arthur does? What do you take one for? I take it for night cramp. <laughs> it relaxes my muscles and ensures I'll get eight hours uninterrupted sleep. Blimey, the one who's eating biscuits all night. Here, have you found it? No, I haven't, Mum. Right, I'll oh. look under the bed. Oh. Now. Oh, we should have looked under here before. Oh, good. Have you found a diamond? No, but I've found three inches of flam. That does it. Lock that door, Mum. Right. Lock that door. Hey, what are you doing? Nobody's going to leave this room until I've found it. Olive, get out of there and stand up on that chair and take it easy. Right, now, then, get up on that chair. Take it easy, doll. That's it, love. Right. Now, Arthur, you do the same. You must be joking, mate. You come back and look for it tomorrow, I'm going to sleep. Are you? If you're going to sleep, mate, there's only place your place you're doing it, and that's on the floor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Look through all the sheets and pillowcases. I can't find it. No, no, I can't. It's not under the line, though. Well, I shouldn't give up, Art, mate. You haven't taken the floorboards up yet. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'll go and get the hammer and chisel. Oh, shut up. Don't be stupid. I'm getting fed up with this. You shut up. If you hadn't taken the envelope, I wouldn't have lost the diamond, would I? Stan, can I get down off this chair? No, 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 darling. No, don't move. No, no. The more people are moving around, the less chance I've got to find it, haven't I? But the chair's so hard, it keeps hurting my corn. Yeah, well, I can't help it, darling. I've... I've... <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's OK! I found it! Hey! The diamond there! It's in that little round hole in the corn glass. <laughs> Wait a minute, love. Ah! <laughs> oh, how did it get there? You <laughs> stupid great lump. Must have been when you were trampling all over me. Hey? <laughs> you what? No, that was when I had to unlock the door and get back into bed. Oh, well, anyway, you had it that day. Lovely. Ah. Yeah, lovely. Come on, Mum. Now we can have a good night and kip. Hey, just, just, just. Just one minute, mate. You can't walk out of the room leaving it like this. It'd take us two hours to get it straight again. Look, mate, you've always said it needed a good turnout. Now you've had one, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? Did you break your back and done? Well, of course I did. I gave him the first thing this morning. He's in here with him now. 
I could get the sack for this, you know. Yeah, if Blakey has anything to do with it, you probably will. Yeah, well, I, I, I pleaded with him to do his best. You should never let me take that envelope home. Ah, oh, blimey, mate. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Hey, he's smiling. That means you have got the sack. <laughs> you all right, Butler? I sorted out that business about the lost diamond with the general manager. You, you didn't tell him I took the envelope home? Oh, no, no, no. I never mentioned your name at all. Kept it right out. You did? Yeah. Yes, I told him I came back here in the middle of the night and I personally found it stuffed down the corner of one of the seats. <laughs> oh, Blakey, I mean, you're a good un. Hey, he's a good un, Jack. I said he's a good un, isn't he? That's hey, right. hey, I never thought you'd do a thing like that for me. No, neither did I until I found out it was £10 reward for the finder. I've got to check there, look. Yeah, it's good, Blake, that. It's because, you see, uh, I I I'm entitled to half of that, aren't I? Yeah, I know. That's what's so marvellous about it. <laughs> You're not getting it. <laughs> Why not? You told me to keep your name out of it, I did. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I bet this has taught you a lesson, isn't it, eh? eh? No, no, not really, no. Good, come on, of course No, it, it hasn't taught me a lesson, it's taught me nothing. Right I've not. always known you couldn't trust an inspector. <laughs> come <laughs> on, let's get the bus out there. Yeah, right, right. We've been waiting for you. What, is tea ready? No, the trains have bunged up. What? <laughs> yeah, it's happened this morning. Well, why didn't Arthur do something about it? Well, he's painting the chairs, love. You know, he said he was going to paint the chairs today. Well, why didn't he stop painting the chairs and do something about it? As it so happened, I did. Oh, what'd you do? I nipped next door, borrowed the rod so you could do it. <laughs> Blow in it, Marvellous. Why is it I get all the dirty jobs in the house? I've been trying to do them all morning, staying with this. Oh, if it's bugged up that much, love, God, you'll never... Listen, you'll, you'll never do it with that. Well, it seems to be getting easier. Yeah. That's a good girl. Funny, it's getting easier, but the water isn't running away. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course not. You broke the plunger, ain't you? Ah, oh, typical. She's so heavy-handed, everything she touches comes away in her hands. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, she never let a stroke to your head so much. <laughs> I think we can do without your cheap humour. Well, let's face it, mate, you've got a bit of gloss on your bonds and you're getting on them chairs. <laughs> you don't shut up, you'll get a hard gloss on your tonsils, mate. Oh, now, now. He was only joking. What should I do with this? <laughs> well, get yourself another one. You've got a nice padded bra. <laughs> I'm not going to help you now. I was only joking. The trouble with you is, no matter what you do, you never finish it. Oh, very true. <laughs> Oh, all right, where's the rods? I'll screw them together and do it myself. Oh, you're not in your uniform, love. It's a very dirty job. Well, I'm not going to put my own clothes on to do it, am I? 
You should have a special set of clothes for doing jobs, mate. I have. I'm wearing it now. <laughs> Look, mate, I can always put it down to fair wearing chair. I call it flagrant dishonesty, mate. No wonder the fares are going up. <laughs> that uniform is given to you for work. I know the regulations. You are supposed to wear it on duty and when proceeding to and from duty, and that is all. And there's nothing in the regulations to say that I can't unbung a drain on my way to duty. And as it so happens, I go through the back way on my way to duty, right? Right, now come and give us a hand with a manhole cover. It weighs a ton. Come on. I'm very sorry. I want to finish this chair. Oh, in any case, love, I don't think he should strain himself lifting that manhole cover. You know what the doctor said after he had his operation? <laughs> God, that was years ago. That's very convenient, ain't it? Just because of his operation, he can't manage to lift up the manhole cover. Oh, no, Stan, there's lots of other things he can't manage as well. <laughs> Understand. <laughs> right, oh, wait, right. Oh, wait, I'll go under it. Hey, Arthur. Yeah. You better hold that brush with two hands, mate. Uh, well, you don't want to strain yourself and ruin the rest of your married life. <laughs> Here we are. That is a highly professional finish, though I say so myself. Ah, oh, it looks lovely. It's so clean looking. Yeah. That reminds me. How's Stan getting on with the drains? Has he unbunged them yet? No, the sink's still full. Here! Stan! You all right? Yeah! I've got one of these rasted bloods! These rods are stuck! Here! He's lying on his stomach with his head down the drain. <laughs> Is he really? Three minutes he said he'd take to do that job, big head. Here. My son hasn't got a big head. Well, that's lucky, isn't he? Otherwise, he might have got it bunged up one of the drains. <laughs> Wait, I'll empty the teapot near, Mum. Oh, yes, love. No, he's putting it down a drain. You can have that and all. Right, Tom. <laughs> oh! oh, it's running away lovely. Oh, good. I can throw all this lot down there now. <laughs> oh, it's going away beautiful. Oh, look, Arthur. There can't be anything in the way of that now. It would appear there was something in the way after all. Cleaned up before you have a bath, you bung the drains up again. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> I'd hell of a job on bunging it. What the hell have you been pouring down the sink? Well, it might have happened when I threw away the last of Olive's mutton stew. <laughs> well, God, if that's what her stew does to a four inch drain pipe, God knows what it's going to do to our stomachs. <laughs> if you'd eaten it all, we wouldn't have had to put any down the sink. No, but then we'd have needed rotting out, wouldn't we? Oh, shut <laughs> up. No, it wasn't only that, though. There was a, a, lot of, a load of muck stung. It was all bunged up with a bit, great big wedge of stuff and a load of other stuff and everything. Look, it might have happened. Also, I threw down a bit of olive semolina and custard pudding. Well, he shouldn't have thrown that away. Oh, you did like it, then? No, we could have mixed them both together and bunged the holes up in the front bath. Oh, no. <laughs> that'd be nasty, love. Nasty? It's all right for you to talk. You wasn't down there like oh, I was. Look here. You haven't half made a mess of your uniform. And... Oh, I told him he should have had another set of clothes. Oh, it'll have to go to the cleaners again. No, I won't bother about it. I've had it over a year now. I'll go to the depot and get myself another one. Those uniforms are supposed to last you two years, mate. Yes, it doesn't matter. I'll tell them I've got it messed up on the bus. Oh, love, I don't think they're going to believe you. I mean, nobody could get a suit like this just driving a bus. I don't know. Your clothes get twice as dirty just being a passenger on one of his buses. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Anyway, if this don't convince old Blakey, I'll just chuck some more stains over it, that's all. I don't think that's necessary, mate. The way you eat it will happen automatically. A couple of meals should do it. <laughs> All this talk of foods make me hungry. I think I'll lay the table for two. Yeah, well, mind the check. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, old Blake has just gone in it with a form. Oh, good. Right there. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh. I've checked your clothing issue form, and you can have a new uniform. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Six and a half months' time. <laughs> Six and a half months' time? You must be joking. This, this is all worn out, mate. It's all greasy. I'll tell you something else. It's very dangerous driving in this, you know. I'll tell you what. You're the talking seat of, about it. Well, the seat of my trance, pants, they're, they're so shiny that every time I break, I slide off the seat. That's got nothing to do with a uniform, Butler. That's the way you blooming will drive, mate. <laughs> every time you clap the brakes and half the passengers slide off the seat and all. <laughs> oh, can't be funny. I'll tell you, it's all worn out. I, even the cleaners won't take it. No, look at him. Even his buttons are rusty. Oh, yeah. That's not rusty. It's a mark of suit, look at <laughs> Ah, there it is, but look. Look at that, the mucky pup. Look, you're all over your sleeve. Look at it, look. Oh, I took the white bag off. Yeah, look, look, look at it, look. Swimming with oil, that is. When you put on your hair, mate, you can fry a pair of kippers in it. Look at it. Look. Yeah, by the uh, smell of it, I think he has. <laughs> on second look, I think you'll have to have a new uniform. Ah, yeah, I thought you'd agree. Yeah, so I'll make out a chitty. It costs you £24. <laughs> £24? But, hey, you agreed. Butler? The company only supply a new uniform every two years. If you wear one out before that, it's your bloody funeral, mate. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, come off it, Blackie. You're always talking to us about public relations. Well, how do you think the public feel when they see him walking about like that? Yeah, blooming sight safer, I should think. <laughs> they know you're not driving the bus. <laughs> oh, stop being funny. I tell you, this is all worn out. It's worn out from driving a bus. But that. No. I know you, uh, busman. All you do is you take that uniform home and you do mucky jobs about the house and then when it's worn out, you expect the company to provide a new one. Well, you're not going to get one, mate. I'll tell you, it's fair wear and tear. Butler, I am not going to bandy words with you. All I can say is, is I'll have it cleaned at the company's expense, yeah? Th th it won't stand cleaning. Rubbish. Now, you get that butt out. You're late out. You won't... Oh, was... <laughs> oh stingy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate. I know a bloke who runs a cleaner's business. He'll put that right. What are you talking about? Don't you worry, mate. By this type of honour, you'll have a new uniform. <laughs> <laughs> where is your driver then? He's three minutes late now. Oh, well, he's collecting his uniform from the cleaners. He's changing now. Oh, well, let's hope they've got some of them stains out then. Oh, yeah, they have. <laughs> Make no mistake about that. Yeah. Oh, here he comes now, look. <laughs> I'm, uh, sorry I'm late, mate. What's, uh, what's this? <laughs> oh, this, this is my uniform, yeah. I took it to the cleaners, had it clean, like you said. Look, it's a ticket here. Uh, Jack, shall we get the bus out, mate? Oh, yeah, right. Oh, hang about, hang on. <laughs> can't, can't go around in a uniform like that. Why not? It's clean. Yeah, what's left of it? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, well, I suppose I'd better let you have a new uniform. It's the only way out of it. You better come in the office, I'll make out a chip. Oh, my God. You know this is going to cost the company £24, don't yeah. you? Actually, it's going to cost a bit more than that. Eh? Well, Why? There, well, there was a quid for having it clean, see? <laughs> well, that, that should only be ten bob, shouldn't it? Ah, yeah, but you see, I have to have it retexturized to take the shine out. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. Isn't it nice, Arthur? Oh, 
I think it's a fraud. As usual, the public will have to pay. Oh, shut up. Take a notice of him. Mummy's jealous. Yes, it's such a lovely fit, isn't it? Oh, it's especially round the back. I was lucky, you know. It's the last one to fit me on the peg there. Yes. there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I've just nipped home to show it to you. As a matter of fact, uh, I've only had it 20 minutes. You do surprise me. I'd have thought less. It's still clean. <laughs> Trust him. I'll get a nice cup of tea, love. Yeah. Good idea, Mum. I might as well have one out while I'm here. A second coat of paint. Has oh. <laughs> it come off? Has it come off? <laughs> What's the matter with you? You could have warned me. I told you the paint was wet. You talking about the cabinet? I gave that chair a second coat, you great idiot. We get it out of the way before some other fool goes. You great idiot! Oh, oh, Stan, what's happened? It's his new uniform. Why is it all white on the back? <laughs> They make them like that so they can see me in the dark. <laughs> Stupid. Why did Arthur go to put another coat of paint on that chair? Oh, he wanted to take the marks of his fingerprints off. <laughs> well, I've got the fingerprints off now. I've got his bottom marks all over it. Come on, give me that. Here, try and get this all quick. Yes, come right on. Now, take this out on the end. Don't mind it out of the yes, way, Mum. Right. right. Arthur, get that white spirit. Yes. I threw the last of it down the sink. <laughs> what? <laughs> If you hurry, mate, you'll catch it. Have a quick sit in the manhole. <laughs> Stop being funny! Uh, we've got some bleach. You took the black currant stains out of our white blouse. I want to get the white bits black, not the black bits white. <laughs> Here, love, some detergent. Here, go find that stain removal. Oh, right. That's not going to do any good. That paint sets rock hard in half an hour. What? Well, get it off. You put it on this. Get it off. Get it off, quick! Oh, blimey, that's gone right through, mate. That's setting hard already. <laughs> get it off! All right, all right. There's only one sure way to get paint off in that state. <laughs> What's that then? Bend over. Oh. Right, OK. Yeah. I'll do the best with me to <laughs> <laughs> What are you messing about it? Well, that's the only way to get paint off like that. I'll do something. Get it off, anything. Get it. I'll tell you what. Rub hard with that and get the worst off. Well, that's going to do a fat not a good mate. Well, rub yeah. hard, rub hard. Look it's here. Not I've got it. this little wire brush. This gets everything off the side. Well, give me a second. Right, right. Drink your teeth, yeah, mate. Yeah, put it in. Right. Ow! Ow! What are you doing? Well, the paint's not coming off. No, but the paint, the skin's coming off me. <laughs> You're about oh, right. Right. Bend over, bend over. I'll try and scratch it off. I'm trying to get something off his trousers. Well, I didn't think you were trying to get something out of his eye. Yeah. <laughs> it's his new uniform, all the paint on his new uniform. Right. Look at that. I'm not going to get it off. Well, what sort of paint is it? This stuff Art has been using, it's on a drainage board there. Well, let's have a look at it. Polyurethane, diamond hard in half an hour, resist boiling water and hammer blows. Well, that's oh. handy. Oh, God, it's all right. What, what's Blake are you going to say? God, he didn't want to give me this one in the first place. Oh, there's only one thing you can do, mate. Get well, straight down to the depot. The maintenance blokes have got some stuff that will take the paint off anything. Oh, stop talking like an idiot. How can I walk about the depot like that? Well, put your overcoat on. <laughs> oh, good old Jack, yeah. Yeah, I never thought of that. Well, yeah. hurry up, mate. The quicker the better. Yeah, yeah. Have they really got something down the depot to get the paint off? Mrs. B, what he's got on his uniform is nothing compared with what we have to get off the seats of our buses on a Saturday night. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes it's like spring cleaning at the zoo. Come on, hurry up, we've got to walk. What, all the way? When you're in a hurry, you don't catch one of our buses. <laughs> well, I suppose I've got to paint that all over again. Just look at it. Lumps of fluff all over the place. Can I help Arthur? No, you cannot. <laughs> I've had enough trouble. Keep out of the way. Keep back. Look at that here. Look, look, Arthur! Look, look. What's the matter now? I, I sat on the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> Does it show? <laughs> you and your brother. I don't know why I married into this family. Oh, well, Arthur, you can't go through life without a little accident now and then. Little accident? I had my big accident ten years ago, didn't I? Walking up the aisle of that church. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. Ah. You're still here, then? I uh, thought you'd finished. Uh, yeah, we had... Uh, no, we, uh, we just popped back for a bite in the canteen. Yeah. You come back here to eat in our canteen. <laughs> 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 I 
I always knew you were stone bonkers, mate. Oh. oh, I got it. What? I get it. You came back here to show off your new uniform, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't seen it yet. What's it like? Yeah, it's very good. It's a good fit. Oh, let's have a look, then. Uh, uh, no, I'd rather keep my overcoat on. Oh, I get it. Want to keep it clean, yeah? Yeah, of course, yeah. of course, yeah. <laughs> the way you're eating a canteen, mate, you want to keep that coat on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Jack. Yeah. Come on, let's have a look at it. No, no, I'd rather keep my overcoat on. Butler, it's my job to check these things out. Come on, let's have a look at it. Well, all right. I mean, right. No, it's not, I don't mind you uh, having a look at it. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, that's not bad at all. It's a very nice fit. What do you like around the back? It's very nice, yeah. No, it's very nice. No, it's absolutely marvellous. like I've never seen anything like it. Come on, Stan, I'm starving. I can't show you, he's starving. Hang on, I'll take your coat off, show you. I'll show you, I'll show you, Nobby, look. Now, look. We've got to get that off as quick as we can. Well, I don't know much about it. I'll just bash them out. The painter's gone for a cup of tea. Well, well surely you know what they used to take paint off with. Well, I don't know. Oh, uh, hey, here it is. Oh, oh strip it. This is it. That's it. You paint it on with a brush, you leave it for 30 seconds, and then it softens the paint right down. That's it. That's just the stuff we want. No, no, not on that. Start with me trousers first. Yeah, yeah right, eh? Right. Here, not me. Keep an eye out for Blakey, yeah. will you? Yeah, yeah. Hey, got careful with that stuff. If you get it on your hand, it burns the skin right off. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Six eighteen. I want you two to take it out. Come on. No, no, we can't take that out. What are you talking about, Butler? It's overtime, boy. Yeah, I know, but. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Yeah, well, Where's your trousers? Well, uh, <laughs> what's going on here? Well, I can explain. You see, um... uh, look. I know you want to keep your uniform clean, yeah. boy, but, I mean, this is blooming ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you can't go wandering round the depot like that with no trousers. All these women working here. Yeah, he knows that. That's why he's wandering about the depot like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nature is more on you. You see, Blakey, what happened was this was... Uh, oh, oh was yeah, well, now, what it was, uh, he took his trousers, trousers down to the clothing store clothing to stores. have them altered, didn't you? Did I? Yeah, you did. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, and, uh, yes, and, uh, you see, they was too uh, short and I made them lengthened. Lengthened. See? Well, ain't it from him, Marvellous, <laughs> If you're so particular, why don't you go to Savile Row and have them fitted? <laughs> well, I can't wait for you to get ready, mate. Listen, I'll run another group at 618. You'll let her go out early tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. And get your trousers on, Butler. Yeah, all right, then. Uh... <laughs> you don't half get yourself in a mess, don't you? Me? Come on. Let's get Come on. Have a look at this. Here's to do it. Here's yeah. to do the trick. Give it a yeah, wait a it's coming off. It's going a funny colour. It's all going brown. Why is it when I brush my coat, it's going brown then? Because you're not brushing your coat, you're brushing the bench. No, <laughs> 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 he's dropping, he's dropping the bench off. I think you must have left it on too long. Yeah, I think you're right. Let's have a look at the trousers. <laughs> Oh, blimey. <laughs> oh, well, it might have been worse. What are you talking about? You might have been wearing them. <laughs> 24 quid, you make me pay. I've got 24 quid. Well, there's only one thing you can do, mate. Go down to the clothing store and hope they can fiddle you something. Well, go on, mate. You've got to wear something tomorrow morning. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Jack. Yeah. You murder me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> George, George, why? Look, I'm sorry, Stan. I'd like to help you, but I can't let you have anything without a chitty. It's more than my job's worth. Anyway, we haven't got a uniform here your size. You had the last one. Well, well I've had it then, haven't I? 
Hey, George, can you do us a favour? Can you patch this one up for us? What? <laughs> you must be joking. Don't be daft, mate. You can sing up down here for the dust cart. Here. Can you get into a 40? A 40? I'll get into a 50. Anything you like. Well, what you got? Uh, well, you can have old Ernie's. Oh, thanks, mate. He retired yesterday. Did he really? <laughs> <laughs> you sure it was yesterday? Uh, Go away. Oh, morning, Butler. <laughs> Butler? Hmm? Is that your new uniform? Uh, yes, yes, is it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> well, I always knew you were the dirtiest, scruffiest driver in the old depot, mate, but I mean to say, you, you've only had that uniform for one day. It looks like you've been wearing it for blooming years. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, well, you see, you get your filthy on our buses. But you haven't driven one of our buses in that uniform yet. I know, but I come to work on one. <laughs> it's disgusting. I mean, it's filthy. It's absolutely filthy. Yeah, well, uh, you'd better give me another chitty then, hadn't you? Hey? What for? <laughs> well, so I can have it cleaned at the company's expense. <laughs> On the bus is part one, production number 0763, recording date 261071, take one. interrupting anything, am I? No, not in the canteen. You can sit here. I'm just going to have a word with Betty. <laughs> cool, Jack. What a right little sex pot, that one, eh? Yeah, not all. Oh, mate, here, feel this seat. It's red hot, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, how long has she been sitting here? Only about three minutes. Oh, talk about hot pants. Hers must be scorching. <laughs> with a bit of luck, they might melt. Yeah. Yeah, how are you getting on? Oh, doddle, mate. Yeah? Coming round to my house Saturday night, boy. Oh, well, <laughs> calm down, mate. You've still got another three days to wait. Uh, oh, oh. Well, that looks nice, Jack. Can I have a bit? I thought you was dieting. Go on, then. I have been. Look, I've lost three inches off my waist. If I diet anymore, my skirt will drop off. <laughs> Right, you're not having any. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was only joking, love. You have lost a lot of weight lately, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. How much do you weigh? Guess. Might well have. I don't know. What do you say, Jack? Well, I mean, it depends on the bone structure, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. some birds have got small bones and a lot of flesh. Yeah. He's right there. You've got to, you can't, can't tell without feeling, you see. It's like sort of uh, uh, getting the weight of the turkey at the Christmas club, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll I tell you the way we do it. Like, this, uh, stand up a minute. Stand up a minute. <clears throat> You've got me on. No, I've got you. See, that, now that's, that's meaty. Meaty Jack. Yeah. See, as you go down, it's uh, 
That's very matey. <laughs> Come on. You haven't got a clue. Look, what, when what, it comes, comes to judging the weight yeah, of a bird, point. you've got to test the drumsticks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still say the weight. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 what do you think you're doing of, mate? These girls are not working here for your private pleasure, you know. Oh, no, we're just guessing her weight. Well, I've heard it called some things in my time, mate, but never that before. <laughs> oh, it's true, Inspector. I bet them they couldn't guess it. See if you can, Mr Blake. What? Oh, no, I, I have no idea at all. Oh, go on, Blakey. I mean, it's just like guessing the weight of the turkey at Christmas, isn't it? She's got a turkey, mate. No, no, it's dead right there. I mean, a turkey's a bird you only get once a year. <laughs> <laughs> now, go on, Blake. You know, guess her weight. Go on. Go on, have a prod. Go on, have a prod. Oh, you lecherous layabout, you. <laughs> how this girl weighs depends on how entirely how she's built. Well, I tell you how she's built, mate. She's double fronted for a start. <laughs> yeah, then uh, her face is not bad either. If you're asked yourself. <laughs> oh, you lecherous layabout and butler on this. Now, you get out and get your butt out. You'll do it out. Come on. Hey, listen, wait a minute. You haven't guessed my weight yet. Well, I bet I can. Hey. But I'll have to pick you up first. Hey? Well, everybody gets a chance to hold the turkey before they guess the weight. Here, come here. I'll show you what I mean. Sure. Oh, um, strong. About nine stone ten and a half. Well, what do you say, Stan? <laughs> yeah. Well, well lift me up, then. Well, I don't have to, do I, really? I mean, uh. Can't you do it? Aren't you strong enough? Of course he is. Go on, mate. It's only a question of technique, isn't it? <laughs> come on, Butler. Let's see you try it. Come on. <laughs> come on. All right. Come here, Dad. It's easy. Yeah. Don't worry about that, that mate. Nine stone champ. <laughs> 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 Hang on then. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Vic, Vic, Vic! Oh! What did you let me go for? Oh, oh, Jack. Oh, Jack, I can't, I can't get up. I can't... You all right, Butler? Oh, yes, 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 it's, only, it's just a touch of the cramp. Oh, yeah, give us a hand. We're straightening him oh, up here. Yeah, all right. Oh, no, no, for God's sake, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, oh, this is dreadful. This is it's probably upset me, that. Oh, it's all right. He's not going to die. No, oh, it's not that. I'm worried about He's going to take his bus out. <laughs> oh, oh, i better go and get the nurse, I think. No, 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 I don't want the nurse. You no, know, it's not for you. It's for me, mate. Oh, God, it's my stomach making acid. Oh, it's all this aggravation. I'll let go and get another crew. Oh. What have you done to yourself, Stan? Well, will he be all right? Yes, he'll be all right. I reckon he slipped a disc. He won't be like it for long, will he? Well, it depends. I mean, it might be weeks. Yes, sir, mate, I'll be back within a day. Just you get me home. Oh, oh. That's a stupid thing to do, wouldn't it, eh? It's something you'll never catch me doing, Butler, picking up a woman. If you did, you wouldn't know what to do with her. <laughs> 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 right, Good. That was a painful business, that was. What are you talking about, Blimey? I got you upstairs, undressed you, put you to bed. More, more do you want? Oh, God, you took your time over it. Yeah, well, I'm not used to doing it to a fella. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. You've done all my pyjamas up wrong. Yeah, well, generally speaking, when I get them upstairs, I don't have to bother with putting pyjamas on them. Not unless they're very fussy. If they come upstairs with you, they're not fussy. <laughs> Listen, mate, in your state, you won't be having anybody upstairs with you for a very long time. Uh, well, I'm uh, going to get back to work. I'll see you, mate. Look after yourself. You're all right then, Jack, yeah. Oh, cheers, Arthur. See you, Jack. Oh. Ma said I had to bring you in an extra pillow. Oh, thanks, Arthur, thanks. Oh, it's when I lean back, it does it, you see. Yeah. It's... <laughs> What's the matter? Poor oh, blimey. This pillow pongs a bit, doesn't it? Oh, it's on his side of the bed, isn't it? She always smothers it in wintergreen ointment. <laughs> God, it turns my stomach over. Makes me feel absolutely sick. Well, never mind, mate. Take your mind off your back, won't it? Yeah. Oh, go. <laughs> Here we are, love. I brought you a nice drop of nourishing soup. Oh, God, I could do with that, Mum. Thanks very much. Yeah. It's not bad when yeah. I'm resting, you see. But, oh, God. Putting these pyjamas on, what a painful experience. I'd all go through that again. Oh, no. Well, never mind. Now, drink that up. It'll soothe you. Yeah. Uh, I don't fetch it now. The smell of her pillow's put me right off. What's wrong with my pillow? Well, it's all that wintergreen muck you put on it. What do you put it on for? I put it on to keep my guitar away. Gosh, you think it keeps half her away? <laughs> I'll tell you something, I'll wish you that instead of the pill. If you don't want my pillow, you need not have it. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Oh. Is your back hurting? My back and me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Change the bed. Oh, no, no, don't move me. We're going to take my leave it, leave it. I am not 
Without having the doctor come in here and seen all these stained sheets. It'll be all down the street before you can say what. The cold shake doctor's just want to secrecy. About your body, not about stained sheets. Oh. Here, Ollie, go and get some clean sheets. Oh. And a clean pair of pyjamas. Oh. And send Arthur in. Oh, God, look at this mess. What's that, mate? Come on. Oh, God, look. blimey, what a mess. Come on, help me move him. All right, come on. But take, take it slowly, take it slowly. Come on. Oh, there's the bell. That's the doctor. Here, get his pyjamas off. All Here. right, all right, don't. I've undone it now. I've just eased it over there. Don't you... be such a big baby. All right, the... oh! oh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> Get back into bed now. Thank you. Oh. 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 Well, the reflexes is all right. And you obviously haven't got a slip disc. Oh, thank God for that, Doctor. Oh. Hey, what is wrong with me then? You must have stayed a few other sacrospinalis fibres. <laughs> oh. oh, really? Where are they then? <laughs> uh, uh, what? Uh, yeah. uh. Oh, God! <laughs> God, I wish I hadn't asked you now. Oh. All right, you can all come in. Oh. Is he all right, Doctor? Oh, nothing much wrong. Just stain his back a bit. Oh, I'm not surprised. Oh. He always had a weakness there, ever since he was little. Have oh, I? Yes. It first happened when he lifted my little Olive out of her pram. Oh, I can well believe that. <laughs> Pain lasts for a few days, so I'll give you a prescription for some tablets. Thank you. Mm. Perhaps some of Olive's green pills are doing good. Oh, yes, they did my back a lot of good. Green pills? Uh, did I prescribe those? Uh, no, I got those from Aunt Maud. Uh, did she have a bad back? No, they were left over from her liver. <laughs> they were not. They were they left were over from her liver. Shut up a lot of it. Do you mind? It's me. I'll have what the doctor prescribed for me. Take these. Thank you. You kill the pain, mm. and you should be able to get around all right in a couple of days. Ah, oh, good. Then I can get back to work. Oh. Oh, you're a bus driver, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Driving a heavy vehicle like that, you could put too much strain upon your back and then it would never heal. Oh, I've got to. I mean, I, I don't get sick by while I'm out, you know. And but we need the money. Well, I suppose you'd be quite safe driving the bus if you had a lumbo sacral support. What's that then? A corset. <laughs> corset, me? That's <laughs> <laughs> your face! Look, if you want to get back driving that bus in a couple of days' time, you've got no choice. Yeah, but of course, it's quite I mean... normal practice. I mean, you can get it on the natural health. Uh, natural health? But I've been out to take six months. Oh, yes, at least. But don't worry, I've got an old one down at the surgery. Uh, if you come out, I'll lend it to you. Oh, thank and don't forget, you. you're to take no exercise whatsoever without it for at least a couple of weeks. I've got to do that. There you are. Take it. <laughs> I can't wait to see you in your corset, mate. I can't see anything funny in that, mate. I'm wearing that corset because of my strained back. Well, I find it highly amusing. Oh, uh, do you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you something, mate. If you'd have worn a corset, you might not have needed your operation. No. <laughs> Blimey, is this am I? Yeah. What's it say here? Oh, yeah. Oh. Lumbo sacral corset, specially reinforced with rigid steel bars. Oh, where are they then? Oh, this must be a bit. God, blimey. Stan. What do you want? Are you managing all right? Do you want any help? Don't come in, I can do it on my own. Oh, oh. Stan, what happened? Oh, I just dropped a bit of me corset. Oh, don't bend down and pick it up. You know what the doctor said. Here, let me give you an hand. Oh, look, we are the do I'm manager on my own. doing these than you are. I can manage, don't we? Can we help? Oh, well, I don't need for you to help me to put this on, I tell you. Oh, no, me, mate. Looks as if you need three people to help hold it up. You didn't tell me it came complete with its own toolkit. Oh, you don't know about it. Oh, well, these are the steel rods that brace it up in there like that. Right. See, that one goes in there and that one goes in there like that. 
Yeah. Come on, love, now, let me give you a hand to get it on. See no. if it fits. Yeah, well, oh, now, be careful now, be careful now. Come on, love. Hold, hold on to Mum. Got it, got it. Put your foot in. That's one. Gently, gently. Oh, this is a bit of a killer. Oh, careful. That's it. Now up we go. That's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, yeah. Shut up, shut up. Now get the straps. Give them a good pull. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Mum. Don't rush me off. Oh, 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 God. Well, it's not very comfortable, dear. I know it from old. Oh, got it? Oh, oh, she's murdered. This is oh, quick. Oh, undo it a bit. Oh, oh I feel dizzy. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Hey. Here, smelling salts. Me thinks my lady has the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not having this on, mate, but I'm still smash your TV. Hey, don't lose your temper just because you're wearing a corset. And don't stop calling it a corset. Oh, I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. Your foundation garment. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, trousers. Oh, come on, here, on in. Are, love. Now then, you'll be all right once you get these it's on. Okay. There, oh, yeah. now then. Okay. That's it. Uh, Hello, old Jack. Uh, Put your uh, leg. Uh, get I've got you. <laughs> well, I can't bend with this on, can I? Well, that's the old point of it, isn't it, mate? So you don't bend. Oh, 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 well, get your hand in. Well, lie no, down no, on the no, bed. Lie down. Oh, no, 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 Come on, I know what he's doing. Put your legs up. Put your legs up. Right, that's it. Come on, then. Put my toes, put my toes. in there. Be careful, Arthur, because it's a. Oh, it's the day. Well, don't be stupid. I can't do it with your bottom on the bed. Well, I can't lift up, can I? Get up. Come on. Come on. You better finish it off yourself. Yeah, I'm going to, and all. Don't worry. That's it. Oh, blimey. My waist's too big now. I can't. I'll tell you what, lad. We'll have to put a big safety pin across there. Like they do when they're expecting. It saves them buying a maternity dress. But I'm not expecting. <laughs> what a pity. I think you'd look very nice in a smock. Oh, shut up. I'm just about having a love you. Oh, come on. Turn around, mate. I'll try and tighten it up a bit more. All right, right you yeah. ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> oh! He's got red in the face. <laughs> oh, well, look, mate. I've got it up to its extremity. Oh. Oh. Look, there's only one thing for it. Oh. You'll have to get another pair of trousers with a larger waist. Oh, I've got a pair of black slacks. Do you think my, my waist's bigger than Stan's? You haven't got a waist. Uh, <laughs> Arthur. Yes, I think that would be a very good idea. Yeah. They're like these. Oh, no, no, yeah, I'll have a pair of those, uh, Olive. No, hang on, no, I can't have them. Your zip's up the side. <laughs> Couldn't you manage? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear good woman, I think what with a corset on the zip up the side, he'd find life very difficult. <laughs> oh, shut up, I love you. I'll put me belt round it, that's all. Here, love. How you going to do your zip up? Yeah, I suppose you're right. It keeps slipping down. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, mate, I'll tell what, you what. what. These laces are a bit long. Yeah. Bring that round the front, yeah. tighten the zip. Bob's your uncle. Oh, get out of it. Now, get out of the lot of yours. I'll finish oh, dressing right, myself. All right, all right. Here, stand, 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 stand. Uh, Look, mate, if you do feel a bit uncomfortable, uh, don't worry. All you've got to do is uh, loosen your stays. Uh, uh, get out! <laughs> oh, blimey, there you are. Oh. Here, you're looking a bit stiff. You're walking around as if your underwear's been starched. What's the matter? Uh, well, tell you the truth, Jack, and, uh, I don't laugh, mate, will it, when I tell you. I, uh, see, I've, uh, I've got a corset on. A corset? <laughs> yeah, well, you see, when, when I strained myself in the canteen the other day, uh, the doctors made me put this on. So... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh... no, I've, I've, I've had the safety pins there, you see, because I couldn't do the zip-up. Oh, that's going to be a bit awkward, isn't it? I'll tell you what, when you want to go, tell me, and Mummy will undo your safety pins. <laughs> 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 uh, don't you start, blimey. Listen, you wait till Blakey sees you. Go, Blobby, he went off, love. Oh, no, Jack, do us a favour. Don't, don't let on to Blake. If he finds I'm out like I'm like this, he, he won't let me drive the bus. He'll send me home. All right, then. Come oh, on, then, mate. Try on. All right, then. And we get out. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. Pick that pencil up for me. What are you talking about? Pick it up. It's a cool. I can't bend in this thing, can I? Listen, I'm not going to wet nurse you. You'll have to learn how to do it. Yeah, I suppose I'll better try. It's not easy when your back's bad. Oh, oh, God, we've back there. I didn't realise you were coming in. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm all right now, Blakey. All right, Butler, all right, mate. You don't have a kerchief to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not royalty, you know. No. <laughs> oh, dear. We always thought you was an old queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no pleasure in life at all, is there? Well, what do you mean? I thought you were going to be out for weeks and weeks rolling in bed in agony. <laughs> Good. Here. Yeah. You've only been out for three days. Are you sure you're all right? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just pulled a, a few little muscles in my back, that's all. Yeah, you're lucky, mate. I mean, my brother did that. He was wearing a corset for six weeks. <laughs> was he? Ah, yeah. oh, you're kidding. Yeah, it surprises you, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we always thought you was the one in the family to be wearing the corsets. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Actually, that did him a lot of harm, actually, doing that. <laughs> did it what harm? Yeah. He tightened it up too much. <laughs> what happened? It cut off the flow of blood to some of his vital organs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's never been right since. But right, come on, get this butt out there. Come on, you're late. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right, come on, mate. Yeah, all right. Yes, do you think you're going to be able to drive this bus all right? Yeah, take no notice of him. Of course I can drive it. Side, what are you worried about? Well, I'll be travelling inside. That's what I'm worried well, about. Well, to worry about, mate. I can drive it. I tell you that. Right. Oh! oh. Drive it, blimey, you can't even get in it. All right, so I can't get under you to give me a hand, Jack. Well, listen, that's more than I can manage, isn't it? There, George, mate, here. Come here. Give us a hand with Stan, will you? Well, now, take it easy, though. Take it easy. Right, 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 What's going on here? Oh, uh, we're chairing him. <laughs> yeah. Put him under cut final. <laughs> Gamma, what's going on? Uh, no, it, the, the lads are pleased to see me back. Yeah, well, it wasn't the same without him. <laughs> no, you know, you're right, it wasn't. It wasn't right. No, there's a blooming sight less trouble and aggravation. Now, come on, get him in that bus and get yeah, out. Yeah, right, 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 just, uh, um, just uh, put yeah. him in. There's nothing wrong, is there? He is fit to drive, I suppose. Oh, well, uh, there's your phone, Blackie. Oh, oh, good. Oh, oh, ain't about it, don't you? Quick, quick, get him in, get him in. Quick, quick. Tell me, mate. That's it. Uh, all right. right. Push, push. That's it. Right. There you are. Wait a minute, Jack. Go for him again. You have a phone. He's a lector. Oh, come on. What's the matter with you? Put him down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, I can't drive like this, you idiot. The pedals around there, aren't oh, they? Put your legs up there. That's it. You're through the wheel! Oh, God, help this. Get them out. That's it. Oh, down there. Get it in, get it. Take it in. Down there. You've just changed gear. Right. Right, that's it. Oh, Jack. Every time I bend forward, this thing digs into me. Yeah, well, watch yourself when you jam the brakes on it. You might do yourself a nasty injury. <laughs> Hey, Jack. I got away with old Blakey not knowing I got this thing on, eh? Uh, <laughs> here, you go, stay down. Uh, no, no, uh, no. I've got a date with Doran, haven't I? <laughs> Taking her home. What are you going to do with that corset on? <laughs> Take it off, of course, mate. The doctor says it's all right as long as I don't bend my back or do any violent exercise. Get on the sofa with her and not do any violent exercise, <laughs> course, on. You must be joking. <laughs> I'm not joking, mate. I know what's wrong with you, mate. You're jealous. Oh, yeah. Listen, I've been waiting for this date for weeks, mate. Look, I'll manage somehow. I'm ready. All right, darling. Tell our Jack, mate. I'll see you, boy. Yeah, <laughs> tell our <her>, mate. <laughs> yeah, you'll manage somehow. <laughs> Come in, darling. <laughs> right, Come in, love. You know, uh, that's a nice little pub, isn't it? I don't know why I bothered to come back here with you. You haven't let me near you all evening. What's the matter? Don't you fancy me? Oh, don't be silly. Of course I do. Oh, give us a big hug then. No, no, well, I... What are you wearing? Uh, You're all out. Am I? <laughs> yes, well, uh, uh, look, uh, look, look, you go in the front room and I'll just knock upstairs for a second. Wait a minute, OK. Well, don't be long. I won't be long, I promise you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, no. no. <laughs> What's that? Well, you see, uh, I strained me back in the canteen the other day, and uh, I've had to put this on, and uh, it's, it's only for a few days. <laughs> it's a corset, isn't it? <laughs> it's the young man wearing a corset. <laughs> no, don't muck about. Don't you start as well. Look, come on, I'll, I'll just slip upstairs and take it off. It won't be a minute. It'll take you hours to get out of that thing. But I'm going. No, 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 don't go. It won't take long. God, John. Look, come in here. Come in here a minute. Look, go in front of me. Here. Come in here. Listen, I promise you, I promise you, 
It, it won't take long. Look, he's only held together with four straps, you see. It's not. He's laced up. Look, no, I better go. No, no. I'll, get, I'll have it off in the jiffy. I'll, I'll, I'll take it off here. Just, you know, read a magazine. Do anything no, you like. All right. yeah. I won't be long. I've got John. <laughs> won't be, won't be a second. You just make, take your coat off. That's it. Make yourself a tone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you get me so excited. I've all fingers and thumbs with you. <laughs> Yeah, I never thought I'd have to take off a pair of stays for anybody. What the hell? No, no, you sit down. Go on. No, get out of it. Go on, you sit down. This won't take you long. There you are. I'd just, like to, yeah. yeah, I know you would, but I'll just get this lot off. Oh, that's better. Ooh. Ooh. Blimey, what a relief that is. God. Now I know how you women feel when you take your roll-ons off. Yeah, ready for anything. <laughs> Oh, that's better. <laughs> you sure you're all right? Yeah, but I'll be care careful to be back, see? That's all. <laughs> Can you purse your lips a bit more? <laughs> no, no. No, I'll do it. No, no. No, no, I'll come up to you. No, 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 no. Yeah, what? Come on, come on. Mm, mm, mm. What? Shane, you all right? Yeah, Tom. Hey. I can't. Oh, oh, I've done it. Come on. Oh, it's gold again. My back's gold. I've done it in. Oh, Stan, what are you going to do? Oh. Oh, I'll have to go up to bed, and, and you'll have to go home. I'm sorry. No, I'm not going home. Listen, I'm taking you to bed. You'll never manage it alone. <laughs> no, no, forget it. Oh, Talk. don't be daft. Now, don't move. Uh, don't move, I can't. <laughs> oh. uh, look, I tell you, I'm all right. Listen, I'm not having any more of it. I'm taking you up to your bedroom. <laughs> Ain't it marvellous, eh? The first time the bird's ever insisted on taking me to bed, and I'm like this. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? I'll get all the pain, but never the pleasure. <laughs> On the buses, part one, production number 0765, recording date 231171, take one. And your new card. Hello, Eileen, darling. Hello. Hello. Well done, Blackie. We're next. What's up there? It's half past five. You're in on time, mate. <laughs> 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 you late as usual? No, well, we got the bus in on time tonight. Oh, you turned over a new leaf, have you? No, we heard you were paying out and we don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice thing to say, isn't it, eh? You're surely not suggesting I make off with your cash, are you? Nah, of course not. But just in case, we let the tyres down on your bike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
All the things I do for the staff, eh? No gratitude, is there? Oh, yes. If it hadn't been for the inspector, I wouldn't be in the club. <laughs> hello, hello. Dracula strikes you again. <laughs> you talking about? He said all I had to do was give him a little bit each payday. <laughs> you dirty old man, you. <laughs> I only did it so she'd get a surprise for Christmas. <laughs> well, brother, she'll get that all right. A baby Dracula. <laughs> You've got warped minds, you two, you know that. It's because of the likes of you that we can't get any decent, respectable girls to work here. Yeah, I know that. That's one of the uh, advantages of the job, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> right, well, come on, let's have a Well, give us your card, then, come on. Card, card, yeah. That's fine, yeah. Hey, old bloke, you that's fine. <laughs> Well, what's that then? What? Good God. <laughs> it's dripping with oil. What have you been doing with it? Well, I've had it a year, haven't I? No, it's been stuck in my back pocket with my comb. <laughs> Looks like you've been using it to wipe your dipstick on. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it should look like. Look, that. Yeah, that's yes, what I know. Well, that seems about it, Anna. Yeah, oh, that is mine. All yeah. right, yeah. Mine's here. Yeah, old butler. £26.45, right? Yeah. Harper, £24.45. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I should uh, be uh, nearly uh, 27 quid. We've got the usual deductions, you know, out of pocket expenses, isn't it? Yeah, out of our pocket into yours. <laughs> now, look here, there's nothing like that here at all. Here, yeah, look, we've all got the same deductions. Here's mine, look, £26, right? Now, you got your money, get off out of it. Hang about, hang about, I'm checking my money. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, don't you trust me, then? No. no. <laughs> yeah. Just a minute, let's check me money. And a few bits and pieces. Yes, mine's about right. Yeah, there, mine. Right. Here you are, lads. Yeah. We've got your orders from the canteen. You owe us what's written on the side. Right, George. Oh, great. Right. Top. Isn't it marvellous, eh? Look at that. Look. You're like born babies, aren't you, eh? You get a few pounds in your pocket, you can't wait to go and lash it out on booze, can you? Well, don't you ever buy anything for Christmas, then? Oh, yeah, he put in an order. Yeah. Oh. We brought that along and all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lashing out, aren't you? <laughs> Half a bottle of Algerian port. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, three star brandy. <laughs> no, mate, you're going to get plastered. Well, I only got that to set fire to me pudding. Oh. <laughs> you're all happy to say, mate, you've only got a little pudding. <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, yeah, he has. Look, look, look at that. <laughs> Fancy setting light to that. Well, when you blow the flame out, Blake, you be careful because you might blow the pudding off the table. <laughs> Put it down, come on. Yeah, Blakey, uh, what are you going to spend your Christmas club money on then? Uh, I mean, apart from wild living and that. Well, I won't <laughs> waste it like you lot of morons, will I, mate? I'm not wasting my money. No, mine's going towards a down payment on a colour television set. Colour television? Yeah. Isn't it marvellous, eh? Me and my old mum still thinking of getting a black and white one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Blakey, let's have it. Right. Hey, you want to watch it, mate? Hold it, let's make it some very crafty deductions this year. Now, what are you insinuating? There's nothing like I'm not sitting here to be insulted by you two, mate. This club's on fair and square. Yeah, all the company's accountants have certified my accounts as legitimate. Legitimate? That's more than a company can say for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go on. Where's your order? Ah, <laughs> oh, Mum. Hello, love. Here. Oh, look, I've got, this, I've got this stuff for Christmas. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the bloke about the colour jelly? Yes, I've got all the forms. Here, we only have to put £20 down. Oh, good, that's about nearly as much as I've got left out of the club money, yeah? And uh, now we should get, what, say, uh, 15 quid for our old set. And uh, how much did he offer? 30 bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 30 bob? <laughs> we only finished paying for it last week. He said he'd give us a fiver for it if we got it working properly. Oh, well, that's not too bad. No, not too bad at all, considering it cost £12 to put it right. <laughs> 12 quid? Yes, well, love, he said it was the tube. It's worn out. Well, whatever the reason is, Mum, it's, it's always on, isn't it? I mean, if we can only get 30 bob for it, I can assure you we can't have a colour television set. Oh, love. Well, it's going to cost 20 quid for the aerial and the licence. All that? Well, the licence is 12 quid alone. Well, I think it's disgusting, taxing people's pleasures like that. Well, a marriage licence only costs two pounds. Yeah, well, you get more pleasure out of some things than others. <laughs> <laughs> and a television licence only lasts a year. And a marriage licence goes on forever and ever. Yeah. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is this. If that's all we can get 30 bob, we won't be able to have a colour television for Christmas. Oh, and I'd set my heart on hearing the Queen's speech in colour. My dear mother-in-law, it's going to sound exactly the same whether it's in colour or black and white. 
Oh, no, it's not. I mean, everything looks more nice in colour. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. If Arthur, he paid for the aerial, we could have a television. Look, mate, I have not got enough money to waste on trivial luxuries like that. In any case, they haven't got it right yet. The colours aren't natural. That's not true. I was watching a commercial in a shop window the other day. It was fantastic. All those sausages and beans <laughs> and tomatoes. <laughs> oh, it made me mouth water. Oh. Never notice if we ever do get a colour television set. Every time there's a sausage commercial, we'll be sitting in front of the set with a knife and fork in the screen. <laughs> in any case, mate, I am quite satisfied with black and white as it is. I find it quite satisfactory. Oh, Arthur, everybody looks very dull and colourless in black and white. Yeah, well, some people look like that in real life, don't they? <laughs> in any case, as we can't afford a colour set, I find the whole of this conversation quite futile. Our set must be worth more than 30 bob. God, the picture's not all that bad. Let's have a look at it. Oh, love it is. You see, you don't notice it, cos it's gone little by little. Like Arthur's hair, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No, Mum's right. The picture's all grey. You can't tell black from white. No, when they do the commercials, you can't tell which sheets are washed and which are dirty. They look just the same after as before. <laughs> Olive has the same problem. <laughs> Don't be so rude. At any rate, you know Mum's right. When we were watching football the other day, do you remember? Arthur said that Georgie Best looked like Father Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Even the ball they were kicking looked white. Mum, the ball is white. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Well, it wasn't in my day. Well, then, not. The sound's coming. But I'll turn the sound down a bit. There you are. It's all white. Yes, yes. Well, I've got the control as far over as I can get it. Perhaps I might be able to adjust it a bit better with the aerial. Olive, come and hold this aerial for me. And I'll, uh... yeah, I can't. Yes, yeah, hold it up. Let, let me have a look. Right. Yeah. Ah, now you see double. Yeah. You see, that, that's what they call ghosting. Oh, what cause is that, then? Well, it's when the picture it's some big building or some other great big object. Olive, <laughs> put that aerial down. <laughs> Well, but it looks a bit better, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, no, it's still no, faint. No, no, no. No. It's still faint, look. Yeah, what you watching? None of them sex films, is it? No, our set's gone on the blink. You see, you can't tell that bird whether she's got her clothes on or not. Blimey, you're right, it's so bad, you can't even tell whether it's a bird or not. Blimey, if you can't tell, it must be lousy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah when are you getting your new colour set, then? We're not, Ronnie, going to give us 30 bob for that. They said the tube's gone. Oh, well, there's ways of fixing that, isn't there? Is it? Yeah, of course it is. Here, Mrs B, you've got a screwdriver, have you? Hey, look, yes. take the plug out of the wall, switch off, mate. Well, what are you going to yeah. do? What are you going to do now? Look, look, I'm going to walk to the voltage tap in, aren't I? Oh, yeah. well, uh, what's that going to do? You just watch, mate. You happen to have a genius here. Right, I'm going to turn it down right to 190 volts. There we are. Right, switch on, mate. I'll plug in. Plug in. There you go. Right. How's that? Ah, well, it's wait a minute, it's just a... Well, just, 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 yeah. it's coming up lovely now. Oh! Oh, yes, that's a lovely... Right. Oh, that's a smashing Ooh. picture, mum, isn't it? Mm. Cool. <laughs> How long will it last like that, Jack? <laughs> Switch off quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's ridiculous, mate, isn't it? If it only lasts that long, that's no good. Ah, oh, well, I mean, it might last six months, it might last a couple of days, you can't tell. But it'll last long enough to flog it. Don't talk wet. The bloke in the shop knows somebody's tempered with it. Yeah, well, of course he will. What you've got to do is to take that down to the depot and find some mug who's got his Christmas club money and doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> who's going to be mug enough to buy this, mate? Well, there's only one, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Yeah, that's it. There oh, we are. Come on, that's a weight, isn't it? Come on, man. Give us the aerial lamp and stick that on there. Yeah. Do you know what, Jack? I'm a bit worried. Do you reckon I'll break your fall for this trip? Yeah, of course he will, mate. Look, the more he can't have it, the more he'll want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you with the clippies. What do you mean? Well, I mean, the more you can't have them, the more you want them. <laughs> I'm lucky if I get them, mate. <laughs> anyway, I don't care as long as it works. Here, yeah, Arlene, do you know what to say? Don't worry. Right. Exactly. Now, you see, Eileen, you see, there's the controls here. Yeah. Just want to bit of polish, yeah. polish it up a bit. And, uh, what do you pull that thing in here for? Oh, this is, uh, Blake, and this is my old black and white television set. You know I was going to get a colour one, yeah. Well, uh, Eileen's buying it off me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you got his set, have you? 
Oh, yes, Inspector. It's marvellous, just like new, in perfect condition. Yeah, it must be. Otherwise, they try to sell it to me. I know them too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute bargain for £15. Yeah, £15? Well, that is cheap, I must say. I'm buying it with my friend Edna. We share. I'll go and get the money, Stan. You're all right, darling, yes. <laughs> Butler. What? If you're offering such a bargain for sale, why don't you offer it to me? I could, I'd do a lot of things for you, you know. i put a lot of overtime your way. Well, oh, Blakey, tell you the truth, I didn't think you'd want it, even though it is in perfect condition. Yeah. I suppose I'm the last one in the depot you do a favour for, eh? Never thought of offering it to me at all, did you? Well, Jack, tell the truth, we, uh... I mean, never out of their minds, did it? No, we just didn't think. Uh, should be good, <laughs> it, eh? Oh, Stan. Yeah? I don't know how to tell you this. What? Edna's gone and spent her share of the money on a new coat. Oh, no. Afraid I won't be able to buy your set after all. Oh, I do feel terrible after I'd agreed. Don't know what to say. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, well, fancy. Oh, Stan, do you mind very much? Well, I mean, uh, let's face it, after all, uh, I did bring it in for your special, didn't I? Oh, well, there's only one thing to do, Stan, mate. Mm. You'll have to put a card on the notice board. Oh, yes, uh, you'll sell that all right. Oh, yes, a marvellous bargain oh. like that. Mm. Go in no time. Yeah, Jack's right. Yeah, don't you worry about it, darling, yeah. Well, Stan, I'll give you a okay. hand. Hey, hang about, hang about. I want a chance to buy that, butler. What's wrong with my no, money? No, look, I must give all the lads a chance to buy it. I'm one know. of the lads as well, and I'm in top of a chance of that. Now, come on, bring it in the office. I want to test that shit. Come on. <laughs> all right, then, Jack. Uh, yeah. I suppose, you know, we sort of got to do the bloke a favour, haven't we, the inspector? You know, after all, he has been good to us at times. Of course, yeah. Come on. Pick that one up, will you? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Shove it on there, mate. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh. Yeah. It was marvellous, that girl not having the money like that, eh? Oh, God, it must be my lucky day. Good tyres mean correct control. Well, you've got to admit, Blakey, that's a smashing picture, isn't it, eh? Yeah, take care yeah well, I'll, uh, I'll turn the sound down just in case the, uh, the general manager is, you know. Isn't it marvellous bright picture, eh? Yeah, yeah, well, it's uh, hardly been used. Yeah, well, I can tell that, you know, yeah. So sure, I know a bit of thing about these, you know. Oh, yeah, I, I know a bit about electronics. Oh, go on. Yeah, if that had been used a lot, that tube would have been all worn out, you know that, and it would have been all wishy-washy and white and faint. Yeah, fact. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I, I could tell that, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. you couldn't fool me. Mm -hmm. Nah. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, Butler. Yeah. I'll have it all right. Ah, oh, thanks, Blakey. <laughs> uh, don't thank me, Butler. Matter of fact, I think you've done yourself there, boy. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, 15 <laughs> quid, no. There you are. That's a bargain, it's a bargain. Yeah, I'll yeah. yeah I'll well, we'd better just turn it yeah, off. No, 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 leave we, it. We, we leave leave, leave it alone, leave it. <laughs> I want to leave it on so I can learn how to adjust it for when I get home, you see? Yeah. Leave it. Well, uh, all right then, uh, Right? <laughs> Go on, you got your money, now get, the, get your bus out, you're late. Go on, get out. <laughs> no, I'll leave it looking this time anyway, because it was to my advantage, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> 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 Do you think it'll be all right? Yeah, well, what's he going to watch anyway? He don't like most of the programmes. No, oh, but he's bound to watch the horror films, isn't he? Well, why should he do that when all he's got to do is look in a mirror? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's us for today, mate. Come on, let's get home. OK, mate, yeah. Hello. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Yeah, the inspector's hardly come out of his office since you sold him that TV set. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, he's had it on all day. What? <laughs> Good blimey, he must have had that set on for eight hours non-stop. We'd better see how it is. Yeah, come on. Find the best place for the aerial. Well, that chair looks a bit rickety to me, did not you? Uh, Mind you, that's a smashing picture, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> How long do you reckon that last? Ah, I'll probably keep going for about six months. Guy's a lucky devil, ain't he, mm. old Blakey? Eh? I think we sold him a dozen. Yeah. <laughs> well, he did say it was his lucky day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that chap is blown. It's blown up. He just come and get him out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Blakey! <laughs> no, he's gone. Oh, my God. You tried to kill me, didn't you? Right? I, I always knew you would one of these days. All right, let's get the aerial off here. Let's get the aerial off. Oh, no, 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 no. You've got your arm in there. 
You tried to hang me there, as you fucker. Why don't you get a gun and finish it all? What's happening? Come on, give us your hands, Blackie, and we'll pull you out. Oh, no, 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 I've got splinters. How can you get no splinters in your hands? No, not in my hands. I won't get a sit down for weeks. Oh, well, it's like a sticky plaster. We'll just have to give him one quick pull, he won't feel a thing. Come on, there, all right? Oh, oh, oh. Now, you see, that didn't hurt at all, did it? It's torn on my trousers now. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, miss. I didn't know you were there. Oh, 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 oh. What's your matter now? I've got splinters in me, uh, me hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take legal action over this butler. No, no, I'll sue you. No, I'll no. see you get sacked for this right, as well. It, it was an accident. I know there'll be an accident, mate. You'll get sued for this, I'll tell you. Oh, 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 oh I feel all faint. Oh, 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 I haven't got it through your thick head yet, have I? That our old one blew up and put the inspector in bed for a fortnight and he's going to sue us. Yes, he is. He's going to sue me and Jack. And if I know Blakey, he'll get me the sack as well. Well, it's your own fault for being dishonest. And thanks to your clever pal Jack, we've lost all our Christmas money, haven't we? Well, my Stan nearly lost his job. Yeah, and the company nearly lost an inspector. <laughs> Well, we still haven't got a telly for Christmas. What are we going to do all day? Oh, never mind, love. It'll just be like the old days. We used to, in the holidays, eat all day and sleep all day. Olive does that every day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Will you shut up? Come and get your coat on. Let me get your coat on. Where am I going? Well, look, I need you for moral support. I'll do us a favour, Arthur. No, I want you to help me to butter him up, you know. Oh, go on, Arthur. No, I don't see why I should. Oh, well, that's that, then. There's no point in me going, then. Cos all I do is I'll get the sack. And if I get the sack, mate, I'll tell you something, you'll have to keep the family. So please yourself. Yes, well, uh, on second thoughts, <laughs> I don't seem to have very much on this afternoon. I thought that would make you change your tune, What are you mate? sitting there for? Come on. Well, as soon as it affects your pocket, yeah, mate. Well, come on, As soon as it affects your pocket. Look, Butler, you can take that television set away. I don't want nothing to do with it after the other one. I want my money back and I'm taking legal action, I'll tell you that. But, Blakey, look, look, it's brand new, it's come straight from the shop. Look, it's the guarantee, guaranteed for six months. But, Blakey, listen, I didn't know the other one was going to blow up. I mean, Arthur knows that, don't you, Arthur? I did too well. Yes, and what about all my injuries and all the aggravation, eh? You're not getting round me as easily as all that, but I don't well, Come in, Blakey. Oh, see, so you got your new set then. Yes, and I don't want it. Oh, don't be like that, Blakey. Look, Stan and me at club together brought you lots of nice things to cheer you up. Look, we bought you some bottles of beer. Yeah, and chocolates. Chocolates, a box of cigars, crisps and, crisps and everything, see? Yeah, well, that's very nice of you, Jack, but I've still got all my injuries, you know. Oh, yeah, how are you, Splinters? I should have thought you'd be lying on his side. Uh, no, 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 I'm quite all right as I am, thanks. Well, let's have a look, see if you're comfortable. No, yeah. no. Oh, look, he's uh, <laughs> oh, he's sitting on a rubber ring. <laughs> no, the sheet's back. Yeah. The you? Well, we know what to do if you get a puncture. Yeah. We bring one of the maintenance lads round here, look after you. Yeah. They'll jack you up and fit a spare. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we ought to be going. Uh, no, no, Arthur, no, I just plug in, see if the set works, you see. Um, uh, uh, where's your socket, uh, lady? It's at the back of the bed here. At the back of the bed. <laughs> no, I know you're going. Yeah. I, I can't, I've got to sh help us shift the bed. So. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Is it towed back in the hole, then? <laughs> 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 right, put it back. Careful, careful. Sorry about that, sorry about that. I couldn't get the socket in, see? No. Uh, Arthur, switch on, mate, will you? Oh, here, no, no, leave it, leave it, leave it. I'll watch it later on. I just want a bit of peace and quiet and sleep, you see? Look, 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 we just want to see if it works all right, and then we'll go. Oh. And now for our special sports feature, our cameras own Madrid. And at just under a minute's time, we'll be bringing you the last ten minutes of the international match in Madrid Stadium. Oh, blimey, that's a match we wanted to watch. Yeah. Well, we're going to be too late by the time we get back to your place, mate. Oh, it's all right, we'll watch it here. Blake, yeah, we'll, sit down, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, if it's only about ten minutes... Yeah, so. Any more chairs? No, sit on the bed, Arthur, sit on the bed. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'd better have some of my medicine. <laughs> The doctor said I'm supposed to take it every two hours, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this aggravation making yeah. me make acid a bit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, seeing you drink that is making me thirsty. Well, there's plenty of beer here, Blackie, won't mind. Oh, you just oh, yeah, no, no, no. Shut up, shut up. And here in Madrid Stadium, there's still no score. This is an amazing match. Only ten minutes ago, and anything can happen. 
What a fantastic match. Still no score in spite of half an hour's extra time. Just a few minutes left and it's still anybody's game. Axel Jackson's got the ball. He passes it to Baker. This could be the winning goal. Go shoot, shoot, shoot! Go on, you idiot, Baker! Go God, all is shouting. I think their voice is going. Oh, thank God for that. Now, you give it a rest now, eh? Oh, it'll be all right when he's had another bottle of your beer. Yeah, hold that, mate. Oh, well, I'll pour out then. Jackson starting his run. He takes the corner. Baker's got his head to it, and there he goes. Right over the first time. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, 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 yeah! Oh,
What have you stopped here for? The bus stop's down here. Ah, oh, blimey, right? We don't want to pick up all them passengers. Look, the high street will be packed this morning. Yeah, you're right. Some people have got nothing better to do than ride about on buses all day long. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the number 24 joins us here, doesn't he? All the way to the depot. We'll let him pick them up. Don't be daft. He comes in behind us, doesn't he? Yeah, well, not if we let him go in first, he won't, will he? Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey? uh, look, he's due any minute. Come on. Come here. We're coasting now, mate. We've got time for the fag. <laughs> well, I've got a minute. That's a good scheme you've got going there, Jack. Yeah, well, it's better than working, isn't it? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I've been thinking? What's that? We ought to do this all the way around the route. Then we wouldn't have to pick up any passengers at all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get that fag. Yeah. <laughs> hey, mate. What a scheme, Nick. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> no. Yeah. I've got to admit you, that's a good net, is that? Hey, you two. Oh, <laughs> blimey, Dracula's on the warpath. I wonder if he's tumbled. I knew we shouldn't have stopped there so long. Nah, I'm not scared of him. No, neither am I. Let's brazen it out, can't yeah, take right. <clears throat> Look, Blackie, it's no good going off the deep end. We was held up in the high street, so don't start. Yeah, don't you start, mate. I'll tell you something, I'm up to here with it. That's it. Who's starting? Yeah, well, don't then, don't. I'm that's all we're saying. I'm not starting. <laughs> Relax, boy. We all have our bad days. Don't worry about it. You all right, Blackie? Yes, I'm all right, Butler. You all right? Can I have a word with you a minute? Hello, hello. There's something funny here. Yeah. Come on, come on. What's wrong? Well, you know we're short of an inspector here, don't you? Yeah. Well, I'm run off me feet. I can't cope. I might as well admit it. One or two of the fellas here are beginning to take advantage of it. Oh, never. What a shame. That's the truth of it there. Well, the manager's asked me to make up one of the men into the rank of inspector. <laughs> <laughs> Blakey, none of us blokes would take that, will they, Jack? No, nah, no, nah, there's no creeps in this depot, Blakey. <laughs> Look, none of the blokes will do it, and the shop steward, I'll make sure they don't. Well, as a matter of fact, Art, but the manager suggested I promoted you. No, but... No, yeah. wait a minute, no. No, all right, shut up, Stan. No, uh... <laughs> all right, Blakey, uh, I'll think about it, then. Yes, the manager thought you might think about it. <laughs> no, no, tell him you're wasting Come and have a word with me in the office, will you? Yeah, right out, Mr Blake. Just Mr. Blake bit. Blimey, you're not going to take that job, are you? Now, listen, Stan. Don't listen look, to me, mate. An inspector I... makes up the time sheets, I'll doesn't he? Well, right, well. I can put you down for all the overtime you want, and you won't have to work it. <laughs> <laughs> you're great, mate. Uh, you're the greatest yeah. son. Hey, that's the type of overtime I like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Not? yeah. I could put a smashing clippy on with you and all. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, Lev. Yeah. That new blonde bit, what's her name? What? Christine. Yeah, what's wrong? No, 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 fine, mate. No, I'll put her yeah, on with you. Yeah, she's yeah. a cracker, mate. I'll have her, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah she is. She's a smasher, mate. Oh, oh. no, no. <laughs> oh, hello, Jack. Hello, darling. Coming to lunch, then? Yeah. Hey, hey, Christine, can I have a word with you, darling? Yeah, of course you can, Stan. <clears throat> Here, come and sit with us in the canteen. I hope the lunch is nice. I'm starving. Hey, yeah. <laughs> 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 Jack, come in, Toby. Oh, uh, come in, Mr Blake. <laughs> Hello, you, mate. Hello. Right. Morning. <laughs> Morning, Christine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is uh, this is our first day out together, isn't it? Mm. Um, uh, love, uh, do you fancy coming out with me uh, one night? Mm. You do? Well, how about coming round my house to tea tomorrow night? Oh, tea? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. All right. yeah I'll tell Mum then, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, uh, I can't wait for tomorrow night. Neither <laughs> can I. I'm starving. <laughs> oh, blimey, look. Here comes Ben and Bill. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, that's enough of that, Butler. Come on, get this bus out. You're late. That was marvellous, Blakey, that was. I didn't see your lips move, mate. You'd make a smashing act together. The ventriloquist act, you and Jack. Will you shut up and get that bus out? Yeah, get that bus out. <laughs> Yeah, all right, uh, Mr. Harper. Look, <laughs> 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 your pal Jack is an inspector. You're going to have to watch your step, mate, aren't you? 
He knows all your old dodges, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he ought to. He taught them to me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your food, loves. Oh, thanks, man. Blimey, that's not much for a working man, is it? That's not yours. That's for all of us. You what? <laughs> <laughs> One tiny sausage and a little bit of fried bread. I can't possibly live on that. You'll have to. The price of food now, you're lucky to get that. Yeah, Mum's right, I suppose. Come on, come on, Arthur, Arthur. Come on, mate. Let's see the, the wallet. Get the wallet out. What are you talking about, mate? I put enough money in this city, this. What are you talking about? Blimey, the last time I saw a quid off of you, it had the Queen Victoria's head on it. <laughs> Shut up, I'd well. the pair of you. Go on, eat it while it's hot. I'll make you a nice cup of cocoa. Right. Mm. Where's it going? <laughs> Blimey! She's at the lot! How am I? You great fat pig! <laughs> I was hungry! You make a vulture look like a sparrow! <laughs> well, that's all there is. You'll have to wait till the end of it. That's all there is in the larder. Charming. Oh, we can't, Mum. God, I've got Christine coming round tomorrow night. You know, the new clippy. Well, you'll have to tell her to bring her own food, won't you? You'll have to cancel it, love. There's nothing left in the housekeeping till Friday. I can't cancel it. I've told her she's coming. Oh, all right, there you are. There you are. Take a quid. That's my last quid. Oh, tar, love. Oh, it's all right. I'll have to ask Jack for a bit of overtime, that's all. Oh, yeah, do you think he'll give it yet? Well, he said he would. Mind you, uh, he was a bit funny with me today. Oh, well, love, it's his first day. Just trying to impress. Yeah, you were right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said he'd give me a couple of hours over time any time I needed it, really, yes. you know. And the best bit is, he says that I don't have to work it. <laughs> oh, it'd be lovely to have a decent meal for once. I can fill myself right up. <laughs> Olive, I'm only doing a couple of hours over time, not a couple of months. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Lloyd Chorley, mate. Good morning, mate. Uh, hey, Chalky. Yeah. Uh, have you seen Jack about? Mr Harper? He's in the office, mate. Oh, you got it now, Mr. Harper, eh? <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to ask Mr. Harper if he can give me a couple of hours overtime. <laughs> Good luck to you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> God blimey, Blake, for a minute I thought you'd grown two heads. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello. What do you want, Butler? Uh, oh, uh, I didn't come to see you, really, Blaggy. I come to see old Jack here. <laughs> oh, sorry, I mean, uh, uh, Mr. Harper. Yeah, well, now he's seeing me, so up it. <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Harper, sir, uh, I've come to see you about the overtime you promised. <laughs> <laughs> you promised. Butler? What? You getting a twitch or something? <laughs> Your eyesight like failing, is it, Butler? I think I'd better put him down to see an eye specialist, Mr. Blake. <laughs> Oh, blimey, mate, you mean it. Well? Well, I tell you what, it'll be you that wants to see the eye specials in a now, minute, mate. watch it, Butler. Uh, uh, Look, I've come in here to get a couple of hours overtime, you promised me. Eh? Hey? Overtime? Yeah. Butler, what? if there was any overtime, which there isn't, and he was to give it to you, which he won't, I will still have to agree to it, which I shan't. Now, get out. <laughs> Blakey! Never mind the Blakey, get out. Oh, look at the style of him, look. Yeah, oh. smile yourself up, Butler. You're the scruffiest busman of the old depot. Well, I must be, since they've made you up to inspector. <laughs> get out! <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, uh, I thought you handled Butler very well yesterday, Jack. Oh, yeah, well, if one's going to be an inspector, one must do the job properly. Yes, very well. I'm going to have to watch me step with you, and I, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jack, uh, you know it's always been my ambition to fix Butler, don't you? Well, I want you to help me to do it properly. Oh, no, come off it, Blake. I can't do that. I mean, what do you take me for? I mean, he is me mate. Mate? Mate? <laughs> you can't have friends when you're an inspector. <laughs> I mean, take me. I haven't got a single friend in the old depot, I'm proud to say. I hate the sight of you. Yeah. I'm glad they do, mate. I'll tell you what, they'll hate the sight of you before you're finished, and all I'll tell you. Yes, it's very lonely at the top, you know, Jack. <laughs> it's either us or them. No, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I might remind you, Arthur, that you're only acting, Inspector. You're not established, you know. You can easily be thrown back on the heap. Yeah. <laughs> right then. Now, Butler's clocked in, isn't he? Yeah. He's not in the depot, though, is he? No. No. 
No, he's always clocked in this time of the day and not in any. Oh, yeah, well, that's because I always used to clock... Uh, someone used to clock in. <laughs> I know all about that, boy. What I can't understand, Jack, what gets me beat every time, is how he manages to get in that main gate without me catching it. Oh, well, that's easy. He goes through the manager's loo. <laughs> sure, he does it. Yeah, yeah. He should be there around about now. Let's get him. Uh, oh, no, no, Blake, look, no, Blake, wait a minute. Look, look, I don't like doing this to an old mate. It comes very hard, I must say. Don't worry, Jack, it gets easier as you go along. <laughs> Let's get him now, come on. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Blakey. Blakey! <laughs> what, what are you doing here? What are you doing here, eh? You're late for work, aren't you? Yeah, I, I was taking a shortcut. What, through the manager's loo? Yeah, well, he wasn't using it, was he? <laughs> Don't be funny, now. Don't no, be well, funny. Well, I'll, I'll go and... I'll go and, uh, yeah. go and uh, clock in. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Go clock, on, then. Clock, clock in, see? And, 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 and I'll bet you're wondering why I, I, I come through that, through that loo, don't you? Yeah. Winder, and I'll tell you why, why I come through the loo, Winder, is because it's only a little one, and, 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 and it keeps me fit. <laughs> and, you know, and, and it's... Um, I'm just going to clock in. <laughs> well... Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'll get it. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. <laughs> he, 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 he shot me, hasn't he? Uh, I've got you, Butler. I've got you. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something now. He used to clock me in. Yes, that hadn't escaped my notice, Arthur. Uh, I'm afraid I shall have to report this. Hey, I see. Now you've done yourself in, haven't you, eh? I'll go and get the bus out, eh? See, you've done yourself, huh? <laughs> Mr Blake, if you were prepared to overlook this, there's some more things I can tell you about, Butler. Oh, yeah? OK. <laughs> well, it's not so stand. Is it our tea break? Tea break? Blimey, we've had four already. Now, come on, come here, come on. Yeah. Shouldn't we be picking up them passengers? No, 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 darling, no. We, uh, we don't want you uh, using up all your strength punching tickets all day long, do we? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to keep my strength up. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what we do. Yeah. That we'll have time for ourselves. Oh, good. I have time to finish my buns. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we won't have time for ourselves. <laughs> Come on, then. Stan Butler. <laughs> I know that, you twit. I've caught you, ain't I? <laughs> I told you we'd find him here, didn't I? Cool, you're a writing. Blimey, he put me up to it. Yes, and he put me up to you too, mate. Now you get on that bus and get right back to the depot. And remember, I shall be right behind you. <laughs> All right, Dracula. Here, just a minute. Don't you call Mr Blake Dracula. Blimey, get you. I tell you what they'll be calling you down the depot, mate. The Bride of Dracula. Watch out, don't you two start breeding, cos there won't be enough blood to go around. <laughs> get on that bus! <laughs> right, then, Butler. You can go and have your normal tea break now. Go on. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank right, you. then, Jack. Let's go in and see the manager make out our report. We've got you on the run now, ain't we, eh? Hey? Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm having a lovely day today. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. He taught me it, you know. He, he used to do it with me. Yes, that's very true, isn't it, eh? Uh, Mr Blake, uh, there's something else I can tell you about, Butler. <laughs> well, Christine, I, I just can't believe it, honestly. My, my, my mate, Jack, I just... What a, what a creep. What a, what a crawler. Oh, I don't know. 
I think he's quite nice, really. Sort of cuddly. Cuddly? <laughs> You'd be safe for cuddling a Bartman stricter. <laughs> What's funny in that? What's funny in that? Well, I mean, he, he, he shot me twice already today. Yeah, well, he's only doing his job, isn't he? Ah, oh, let's forget him. Here, let's go and have a cup of tea, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a bit peckish. You'll have to put up with a cheese roll, cos I'm, I'm a bit brassic lint skin. Here, oh. I, here, I'll tell you what, though. Here, come round the back of the canteen with me. We've got a smashing system going. Yeah. No, I'll tell you what it is, shall I? What is it? Don't then? get eager, darling. <laughs> I'll tell you what we do here. You, you keep cavey, though, see? Keep dog eye. Yeah. Keep dog eye out and uh, watch it. So remove this uh, bit of hardboard here, see? And then... Uh... <laughs> 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 oh, that's great, that is. Great! It's yeah. better than buying them, I'll tell you that, darling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lovely. Yeah, I think I'll have one with shot while I'm here. Mmm. <laughs> What I can't understand, Jack, is how he gets the food out of here. I mean, this storeroom's always locked up well, isn't it? Oh, well, that's easy. We just put our hand through the broken window. We? Oh, no, I didn't say we. I said he. Oh, I see. <laughs> we'll have to put a stop to that in, won't we? Mmm, nice. He's like, he's like good, isn't he? Yeah, can I have another? Blow, we just had one, wasn't it? Look at the size of it, darling. I don't know where you put it all. Oh, I've got very active glands. I can see that. Blimey, you must have got them from a horse. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Oh, no. What's, what's that doing? He's at it now. Don't <laughs> 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 oh, no, you don't get away, mate. I'll call you in there. No, no. <laughs> Come on, up the office. Come oh, on. Don't be an idiot. You can't pull me through this hole. <laughs> <laughs> This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see that you pay for every mortal morsel of food that's ever been taken out of this canteen since his window got broken. Jack, get him there, he's got the evidence on his head. <laughs> oh, here comes Blubbermouth. Oh, look, I'm sorry, mate. I had to do it, otherwise I'd lose me job. Carry on like that or you'll use a lot more, I tell you, mate. Oh, damn it, I wish I'd never taken this rotten job in the first place. Ah, uh, take a notice of him. Nah. Hey, Christine, love, uh, do you fancy coming out with me tonight? Oh, I can't. I'm going out in the stands for tea. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll pick you up after. Oh. Oh, you mean for dinner? Yeah. Oh. All right, then. I mean, after all, you're the boss, aren't you? I suppose I have to do everything you say. Yeah. You know, it might not be so bad being an inspector after all. <laughs> 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 I must say, Stan, these scampi are delicious. <laughs> yes, I can see you've enjoyed them. <laughs> you've had them all. <laughs> no, no, look. Under the pasty, there's another one. Oh, is there? Oh. <laughs> oh, it tastes lovely. As I didn't get the taste of it myself, I only had two rather small ones. <laughs> oh, I say, Stan, I'm so glad you asked me to tea. I love scampi. <laughs> so I noticed you finished the lot. Oh. Well... In that case, if you'll excuse me, I'll just nip up to the bathroom and wash my hands then, Stanley. <laughs> oh, yes, All right, you know darling. where the bathroom is, love. Yes, yes, yes. I should watch her, mate. She'll probably eat the soap. <laughs> <laughs> that girl is like a walking dustbin. Yeah, she certainly can put it away. Here, I didn't see the going of them, Scampy. She was so quick, she never even gave me a chance. I must admit, <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day when anybody could beat you. <laughs> Look, I am starving. Get the next course ready, Ma. Before she comes down, let's give ourselves a fighting chance. <laughs> there is no next course. All there's left is a bit of cheese and the rest of the loaf. Well, get your skates on and get in. Quick. Yeah. Oh, uh, am I missing anything? No, love, I was just clearing the table. Oh, look, Mrs Butler, as you've all had enough to eat, why don't you all go and sit in the front room while Stanley and me do the washing up? Oh, thanks very much, love. Oh, no, it's such a very thoughtful, isn't it, Mum? Yes. Yeah. Arthur, why don't you show Mum and Olive in the front room and you can watch telly? <laughs> How lovely. We'll all sit and watch the food commercials. <laughs> here. Here. Stan, what? I never thought they'd leave us alone. Poor me. <laughs> We've got it all to ourselves now. Now we can really get down to it, darling. Yeah. I'll just bump the cushions up. Yeah. I'm dying for some more of that lovely sliced bread. I, mean, I, didn't, uh, I didn't like taking in more whilst they were still here in case they thought I was a bit of a pig. 
A bit of a pig, yeah. Here, just a minute. Give, give, give us a kiss first, don't mess about this. Hey, now look, hang about, Stanley. I mean, I must eat, mustn't I? Now go and fit up with this carp, blimey. I mean, come on, give us a kiss. Oh, I'm uh, not interrupting anything, am I? <laughs> Where'd you sprint from? Are you ready, love? Mmm, yeah. Ready? Ready for what? Well, Jack's taking me out to dinner. Mm. Oh, thanks for the lovely scampy stand. See you in the morning. Ready, Jack, love? Yeah, sure. Oh, I do hope we're going to a nice restaurant. I'm ravenous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just a minute, Jack. Give her this bit of bread and cheese. It'll tide her over till she gets there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my dog. <laughs> What's the matter, Stan? You're clocking in on time. Oh, uh, uh, upset you, eh? Just because I'm early, you won't be up... What's all this then? Oh, I bugged in my resignation, and I. Huh? You what? Ah, well, I had good think about it, and I thought, well, I'm missing out on all the good things in life, like making Blakey's life a misery. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Quite honestly, mate, I, I, I knew you wouldn't stick it, really. Do you know why, mate? Hmm? Eh? Because, you see, you're a born liar about. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> Here, uh, sorry about Christine and all that last night. Ah, it's all right. I'm glad you came when you did before she started eating the knives and forks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took her out to the Chinese after. You know, we were there for over three hours. <laughs> but I managed to stop her eating in the end. How'd you manage that? I ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Jack. <laughs> Ready for another lovely day, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Blakey. <laughs> What's this? Oh, uh, I've resigned, didn't I? Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah. Back to that again, is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew you wouldn't stick it. I knew you wasn't inspector material like me. Uh. You see, your trouble is, Jack, you're, uh, you're not a big enough creep. <laughs> <laughs> get in that bus with him and get it out then, if oh, that's the uh, case. Uh, Blakey, uh, by the way, do you know what? Some layabout has gone and stuck his arm through the canteen window and pinched a great bowl of batter for the fried fish. <laughs> bowl of batter? Mm. Now, what do you want to go and do a dull thing like that for? Yeah, watch it, mate. You've got no evidence it was me. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, but I'll find that blooming evidence, mate, and when I do, someone's going to blooming more copy, I'll tell you. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yes, you'll find the evidence, Blakey, but it won't be me who cops it. Oh, get that bus out of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to be careful, Blakey. Don't let Christine see you like that. She's rather partial to a bit of fried fish. <laughs> I hate you too. I do. On the bus is part one, production number 0913, recorded the 16th of the 11th, 71, take one. <clears throat>
Oh, me, what a day, eh? Yeah, passengers, mate, you're sick, aren't they? Yeah. You coming home? Nah, mate, nah, I'm on overtime tonight. I've got a load of bills to pay. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I had the final demand notice in the electric light company. They're yeah. coming in to cut me lights off. Oh, damn it. oh, there you are, Arthur. You can do your overtime on the 24 of the guest works, mate. Yeah, right, eh, buggy? Oh, yeah, stick me down to one, will you? What shall I take out? You can take yourself out, butler. <laughs> Go on, get off home out of it. No, no, wait a minute, no, no. No, I want some overtime. Well, that's just what you're not going to get, mate. I want conductors, not drivers. Oh, don't talk, Doc. How can you run buses without drivers? Well, we manage all right when you're in a cab, don't we? <laughs> oh, don't be daft. Look, oh, look, oh, look, oh, look, give us a bit more. But look, I need some extra money. Well, I don't need any extra drivers. I need conductors. I've got half the clip is off having babies. God knows how they all manage to have them at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> well, it is about nine months since the last depot outing, isn't it? <laughs> Cut you. Oh, shut up, Jack. Listen, wh why would you give it to him and not me? Because I haven't got any overtime for drivers. Look, how am I going to pay my electric light bill? They're going to come round to cut my lights off. Well, you have to sit looking at each other in the dark, won't you? <laughs> for your family, it should be quite an improvement. <laughs> oh, no, Blake, you do us a favour, you know. Please, give us, a, look, give us another ship, will you? Please, Mr Blake. No! Dracula. Yeah. Oh, God, I mean, what am I going to do, Jack? Oh, yeah. What's Arthur doing on that bus? Oh, uh, let me help you down, Marty. Oh, ta. Oh. Very sweet of you. Oh. I must say, as usual, you've made my journey most diverting. Oh, really? Well, you're pretty interesting yourself. <laughs> oh, you really think so? Oh, yeah, really. Oh. Yes, well, it must be our, uh, our common interest. Physical fitness has always been one of my little weaknesses. Oh. <laughs> oh, Arthur. Don't forget to tell her about your other little weakness. Oh, oh my goodness. Stanley, oh, my brother-in-law. We know. Yes, I seem to have gone past my stop. Yeah, that's not the only thing you've gone past. <laughs> uh, how much extra do I owe you, my dear? Oh, that's all right, Arthur. Have it on the house. Oh, thank watch you it. very much. Watch it, Arthur, watch it. Don't get too excited. Remember your operation. Operation? Oh, just one of Stanley's jokes. Most amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, hard day. Never mind. It's ten o'clock tomorrow. Night. Nice. Amy got lovely air. I was telling you last week, one I offer, I do admire <laughs> men with a good head of air. Do you really? Well, you're wasting your time with him, love. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Keep your hair on. <laughs> yeah, look at the time. I'm due out again. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Arthur. Oh, my goodness, yes. Yes, I shall look forward to that. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget those press-ups. No. And watch out, he's not behind you when you're doing them. <laughs> <laughs> what a very witty remark. <laughs> What's all that clap with you giving her about physical fitness? Come off it, mate. You were chatting her up. Yeah, boy. still got a tune in the old fiddle, eh, Arthur? The only trouble with him is bow's a bit bent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I'm not staying here to be insulted. I'm going home. That's all right, mate. You'll get insulted there and all. <laughs> Well, come on, Charles Atlas. There's another bus goes in ten minutes. Come. I don't intend travelling in a bus with you, mate. Ooh, I'm walking home. I shall enjoy the exercise. What, three miles? <laughs> well, that's all right. Help keep me fit. Oh, blimey. <laughs> Olive will have to carry him up to bed. That's the only way she can get him there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's another one down, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I see you made it home then. Well, what took you so long? What did you hit your ride? Oh, blimey, I knew you wouldn't walk it, mate. I not only walked the three miles, mate, but I've got here ten minutes before your bus. You want to try it sometime, keep yourself fit. Fit? Blimey, you look as though you crippled yourself. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my feet, mate. It is a well-known fact to medical science that hot water improves the circulation. Is that a fact? Well, you want to stick your head in the bowl, then? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey, what's this you're, no, get, get, what's get. This you're reading here? <laughs> Fit and beautiful. <laughs> I can't see anything for you, you know, mate. Isn't there one called sick and ugly? Give that here. <laughs> oh, but... Here, you filthy old man. Here, this is full of naked birds. Oh, Arthur, how disgusting. It is not. There are men there as well. <laughs> well, that's worse. <laughs> You don't want to let Olive see that one. She'll see what a real man looks like. <laughs> I won't have you bringing that sort of filth in the house. It is not filth. It is a purely scientific magazine. Oh, scientific, all right. Got all the measurements here and all. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Ian, this didn't interest you. Listen to this. Wigs for men. Give that here. <laughs> give me, no, don't mess them out. You can do with one of them. He says, why be bored and lonely, top yourself off with a curly top, and be successful with women? <laughs> the only way you'll be successful, mate, is to wear one on your face. No. <laughs> I don't think I'd like my man in a wig. It might tickle me in bed. Yeah, Arthur. What do you do with your bald head in bed, eh? <laughs> I am not bald. I merely have a rather high forehead. Oh, bloody. <laughs> I tell you something, mate. Your forehead's all right. goes right round the back of your neck. <laughs> I like Arthur's bald head. They say baldness is a sign of virility. Ah, yeah, but then they don't know Arthur, do they? <laughs> well, it was certainly true of your dad. <laughs> Mind you, he wasn't as bald as Arthur. Will you all shut up? I am not bald. No, love, of course you're not. He's not bald, Mum. No, of course he isn't. Now, everybody stop talking about Arthur's bald age. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pay the electric light bill? That's a laugh. What, with shirt buttons? Well, what are we going to do? They'll come and cut the lights off. We'll all have to go to bed with a candle then, won't we? Oh, Arthur, how romantic. A woman always looks more romantic by the light of a candle. In your case, you'll need half a gross. <laughs> don't you talk to my daughter like that. I don't know what you've been up to lately, but I've only had a few bob off you the last few weeks for the housekeeping money. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Well, I did explain I've had one or two personal bills. No, Stanley, I think it's up to you. You should get some overtime. Oh, I can't get any overtime. I've already asked. Well, you'll have to do something you know I won't depend on you. You always depend on me, Mum. It's always me. Why me? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'm going to start by economising. Hey? Look at this place. Blimey, it's like a black full of illuminations. Oh. The lights are going off for a start. That's it. <laughs> Ouch! Childish can you get? Childish or not, mate. If you want the lights on, you pay for them. No. Leave them off. I find it rather soothing. If we're going to sit here in the dark, Arthur, we might as well go to bed. Stan, <laughs> put those lights on at once. <laughs> and see the inspector in the morning and make him give you some overtime. No, what, what, no. Frankie, why? No. Why? Why? Butler, I've told you enough times I do not need drivers ad nauseum. Now, what do you think I'm pinning this blooming thing up for? Well, look, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll work harder. I'll, I'll get the buses out on time. I'll even stop to pick up passengers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be a credit to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You made my day, you fat <laughs> I never thought I'd ever live to hear you say the like of that. I don't know what to say. Well, say yes. No. Blakey, <laughs> what am I going to do? Look, how, how am I going to pay the bills? Butler, don't bore me with your domestic problems. I've got my own troubles, mate. <laughs> Here, hang about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just remember something. What? I got one of my bus cleaners off sick. Who? Oh, yeah, little old Bessie, her knees are giving out, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it's hard work swabbing out buses, you know. I know it's very hard work, <laughs> but what's that got to do with me? Well, you, when you finish your shift at half past five, yeah, yeah. come in here and grab a bucket and kneeler and get on with her job swabbing out the buses. <laughs> oh, don't daft. I'm a driver, not a cleaner. Oh, well, suit yourself, but I'm only trying to do you a favour, mate. Of course. Some favour, mate. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, Nelly, start on that row over there and work your way down, will you? <laughs> well, see, take the 14s, will you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bessie, how's your legs? All right, girl? Not too bad, lady, no! <laughs> 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 what are you going? There's a Christmas fairy. <laughs> oh, shut up, Blake. These are the only togs I could find. Oh, it's all right, mate. It suits you. <laughs> it looks better on you in your own uniform. Oh, have a good laugh. Very Go fetching, on. it is, yes. Have all the legs after you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Got your curlers on underneath there, have you? Right. <laughs> and does it. Get somebody else to do your own dirty work. Oh, you? shut up and don't be so touchy. Well. I'm only kidding you. Don't look all that bad at all, really. Not really. <laughs> Well, you better get on your own bus and clean that down. That's filthy enough, God knows. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, your mate, Caesar. <laughs> no, no, Blake, you do us a favour. Don't tell Jack, please. No, 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 of course. Well, you really think I am, mate? Yeah, well. Right. Right. Oh, there you are, Arthur. Uh, no. You're on the number 17, due out in uh, ten minutes' time, right? Yeah, right, right, mate. 
Here's Jack. Hmm? Your mate wants you. He's on the number 11 here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that, mate. Yep, we want... Oh, sorry, number no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you fancied me, but there's no need to put your best frock on. <laughs> now, don't you start, mate. I only took this job to get a bit of extra money. <laughs> well, get on with it, then. Come on. Right. That's what you pay. Well, get on with it. Come right, on. Grab right, that yeah. hose, put the end of that, on that brush, all right. and clean it up. Go on, get on with all it. All right, all right. Got but... plenty of soapy suds, have you, dearie? <laughs> <laughs> don't wait your knickers, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not having him standing here making these stupid cracks while I do it. Oh, get on with it. That's what you're paid for, isn't well, it? I well, I don't right? care. Tell it because... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one window less I'll have to clean. <laughs> He's late again. He'd be worn out. He's been down at that depot scrubbing out them buses every evening this week. I know he's trying to face up to it, but I think his knees are going to give way. He wants to walk home from the depot like I do. I've never felt fitter in my life. I'm sleeping like a log. That's all you've ever done. <laughs> hey, all. I've come in, Jack. Now, door's locked. Got parcel for Arthur. Hey. I'll get it locked. No, no, no. It's all right, son. Hey. No, no. What? Oh. Hello, hello, Arthur. We took this in off the post, my oh, boy. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I read the label. Oh. Yeah, curly tops. I've seen them advertised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a wig, haven't you? Yes, well, I, uh, I got it as a surprise for Olive, mm. so I'd appreciate it if you didn't say anything, Jack. Nah, it's all right, mate. I'll keep it under me hat. <laughs> 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 Mind you, not that Stan couldn't do with a good laugh this week. No, it was the wrong address. I'm just popping upstairs. Ah, oh, there's Stan now. I thought you were going upstairs. Uh, I've changed my mind. I'll make him a nice cup of tea, dear. He must be wore out scrubbing out them buses every day. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, I'll be back. Oh, oh, oh. Give oh, your coat. Me knees be back. Oh, oh, oh blimey. Oh, dear. Oh! Oh, 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 my dear man! Oh, oh, what a picture you present. You look like a petrified prawn. Oh. <laughs> no, don't you start, mate. I'm just about ready for you. Oh, God. looks oh. like it. No, it's like I've always said, five minutes real hard work and you're crippled. All you're fit for is sitting in a bus on your bottom. <laughs> oh, who's talking? Blimey never gets off his. <laughs> While I'm slaving all day to get the money for the extra bills and all that sort of thing, he's sitting lounging about in our best chair. Yes, oh. come on, Arthur. Get out of the chair. Let's stand sit there. No, yeah, come well, on, get out. Uh, no. No, on second thoughts, why should I? I, I uh, got here first. I've just got myself comfortable. You look it. What are you wriggling it about for? What's the matter if you're caught, Sonic? The only thing ever caught in this house, mate, was me. Oh, oh Mum! How can you say such a thing? My little Olive would never throw herself at a man, would she, Stan? Oh, blimey, who said he's a man? <laughs> as far as we know, he's yet to prove it. Right, that does it. I'm not staying here to be insulted. I'm going upstairs. Shall I come with you, Arthur? Oh, that's all I need. I may well have to reconsider my position in this household. <laughs> Oh, Mum, he's been acting ever so strange lately. Do you think he's going to leave me? Let's hope he is. We might as well look on the bright side. Oh, no! <laughs> now look what you've done! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dear sir, please find enclosed five curly tops as requested. <laughs> Sent on seven days approval. <laughs> Stupid thing. 
it's too small. <laughs> Try stretching it a bit. <laughs> You're a spine of it! Go on, Arthur. Open the door. Let me in. Get out of it. Is there no privacy in this house? <laughs> well, that's the way you want it. Olive, there's a strange hairy man in your room. <laughs> Your roof. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it for Ollie's benefit. Did you really? What are you going to use it as a pot scourer? <laughs> I thought it'd be a surprise for her. Surprise? Blimey, you're frightened to death, mate. <laughs> God, you got a load of them here. Oh, look at this. Wait a minute. I don't think this one's dead, Arthur. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Now, I think it's about. <laughs> Put the lights on. Put them. Get out of here. And get out of my room! Olive! <laughs> These eight wigs, mate, look at that! Bloody, that's a sparring! <laughs> look at that one here! I'll tell you something, mate, that is not a wig, you're trying it on. <laughs> that's a moustache, mate, that I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. I ain't you, but love, get that bus out. Give it here, give it here. Oh, look at this one. Oh, this is me, yes? Right, I'll have this one. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> my lad, the bald facts in a case is this. <laughs> How do you get the bald facts? They are very expensive wigs. They cost £15 each. Oh, blow it. I could have a haircut every week for two years for that. And you're paying 15 quid to have a bit stuck on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where'd you get 15 quid from? Hey. Oh, I get it. That's why you haven't been chipping in with the housekeeping money, eh? Right, now, if you've got that amount of money, mate, you can pay the bills. Yes, well, I haven't got that amount of money, have I? I haven't realised they were so expensive. What's so expensive? Nothing. Arthur, what's that sticking out of your trousers? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he bought a bottle of air scorer and sat on it by mistake. <laughs> Look, when you all clear out of here, leave me alone. Here! Those are wigs! What are you doing with wigs? Arthur, you haven't turned funny, have you? <laughs> they are men's wigs, you stupid great lump. I got them for your benefit. But as you also heartily disapprove, I'll return them first thing in the morning. Oh, I'm glad, love. I think you look better as you are. Do you really? You want to nip round the opticians and get yourself another pair of glasses? <laughs> Uh, morning. Morning, Mum. Hello, love. There's your breakfast. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What's Arthur doing in the bathroom? He's been in here over an hour. Drowning himself, I hope. <laughs> oh, what's the matter with you? You sound a bit rough. I haven't had a wink of sleep all night. What? With all the half? I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> he hasn't. He had his back to me all night. Oh, I thought that was normal for you two. I knew there was something going on. All them wigs. It's like when a man starts buying new underclothes. There's always a woman behind them. Well, if there is, she's welcome to him, selfish pig. <laughs> oh, good morning. Are you feeling better? Would you kindly tell my wife to post those weeks back? Huh? <laughs> tell her! Oh, blimey, here we go. Would you kindly post those weeks? Tell him to post him himself. Tell him. She said, tell him to post him himself. Tell him. <laughs> right, I will. Where's my breakfast? On the stove, get it yourself. <laughs> I don't happen to be very hungry. I'm going to work. Well, go and good riddance. Oh, stop it, you two, will you? Now, stop being childish, Arthur. Sit down, sit down, go on. Olive, go and get me breakfast. Here, Arthur. Here. Oh, have that one, will you? Go on. Get off. Get off. <laughs> Look, mate, stop being ridiculous, will you? I mean, after all, you are one of the family. Come on, relax, mate. Come and take your hat off, you. <laughs> You snake in the grass! You were lying all the time! Oh, Arthur, send it back. Don't let something like that come between us. No, no, no. You can all shout as much as you like. I'm keeping it. When I first came in this house, I had a good head of hair. And I want it back again. Good 
goodness sake, I need something out of life. I've paid dearly enough for it. <laughs> you paid for it? Blimey, I paid for that, mate, scrubbing them buses. You send it back. I'm not slaving on my hands and knees so you can walk around looking like an animated floor brush. <laughs> that does it. Get out of the way. I'm not being insulted. I'm going. I may come back. On the other hand, I may not. <laughs> There's a woman in this, all right. Oh! Well, if there is, I'll say one thing for him. Blimey's a glutton for punishment. Oh! <laughs> hey, Lofty, have a look at the handbrake, will you, mate? I think it needs taking up a bit. Well, I, uh, I must say I have enjoyed our little chat. Yeah, very nice. Oh. My goodness. Do you know, I really think I need a haircut. Oh, love. Why don't you let it grow a bit? Oh. Do you really think so? Yes, well, perhaps I will. Yes. Uh, let me help you down. Oh, uh, dear. Oh, 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 allow me, allow me. Uh, uh, lofty, lofty, mate. Have a look at this button that closes the door. Will it sticks? You have to press it hard to work it. Look, I'll show you. Oh. Oh, let me out! Let me out! Let me out! What do you think you're doing, you know? Brother, go get his daughter out of the gym. <laughs> Brother, I know you don't like the passengers, mate. You no need to chop their blooming heads off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you all right, Arthur? Oh, my. Oh, 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 good. Oh, oh. He's all the rest of the family now. Tell me something that's going on. Look at that. What are you doing to my Arthur? Huh? Never mind what she's doing to your Arthur. What's he doing to my bus? <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Look at her Come on, Arthur. Ah. Oh, you great idiot! <laughs> oh, Arthur, you've taken that silly wig off. Here yeah, you were bald all the time. If I catch you chasing my husband again, you'll be bald. <laughs> Me? Chase him? <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> she should be so lucky. <laughs> right. Come along then, sunshine. Better go home. Oh, Arthur. Yes, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Will you take care of that? He's very fond of her, really. Yeah. <laughs> well, Blackie, uh, you said that uh, I could have your money, you know. Oh, yes, you might, yes. Tonight. I promised it, yes. Yeah, are you up? Yeah. Yeah, up. there's. Uh... Oh, oh, check that out. Right, it's 15 right. pounds. Yeah, yes, one minute, mate, check it. Yes, it's yes. 15 there, yeah. And 23 new pence, 20, right? 23 new pence. Oh, that's yep. lovely, yeah. What, now I can pay all my bills now, you yeah, see? Hang about. Well, what's the matter? Less the money for the broken window, 15 pounds. Right. <laughs> Which, according to my arithmetic butler, leaves yeah. you with exactly 23 yeah. new peas. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but you said yeah. you're only going to stop a little bit each week. Yes, well, you thought wrong, mate. I changed my mind. <laughs> well, what am I going to do? Well, there's only one thing to do, isn't there, butler? What's that? You'll have to do a bit more cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I'll have to. Oh, this is part one. Production number 0764. Recording date 31171. Take one.
as usual, isn't it? Not your fast, mate. <sighs> Butler? What? What are you doing here, mate? This is Boxing Day, boy. You're not on till this afternoon shift. I know that. I'm just waiting here with my brother-in-law. Huh? Yeah, we're waiting for the 10.45. His mother and his sister are on it, yeah. They're going to stay with us for the rest of the holiday. Oh, very nice. Nice? <laughs> Yes, it is not bad at all, yes. Yeah. Hey, did you have a nice Christmas day? Oh, very nice, yeah. yes. There wasn't a single bus on the road yesterday afternoon. Yeah. It's a one day of the year I can really relax in. <laughs> well, your buses are driven less than one day in the year the public can relax. Well, there's no need to be offensive, you know. There's no need to lose your temper. Oh, 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 Dractor is a bad mood this morning, isn't he? You have to excuse me, uh, stomach's a bit upset. I'd have dropped too much a drink last night, right. to be truthful. Well, you should know your capacity by now. Two pints of blood's your limit. You shut up! <laughs> yeah, all right, your 10.45 now. Go and get out of it. Yes, of course, there they are. Oh. That's it. Hello, Mum. Ah. Hello. And how's my little Arthur getting on? Very well, thank you. And uh, Linda? Hello, Arthur. Hello. Uh, you uh, remember Stan, Ollie's brother? Uh, how do you do, Mrs. Oh, <laughs> yes. I haven't seen you for years. You still a bus driver? Uh, yes, that's right, yes. Oh. Thought you'd been an inspector by now. Yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an inspector. I must say, you've got a sense of humour, madam. <laughs> yes, well, come on, Mother. The other bus we have to catch over here. Have we, mate? Oh, bother. What? I've got a great big hole in my tights. Oh. Look. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh Blakey, look at that, Blakey. Blakey, look. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think they were like that when I got on this bus? Well, no. Well, look, if you've done them on the bus, the company should pay for another pair. Yeah, hang about, hang about. What? How did we know that old wasn't here when this girl got on the bus? Hang about. I remember when it happened. I did it with my ticket machine. Your ticket machine? <laughs> what, down there? Yeah. It was when she dropped her change. I bent down on my hands and knees to pick it up and uh, I touched her with my little handle. <laughs> I remember feeling it. <laughs> well, I know, Jack. I bet you did. <laughs> oh, well. I suppose if one of our employees admits responsibility, the company will have to pay for it. I'll let her fill in a blooming fault today. You know, it's Boxing Day and all. Well, oh, but I might have known if your family was on the bus having like this had happened. Oi, oi, come on. <laughs> Romeo, get out of here. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> hey, what, what, what's holding you up, Mother's waiting? Nothing. I just snagged my tights, that's all. Here, what? I like that conductor. Is he a friend of yours? Oh, Jack, he's my mate. I tell you what, darling, he's one of the best. One of the best? He's sex mad, that man. Is he? Not your type at all. Yeah, well, I've got to sign off now. Here, yeah, Stan, why don't you bring Arthur's sister to the social tonight? He's a sort of Boxing Day booze up. Oh, yes, I'd like that. I think Mother would like you to remain at home. Come along, Linda. Over here. Oh, mate, she's not bad. I think she's giving me the old come on. Ah, oh, don't <laughs> talk. Don't. What's it matter about? That's like my sister. Listen, she's panting for it. <laughs> Look, mate, she's been brought up like Arthur. Not until you're married and then only at Christmas time and bank holidays. <laughs> well, that's boldest, mate. Boxing Day happens to be both. <laughs> <laughs> What time's tea? There's plenty of my Christmas cake left over. Yeah, we're not surprised. We tasted it lunchtime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's for another one then? Yeah, Got more, Mrs. Rudd? Oh, dear, go on, go on, don't you, darling? Oh, yes. yes. I will, love. I know you will, Mark. Yes, <laughs> How about you, Linda, darling? No, thanks, Stan. I've just got time to finish unpacking for you, Mum. It's been a great disappointment to me that your Olive can't have children. Well, I'm sure it's nothing to do with my little Ollie. Well, I think I ought to have a little word with her in private. Oh, oh don't worry. I, I do know the facts of life. <laughs> yeah, Mum told her yesterday. <laughs> oh, Stan! <laughs> my mother is not used to those coarse <laughs> remarks. God blimey, mate. I was only joking. Yes, well, don't. Well, oh, well, that's it. All right, I thanks. must say... I find it very disappointing that there isn't another little Arthur on the way. Thank God for that. We ain't got used to this one yet. <laughs> well, I'm sure we should all love to have another little Arthur. 
But it might turn out to be another little olive. <laughs> yes, well, I don't see why we're discussing matters that are rather personal to me and Olive. <laughs> I mean, we don't want to rush into things anyway, do we? You always have to consider the question of the population explosion. Oh, ho, ho. there's always room for another little baby. Blimey, not if they're like him. <laughs> it's strange your Olive doesn't have children and your Stanley isn't married. Uh... Here, what are you suggesting? Nothing. But there does seem to be something missing. Oh, you're right, love. There is something missing. But you're overlooking one fact. It wasn't me that had the operation. It was him. <laughs> yes, that's right. Here, never mind, love. Don't bring it up. Well, never mind, Mum. There's nothing wrong with me and Olive. Nor with my Arthur. He was perfectly healthy until he got married. Never had a thing. Didn't he? Mind you. I think he got married much too soon. <laughs> what, Arthur? Yes. He was just about to start studying for medicine. Then he chucked up his whole career for love of your olive. God blimey, this is a Duke of Windsor all over again. <laughs> I don't see there's any necessity to drink in the room. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Uh, no, love. Oh, no. Um, have you met Mrs. Rudd? Oh, yes, we've met on the bus, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh. It's our conductor. Yes, I managed to get the money off the inspector for those tights you tore on the bus. And luckily, I found a shop open. Oh, oh look, Mum. I wonder my size. Here, how did you know my size? Darling, when a bird gets on Jack's bus, he's worked out a vital statistic before he's worked out a fare. <laughs> Stanley! Oh. Really? Yeah, well, I've got to get off to work now. Um, look, you are coming to our social tonight, aren't you? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, well, I'll see you there, then. I must uh, finish unpacking. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I, I think I'll go out the front way. It's uh, quicker. Yeah. <laughs> well, frankly, I don't think that the busman's social is the sort of place that is suitable for Linda. Oh, why not? After all, Arthur, it is Boxing Day. Yeah, we well, you know what these dudes are like. Full of drunken, uncouth louts making advances at women, whether they're married or single. Oh, oh that's not true. I've been there a couple of times and no one's ever made a pass at me. You <laughs> told me before, darling, I'd have put the complaint before the committee. <laughs> Don't be funny. It's ever so nice of you to ask me out. Mum always watches me at home. I never have a good time. Yeah, well, you can put that right. I'll show you how. Oh, I know how. Mm. <laughs> oh, well. Well, time's getting on. I better have a wash and get to work. Oh, by the way, I'll see you lot of the do then. If this do is like what Arthur says it is, I don't think my Linda's going to like it. She's been very well brought up, and she certainly doesn't chase after men. <laughs> Uh, your Linda's going to enjoy it very much. Oh, don't be stupid, mate. She wouldn't associate with scruffy bus men, least of all your lecherous pal, Jack. You just don't know my little sister. <laughs> I've got news for you, Arthur. I don't think you know your little sister. <laughs> I went out with my late husband. Oh. Uh. <laughs> hey, work your cards, mate. I think you clicked there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hey, Arthur, how do you fancy him as a new daddy? <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> oh, well, some people can enjoy themselves. <laughs> I've got to go and see the buses keep running, right? Yeah. No, stand it, stand it. Look, look, instead of making facetious remarks, mate, you might keep an eye on my sister. If Jack continues to maul her like that, I'll go and knock his block off. Oh. Wait. Yeah, break it up, you two, will you? Big brother's got his eye on you, darling. Oh, Ian, he can get lost. Anyway, I'll get you around drinks. What should we have? Uh, well, I'll have half a bitter, mate. Half a bitter? Uh, how about you, darling? Well, I'm having a lime. A lime, right. With a large vodka in it. So. <laughs> a lime? Harper said you didn't drink. What does he know what a woman does? <laughs> no. I don't think he's ever found out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'll get them up, shall I? Yeah. They better not tell us. No, of course yeah, I won't. Look, mate, make, uh, make it two rounds, will you, in case they run out. I'll pay for one. Yeah, all right. Come on, show us the colour of the money, son. No, Come on, I've had this before, eh? Right. Right. I'll, I'll take it out of there. Olive, will you go and sit by my sister? Why? To protect her. Jack's after her, look. Look at that disgusting, sexy look he's given her. <laughs> Don't you recognise it? No. <laughs> No, well, perhaps not. Just go and sit over there. What, what do I have to say to stop them getting sexy? Absolutely nothing. Just sit there. Um, is there room for me? There should be, love. There's two seats. <laughs> sit down, love. You having a good time? Oh, yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, what's that green stuff you're drinking? Uh, oh, it's just lime. Nothing else. Oh, mind if I have a sip? No, it's just lime, that's all, yeah. Oh, it's nice. Very refreshing. Right. Hey, I'll hand you back to my oh, right. picture. There you are. Lovely. There you are. Oh, hello, darling. I didn't know you was here. I didn't get you one, love. Oh, I'll have one of those lads if it's going spare. <laughs> those gherkins have made me ever so yeah. thirsty. Oh, hang on a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> it's all right. It's only lime. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. What? Oh, yeah, it's only lime. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. It's lovely, this lime, isn't it? It's cold when you drink it. It makes you go all hot inside. Ladies and gentlemen, inspectors and other layabouts, take your partners for another dance. Oh, I'm going to get up to dance. Arthur, oh, come on, lover boy. Well, blimey, she's had three large vodkas already. If she's had those on an empty stomach, she'll pass out. Don't worry, won't nothing will happen to her. She's never got an empty stomach. <laughs> oh, come on, Arthur, let's have some fun. It's Christmas. I don't dance. There's lots of things you don't do, but you can start trying. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. I'd be delighted. Oh, <laughs> when, when you leave off, you're making a public exhibition of yourself. Oh, why won't you dance with me, Arthur? Because the music stopped five minutes ago. Now, get off. Hello, up, my mate. <laughs> Enjoying yourself. What has got into that sister of yours? She's all hot and excited. <laughs> well, if she's hot and excited, it ain't you. <laughs> Arthur, say you love me. Would you get... <laughs> what have you been drinking? She must have had more than a small pot and lemon. She can't have done. You've been buying them. <laughs> Look, when you sit down and stop making a scene. Arthur, love. You promised to buy me a drink a bit earlier. What about it? Oh, yes. A uh, little later on, dear. <clears throat> oh, so that's what you want, is it? A tart! She happens to be a very nice girl. Well, if that's what you want, I've got more on earth. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Your precious son hasn't managed to be 
supposed to be the one day in the year where we enjoy ourselves. I'm going to the ladies. Oh, no. I think we ought to go after her. Yeah, you better. She's going into the gents. <laughs> oh, come on, love. Yeah, I suppose I'd better go with you. She's had enough shots for one day. Come oh, on. Disgraceful, dear. Disgraceful. I knew we shouldn't have come. You said we shouldn't. I told you, Mother. Yes, well, I do hope Linda's all right, dear. It's awfully crowded in here. Yeah, isn't it? Here, uh, would you like to come out and see one of our buses? We'd be alone now. Mm. Sounds perfect. Especially after all those vodkas. Yeah, you have been knocking them back, haven't you? Do you think I'll be all right? Yeah, don't worry, love. I'll soon squeeze them out of you. <laughs> come on, here. Hey, just, just one moment. Where do you think you're going? Jack's taking me out to show me his bus. Show you his... Come on. <laughs> now, look, mate. I'm just about fed up with this drunken brawl. And if you so much as take my sister out this room, I'll smash your face in. I know what you're after. Yeah, all right, mate. I mean, I can always find another bird, can't I? Keep your hair on. I... Uh, no, thanks, mate. No, <laughs> uh, no well, uh, don't worry. I I'll stay here. Yeah, very well, then. Because those teeth of yours will make a very good target, mate. <laughs> uh, uh, look, love, uh, sorry, I, I can't take you out just, uh, just now. Oh, why not? What did Arthur say? Oh, well, nothing. Uh, uh, the social committee want me to help out behind the bar. Hey. Oh, Jack, sorry. where are you, mate? Just well, look if you. Come on, let's have another drink, oh, then. Uh, uh, no, not for me, mate. Look, uh, Linda wants to see over one of our buses. Now, I've got to help out behind the bar. Do you mind showing her around? No, of course not. Come on, love. Show you around. Right. Yeah. Here, stand, mate. What? You're laughing there. She's after it. <laughs> <laughs> you must be out of your tiny mind, mate. I can't do that, can I? It's like my sister. Get out of it. Bigger in the garage, don't yeah, they? they do. Yeah, this is the uh, what we call the WG model, this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's that little step for? Well, you step on there, grab hold of the handle, pull yourself up, and then you turn that little handle for the destinations when you walk to the destination board, you see? Up we go. Come on, then, up you go. Up you go. Yeah. That's it, darling. Oh. Yeah. oh, is that where you drive it? Yeah, that's my cabin there, yeah. Oh, push me up a bit. I want to see inside. Yeah, all right, then. Right. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> it's ever so nice of you to show me everything like this. Yes, I know how you feel. <laughs> and, uh, if you like to press that, that little green button, you see, darling, it yeah. shuts the door as you watch. Okay. Just put... Right. Ah, uh, see that? Oh. oh, isn't that super? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Stan. What? I want to turn that little handle. Oh, go on then. Go on. Well, push me up a bit. All right. Ooh. What? Haven't you got a nice touch? <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah. Stan? What? Can we go inside the bus? Yeah, if you want to, of course, yeah. I'll leave it like that, then we won't be disturbed. <laughs> You're wicked, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Lord. What's the matter now? Oh, I snagged my new tights. Again? You must have done that when oh. you was leaning across the bonnet. Oh, turn round. I'll have to take them off or else you'll ladder. Get out of it! <laughs> you can't take them off here. Well, I have to take them off round the back of the bus if you're fussy. No. <laughs> Oi, you want to be careful. A good driver should always know what's going on at the back of his bus. <laughs> oh. oh, here. Here, do you think Olive's all right? She's been in the loop for half an hour. Well, that's not very long for her, is it? Strictly she comes out of there, we're all going home. And where's Linda? Here. Where's my sister? I don't know, mate. Don't look at me. She must be with some other good-looking fella. Arthur, I think you'd better go and see what she's up to, dear. So I think you're quite right, Mum. Excuse me, please. <laughs> Mrs Rudge, uh, as soon as you finish your drink, if you'd like to come out in the depot, I'll show you over one of our buses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Inspector. That'd be most interesting. Good bottle. Yeah. What do you want, darling? To me tights, I haven't got me bag. Oh, all right, then I'll put them in my pocket for yeah, you, love. Right. Yeah, yeah. Can't you open the doors? What? Yeah, when, when you're outside, it's, uh, you have to use the emergency button like this. Watch. Oh! <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Oh, what's all that stuff in there? Oh, what, what that seat, you mean? And the mop and the broom? Yeah, well, that's because they've been cleaning the bus, you see. Oh, mm. it's a nice seat, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no rubbish. We don't have any rubbish. Nice colours. Mm. Oh, yeah. that's comfy. Well upholstered, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Better than the back seat of a mini. 
Come on. Come on. Well, she you come and sit here. Don't be daft. I mean, don't you want to see over the rest of the bus? Sort of, uh, you know, look upstairs. Upstairs? Yeah. I don't want to smoke. <laughs> I think you're nice. It's Tony. I me. think you're nicer than your mate. I can't with not with you. I'm in the mood, aren't you? Yeah, but listen. <laughs> Arthur has smashed my face in. It's all right. I'm not like my brother Arthur, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not like my sister Olive either. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. What's the matter? I just remembered. This bus is private. <laughs> Here we are, Mrs. Rudd. <laughs> this is one of our latest models, eh? The WG. Yes, it's yes. quite a brute under that bonnet, I tell you. Yes, yeah. Hey, we press the emergency button, we're about to open the doors, yes. you see. Butler, <laughs> Butler, what are you doing in there? Oh, Blakey, Blakey! Who's that, who's that cousin with you there? It's my daughter! Oh, thank God, but I thought it was one of our clippers for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I mean, we don't want staff troubles, do we? How dare you bring my daughter no. down here! Oh, oh, Mother, don't go on. Here, Stan. Yeah? Can I have my tights back? Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You took our tights off! <laughs> He didn't. I took him off because he got snagged. Yeah. It's when she leant over the bonnet. Uh, over the bonnet? <laughs> You're a sex maniac, man. I always knew you were. A oh, <laughs> fine pair your son and daughter are. Here, yeah, don't you preach to me. Your blooming son's now marvel. I told you we shouldn't have come here. These busmen's do's always end in orgies. I haven't had an orgy. <laughs> then you're not likely to get one now. Come on home. Disgusting behaviour all night. Come along, Linda. We're going straight back to do our pecking. I thought you were staying in the week. Well, we're not. We're leaving first thing in the morning. Well, I wish I'd have known. I wouldn't have changed the sheets. <laughs> well, uh, but I know this is Boxing Day, mate, but that does not entitle you to go in for all in wrestling on one of our buses. Oh, come off it, Blakey. Blimey, I mean, it was only a bit of fun. A bit of fun? I wouldn't mind, but this bus is not supposed to be in service. <laughs> Can I trust you to come along and mess it up? I mean, you could have waited another ten minutes. Eh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 but, uh, I've known you to be late in arriving with your bus many a time now, mate, but this is the first time I've ever known you not to even get the destination at all. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, it's made my Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it? Well, it might have made, made his Christmas. What a right sexy Christmas I've had, eh? The only thing I've got out of this Christmas is a tie and a pair of socks. Oh, well, maybe Easter. <laughs>